Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, we need to know, Is this right? happening? <laughs> That's enough. They got you guys are having fun everywhere. Like, yeah. Yen is really someone else. He definitely is. Is it happening? I don't know how to feel. I'm definitely going to be taking oh. the... Uh, are we yapping again? Put back home and I'm never Win is fan mail. Fan mail will be when I'm back home. But we talk about one Don't throw finals for the fourth time in a row? Yo, guys. Yo, guys. And the language I got dropped. At this event for the first time hey, ever guys. Stomp and drop me. Yeah, I think it is indeed the first time that we've Stomp and drop me. About SI and I Stomp and drop me, chat. I got to listen to them earlier. Stomp and drop me. Stomp and drop me. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Plays at the start of the day, right? Yeah, no, actually, I was listening to it. I got dropped by Stomp, but I'm not even. I didn't understand. I was. I got dropped by Stomp, but I swear to God. W? Nah. Yo, chat. It's good though, because now, uh, now I have a reason to try today. And you know what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna run a 45-second play. Yeah. As of a few days ago, I believe. On a Wednesday or Thursday, the Chat, so do you, guys want, do you guys want to know who I'm playing with here? I, dude, I thought the reveal was right now. I, was I guess. Um, since chat, look at this, look at this, look at this. Actually, look at this. Actually, look at this. Alright, guys, so this is the first time I've ever been dropped by uh, Stompin'. Like, ever. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, chat, I'm going to give you guys the full scope. Do you guys want the full scoop here? I'm going to... Chat, uh... Okay. Chat, I'm going to give you guys the full swoop. Oh my god, Felon with the 20 gifted. Felon, I'll give you the 20 gifted. Okay. Chat, are you guys ready? My favorite band is Iron Maiden. This guy's saying his favorite band right now. Hold on. So chat, last night, Stompin's like, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to go join Cheese Pie or something. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, dope. That's fine. It's literally the exact same stack, but I got subbed out for center. So I need, yo, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to this team. I need to remind this team who the f is. And then chat, look who I'm playing with. Chat, these names sound familiar. <laughs> Chat, look what I'm playing with. And then the fifth is probably letters. We still need to get a fifth though. And it's been running around like a, a madman. Like yeah, no, Stompin's like, yeah, bro, like, uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna play with uh, Cheese Pie. I'm like, oh yeah, cool, that's fine. Cause I wouldn't have cared. It's literally the exact same stack. It's literally the exact same stack. Chat, you know what's funny is I bet you I win with Mingo. Mingo and Skype can't win without me, but maybe they can win with me. You care? Oh no, I do care. I said I wouldn't have cared. Dude, I got dropped. Bro, I got dropped. Chat, I got dropped. Chat, I got dropped. Oh my god, is it reveal time? Please. You got your answer. All right, let's get into this. This is a moment I know a lot of you are waiting for. I know that you we sold them yesterday. Aiden Tax he went four and twelve yesterday on Chalet and finals and got first pick eight times. We move as one. Please, for the love of God, get to the reveal. I'm about to shut. Can we please, for the love of God, get to the reveal? Please, bro. Please, let's get to the reveal. with Andreas Kisser and Rob Damiani. With we move as one. Vamos fazer barulho, rapaziada! A música é pra vocês, o show é de vocês! Andreas, can we have a chat? Do you mind? Wow! What a performance. If that. Yeah. For sure. Guys, if you went already. Where... And the grand final, you must be now. Andreas, how was that for you? Amazing! Uh, it's good to be home, right? Where is the reveal, home? man? I came to this place to see. I'm losing my. Good to see Where is the reveal? Here, full, I did know, not back. miss it. No, I didn't. I did oh, not miss it. Shirts, some ball of the Get ball Shroud as the fifth? Bro, so it's... I wish. Here, I wish. Can you answer in Portuguese? <laughs> Portuguese agora? Como você se sente estando aqui? Pô, tá em casa. Uma final brasileira. Face cam <laughs> off? Pra mim, na verdade, isso aqui é tudo muito novo. Né? Não acompanho Chat, muito jogo. I did not... Assim, mas tá aqui em Ibirapuera com okay. essa energia fantástica. Esse clima de competição saudável. Né? Dude, I didn't miss anything. Shut up. I did not miss anything, bro. The reveal has not happened yet. There's not an audio bug. Where are you located, says JK8. Why would I ever answer that question? Get a Zen? 
some of the most passionate in the world. So I'm, I'm sure oh, you mean I love him? I've had a turnout like this for such a monumental event. Sketch is waiting. Moment. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, are you when you home? Say, Did you mean to say when am I home? I'll world. be home tomorrow. Chooses Brazil or South American general to record DVDs, live shows and stuff. Lag, and lag, lag, the, lag. You okay? I'm not fucking lagging. The, the history, you know, we follow. Uh, Dude, this is Eminem, awesome. Or, love you guys. Love your band. Love the passion. Matter, I'm know, here for the fucking a reveal. Passion, you know, a lot of, uh, Sky wants you to join party. Bet. Oh no, I'm actually so down. As you can see, you know, we have the two Brazilians in the final, which is tell Sky to tell Sky to invite him. Tell Sky to invite him. You know, Brazil is a special place because we have so much different, uh, you know, cultures, mixtures of uh, uh, countries, and you know everything. So. Uh, Yo, Sky. Yo. Hey, we can't fuck around today. All right, so we're not fucking playing. All right, so listen, this is what's going to happen. So can you play Discord, please? Wait, what do you mean? We have four yeah. people. Who's the food you want to get? Bro, it's me picking you up. We're not getting anybody. It's me picking you up. Wait, you don't wait. We're not getting J guns. You want to fucking lose? Bro, Jay's a dog, bro. You want to win or lose, dude. I promise we could win with Jay, but who, okay, who do you want to get? Cuz yo, I need to beat Stompin'. That's like I'm going to be honest. And I'm running, <laughs> dude, 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 I need to beat Stompin' and I'm running a 45 fucking second delay by the time the, the game happens. Yes, so who yes. who do you want to get? Who do you want to get? Okay, I can well, I'll pick you up. Bro, Sky, okay, uh, pick me up. Yo, Sky, you haven't won in fucking a year, bro. Who do you want to get, bro? Who the, who the fuck is the stack? Okay, hold on. No, chat, we can't get I love Zim in a controller tournament. Okay, the but you gotta ask my question. Can you play in a Discord call? I can do game chat. Game chat will work. I can I, I can get game chat working. Game chat. Yeah, I, I, it has less than I. I would literally have to fucking a game chat. I can't go. I gotta watch the reveal in a minute. But yo, can you tell me who the stack is, please? Let's get them even louder. What do you think? Let you know right now. Bro, Sky, like you're so mysterious, bro. Just let me know the stack. I'm playing. I don't know. I'm playing no matter what. I'm playing no matter what. But I want to know who I'm playing with so I can shit on Stompin. I'd I prefer know. if we've got J guns because I've played with you and J and Mingo a hundred times. Jay's good as fuck. Dude, Jay's the type of guy that could beat Stompin. Like, if we get... I mean, if we get, like, fucking... Nick, we're not winning, bro. Who, who do you want to get? Who do you want to get, bro? Who do you want to get? Okay, so the stack is right now, bro. Corey, Madara, Mingo. That's what the stack is. Bro, don't get Madara. Just get Jay instead of Madara. We need auto east, bro. Corey's you need a. Uh, I need auto east. Corey gets 100 ping on central. I need the auto east. I need to win today, bro. Hey, uh, is, what's the sponsor? Bro. Thousand million dollars? Bro, the sponsor's crazy today. Oh, I need to win. I need to win. No, we're not getting Ricky. No, we're not getting Ricky. All right, um, um, yo, can we get Jay instead of Madara and we win the tournament? Bro, we're not gonna win, bro. I need to win. I promise if we get Jay instead of Madara, we win. Bro, Madara? No offense to Madara, he seems cool, bro. I don't even think he, like, can, like, does he speak English? He does, right? But, like, barely? A little bit. Bro, we're gonna get a guy that... He's good content, bro. No, 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 we need Jay guns. I need... Bro, if I'm gonna beat Stompin', we need Jaden guns, bro. Bro, you've won with Jay guns like 10 times. And Mingo. Yeah. Corey, I'm and who else? That. Corey's good as fuck. And who else? And who else? Okay, obviously we don't have Stompin' today. But, bro, we're, that's why we bro, need idiot bro. playmakers to beat Stompin', bro. We're not gonna get... What the... Madara? Are you drunk, Sky? Bro, bro, bro. Nick, Nick, Nick. I need a win today, bro. I need to win today. And the only way I win today... Is if I get auto east. That's the only way I win today. And... And talk in Discord. And if you can't talk in Discord, bro, we could do game chat, we're gonna have bro. to get. A... I can't do game chat. I have to buy a new camera. Someone said, "Have to buy a new." Is Hav good? Oh my God, Nick! No, 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 no. We, we, okay. Listen, we just need to be back next week. We need to be back next week. You need to like after after Stompa loses this week, two days in a row, he will come to his senses that he needs Sky and Mingo, and then we get the OG five. I don't know what you did yesterday, bro. He did not want. I, I never thought in my life 
wait, that Stomp wait, you, wouldn't want to oh, play. Hold on. Are, hold on, are you dropping me right now? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Drop from two stacks today. Drop from two stacks. Drop from two stacks today, okay. <laughs> Please, Jay, pick up. Do I not have a team today? Okay, is the reveal starting? Well, Chad, I'm playing with Jay and Lou and I need two. Chad, I'm playing with Jay and Lou, and I need to. What the next year of Siege has in Chad, who do I get? That's right. This is the Chad, I'm playing with Jay and Lou, and I need to. Who's excited? I'm your host, Camille Salazar Hadaway, and it is so Abbott? great I'll play with to be here, not only because it's warm in Brazil, but also you bring the warmth with all of your energy. We love it. Who do I get as a fourth and a fifth? Have Creative director Alexander Carpazes and game director Joshua Mills. Give them a round of applause. I'm not kidding, Charlie Worley. I'm not kidding, Charlie Worley. Mingo? I just got dropped from Mingo's team. Brazil has been loud. 10,000 people surrounding us. 360, how does it feel? I just want to say, Obrigado, Brazil. All right, is it reveal time? We is it reveal time? You to show up for the Please tell me it's reveal time, bro. <coughs> this is unbelievable, and I can't wait to talk about you and I. I can't wait either, but first, Joshua, this is the first SI in Brazil. What does this moment mean for you? Oh, in one word, everything. This is our moment, not just our teams, but all of our fans. Okay, Chad, I think they're announcing the reveal. Like, this is what it's all about. Coming together and celebrating everything that is amazing. Chad, I think they're announcing the reveal now. I think they're announcing the reveal now. I think they're announcing the reveal now. To Ancy already. Get stomping. Bro, stomp and drop me. This is for the community. So let's get into the overall vision of year nine. Get Ricky. I'm pretty sure Ricky got banned on Twitch yesterday. Oh, shit. So what is the Siege team focusing on in year nine? In year nine, we're focusing on you, your feedback. It's the foundation of our roadmap this year. We're going to see significant quality of life changes. And of course, meta shifts that are incredible. That's going to keep the game fresh and fun. All right, Alex, we have the fresh and fun, but how's it going to be fair? Right. Siege is a competitive game. And making sure that we maintain well, that integrity the is really important to us. So anti-cheat will be a main topic for us all through year nine also nice good start so no more sim a lot of time so no more sim right <laughs> we want to be able to right the baby no more sim right the baby season after season more rewards and celebration for all of your progression in the game all right with that i think it's time to get into the overview of the seasons in operators how about you what do you think ready yes Yes, 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 mommy, yes, mommy. Review of the seasons and operators. So I'm going to draw oh. a spoiler here if you missed it. Season one, Deimos. You can now be the villain we all need. you got to talk about it. All right, if you missed it yesterday, please tune in. We talked about Deimos coming into the game. He's now captured by Rainbow. But Yo, he's so he sick. No, the top is actually sick. Boots. He has that Playboy Cardi aura. I swear to God, he does. Yesterday, take down operators one by one. Ooh, he's so menacing. Look at that mask. It's really exciting that we're able to go into this realm of trying to be a little more sinister. I love it. I love it. Uh, now let's get into territory that we haven't seen yet. Season two. That's right. Season two is when we shake things up with an operator remaster of Recruit. This is something that we all began Wh with. What? Siege players and Rec getting just one Recruit, but two of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just dropped the microphone Wh there. We're getting what? Recruits. I have so many questions, but first, 
the other one just has blue goggles. They spent the most time with the recruits. So how is this going to help them? Well, the biggest thing here is, yes, we've been with Recruit for some time, and the thing that they're bringing to the table is an ability to inject strategy into the lineups like you've never seen before. On top of that, Recruit, they got a bit of a promotion. They now have full operator status, which means they can appear in every playlist freely, just like any other operator. Additionally, you can customize them like any other operator, their uniforms, their headgear. So then what Two Recruits. All right. Because with Operator Remasters, if you own them and everybody owns Recruit, you get these two operators for free. So when you get the Battle Pass, you'll be rewarded an Operator Voucher, which means you can turn it in for any operator you don't already have. And if you have every single operator, you can still turn it in for cold, hard credits. Yeah! Let those R6 credits roll, but not quite yet. Because I still have a question. This is a really cool concept. Chat, is it just me, or are you ever going to use two recruits? Unless you're in casual. Fundamentally, it's about the health of the game. We want to make sure that everything in the game is maintained and brought forward. This is game, we get, we're here to stay. We're here, Alex has said it last year on the SI, we're here for the next 10 years, and we are making sure we make that investment across the board. So, keeping our ops impactful through the years. And I'll also say this gives us an opportunity for our new operators as well, letting us give more time to their abilities, making sure they're unique, they're impactful, and also it affects their loadouts, making sure that we can give them even new weapons in the game. Right. Tithing of the five gifted. Right. Um, yeah, all right, so like two lot, recruits. More seasons to go, so let's get into season three. What can we expect? Season three will be a new operator coming from Greece. This is very near and dear to my heart, and so I'm very happy that we're introducing our first Greek operator into Siege. That's really cool. Uh, Joshua, I feel like you're just itching to tell us more. Yeah, I, got, I have two things. One, this operator is bringing something to the table again. You what is the name of the operator? And just like the big bad Deimos, this operator will be fielding a new weapon. Ooh, a new weapon. Nice. She just All rizzed right, up the that, camera. Let's get into season four. I she know just rizzed up the away, camera. But you got to tell us something. Okay, so season four, we're bringing another remaster to the game, and this one is, I guarantee you've been asking for this for a long, long time, so I'm super happy we're finally getting to it. Uh, Joshua, you gotta tell us more than that. We're not, we're not really supposed to talk about this one because it's so far in advance, but uh, this operator hails from the United States, and again, you've all been waiting for this one for a long time. USA Hop! Uh, I appreciate that. We could see it on the roadmap, the flag. But we are here in Brazil for SI. You gotta tell us more. Is Come that the entire more. reveal? The baby. That's the. What? That's the whole thing. I've spoken, Joshua. Yeah, going with the intimidation strategy. Yes. Is very good. Okay, so to keep my job, I'm gonna say something different. On a totally unrelated note, I just want to say our cosplay community is insane. I've been incredibly inspired by the work y'all have been doing. I can hear them in the crowd. And you oh, that's like Legion. Oh, that's Havada. And you bring them to real life. And you know what? You've inspired me. I think I got to get into the game. And I'm saying, dude, Chad, it's grand finale day. I think, I think and I woke up to some bullshit on my phone. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to get you in trouble. But I think there's a few guesses out there as well. For the overview of all the seasons, what else can we expect? Mingo talking shit. A new battle pass <laughs> with a new theme every single season. And I love being in the battle chat. I love this shit. I live for this shit. Freshen things up. All right. Well, that's sad. Chat, be honest. Good. If you could but be a hero in a movie or a villain in a movie, what would you be? Gotcha. I choose villain. And I choose villain every fucking time. What does this look like in year nine? Okay, I want to make it very clear. Wait, fix audio? Forisios hackers. And to translate that loosely, hackers have no space, cheaters have no space in a game like C. I mean, Alex, 
What about Zim? A lot Zim? of people are excited about that. So let's talk about what else we're going to see. So cheaters have no space in Siege, but it's also about reducing the amount of cheaters as well, right? That's right. Season one, we already announced that we're introducing new technology, machine learning, so that we can quickly and effectively make fans based off of data and statistics. Are we patching this Zim or not? Quicker when it comes to analyzing the complete Siege population, making sure that we identify cheaters quickly, and we're getting them out of the game as soon as possible. On top of all of this too, yesterday we talked about the ranked playlist, making sure that there's new restrictions so that new players understand what they have to do in order to jump into it, but also making it tougher for cheaters and smurfers to jump into this playlist. And finally, when it comes to toxicity, this is something that we're really working on in year nine. Every single season, we'll see an update to the reputation system. No more toxicity? What? Sounds pretty good. Fuck that. I think you made it pretty no clear. No more toxicity? Heard, cheaters are not welcomed in Siege, so how is it going to be harder for them? In season two, we'll be working on anti-toxicity first. And that is the release of the reputation system from beta. Right now, the system is in beta mode, so actual consequences aren't yet live. Wait, did they just mean like team two, killing? You will begin getting restrictions on the playlist that you can enter if you have a low reputation standing. Meaning that you better be oh. on your best behavior. Why well, don't team kill, so whatever. Oh, cheaters beware. Okay, let's talk about PC. That's right. Season 2, we're also introducing something on the PC side. We're making it harder for cheaters to have access to multiple accounts so that... But they are banned once, they stay banned, and they can't jump in... ...to other accounts into the game. Reputation system, specifically Mousetrap, as we head into season three. What are we going to see there with that? So, Mousetrap is our console anti cheat. It detects mouse and keyboard while you're supposed to mouse be using trap. controller. Are we you updating it? For more punishments when are we updating it? detected by this, and we are delivering. Players detected by Mousetrap will be penalized by the reputation system. If you do something wrong there, you will lose access to certain playlists in the game. And is this just part one? Are we going to see more with Mousetrap? We are going to see more. This is part one with part two coming the next season. What we'll be doing is making sure that if you are detected by Mousetrap, you will be automatically placed into the PC matchmaking <laughs> Are those with mouse and keyboard. That is the biggest W I've ever heard in my life. Playing with a controller. That is the biggest W I've ever heard in my life. Playing against. Yep. Uh, you know, you don't want to have your controllers out if uh, you know that you're is, not supposed to be playing. That is the so biggest W I've ever heard. Trap. Let's head in to season four, specifically how the season will be hammering down on cheaters. Season four, we're also making a big update. We will introduce live bans. That means as soon as a cheater is detected, even in a live match, they will be removed from that match. And that match will be canceled. Oh. Not affecting more MMR, more experience. Oh. And gets you into the Oh. Oh. Wait, they're kind of cooking. Anti-toxicity. So. Communication is key in Siege, and it's okay to... Can I still send voice messages? ...with the other team. However, what we don't promote and we don't allow is hate speech, sexism... Or uh, of course! Of yeah, of course. So... I just tell people they suck at the game. ...in the text chat. We'll be introducing automated moderation in text chat in Season 4 to make sure your games are fun, fair, and safe. What do you think he said? Seeing a little bit of that you there guys as well. fucking that and cool. sucking. A lot covered for player protection. 
Let's get into what you want the main takeaways to be when we think of player protection in Year 9. For us, when it comes to anti-cheat and anti-toxicity, this is a year-long effort. You'll see season after season, we're investing in four main priorities. One, it's going to be about hardening our security systems, making them more resilient, making them more robust, and that means reinforcing our two technologies. Mousetrap, our console anti-cheat. We'll be updating it every single season. And QB, our PC anti-cheat, making sure it's robust, it can handle what it needs to, and make the game a lot safer. And finally, when it comes to game exploits, we're stepping it up as well. We're growing our team and putting dedicated resources on game exploits so that they can be identified faster and they're eliminated as soon as possible. Sounds pretty good. Exploits are kind of fun though, no? Now you talked about communication. How frequent are we gonna see that? We've been stepping up our communication already this year and our promise to you is that we're communicating on this subject every two months. We don't want to go radio silent on this and make sure that you always have the information you need so you understand what's going on in the game at all times. All right, well, thank you so much for that, Alex. You know what, Joshua, I'm thinking maybe we should give Alex a little bit of a break. Covered a lot there. So let's head in to balancing. Balancing? Joshua, how is balancing changing in year nine? So, we, like I said, we are dedicated to some serious meta shifts. And I want to make it very clear, Alex was very clear about our player protection. I'm going to make it very clear about this. The TDM meta is not here to stay. This is not how we intend for Siege to be played. We want the run and gun Good. out of the game. Good. We want to get tactical, Good. strategic, focused, methodical play to be the center stage of... Yeah, this Warden, Ash, Mozzie like shit is dead. Stage. If people can start playing like how the pros play. Really excited for that. So how is the player perspective going to be integrated in that focus? Well, there's one more thing I'd like to mention yeah. just before I get into the player's perspective okay. on that. Because actually their perspective leads into this next point. Our, another big focus for balancing is reinforcing our attacker lineup. Divi making that divide between our attackers and our defenders far closer. Because again, strategy, teamwork, and smart play is what should be winning your rounds, not what side of the fight you're on. Yeah, and you're right. That is a lot ben, of... Ben, give it the 10 gift. Cream pie. ...into what you're hearing from a player. So that's the thing. We want to be able to be far more reactive to your feedback. We've actually changed a bunch of process internally so that we can do that. So we can Call Zim, I will. ...to that feedback. So you're not left waiting months and months and months for changes to come in because that can be incredibly frustrating, especially because you're all playing the game every day. Now, let's talk about, um, you know, how the communications with players, because again, you mentioned they're very integral to the process. So how is... Yo, Zim. Yo. Did you see their new update? Oh yeah, no, I already have a method for it. R6 mobile method. Fuck R6, I'm not getting no PC lobbies. Zim on top. You're so delusional, bro. You're definitely gonna get put into PC lobbies, you fucking idiot. Yep, first stage. No, first stage is denial. First stage is denial, chat. He's fucked, bro. He's done. Last but not least, Devil, they get the five gifted. The remaster. <laughs> by far the most complicated balancing change we can possibly do in the game, but is integral to the health of the game, so that we make sure that your investment in our operators carries forward for all the years to come. Oh, that's really exciting. Uh, okay. Let's get into the seasons for balancing. Let's talk season one. I know a lot of you caught the season reveal, but if you didn't, <coughs> yeah. it's a little refresher. Joshua, let's give it to them. Okay, yeah, so season one is coming out hot. There is a lot of stuff in season one, so you gotta check your loadouts, everyone. Uh, you all saw the ADS and attachment adjustment, right? Because I think- Actually, I'm thinking of the five gifted, the RP, think of the five gifted. I'm not sure, but. Outside of that, we also have our weapon class update. Again, this is a so big the one point five scope is a two point five scope. Sure now? every weapon in the game is working and versatile and has its role. So the LMGs are coming back out to play. Last but not least, the revamped shield mechanics. 
This is a huge That's the new 1.5 scope? The game here, but it's a huge one for us because of the complexity of what it brings to the game. It gives that defensive stance that we see where you have more control and definitely move around the field. Now, some of the features. Yo, you can jump through this shield shit is crazy. You can your gadgets behind the shield, like a cluster charge, a breach charge, or maybe later this year, an exothermic charge. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, um, I want to talk about reinforcing attacker lineup because you mentioned that. Um, you know that everyone's interested in that. How is that going to look throughout year nine? Okay, so as we talk about reinforcing our attackers, it means giving them the armory they need, the tools they need to be able to take the fight that they have to do. The second side of it is going across the line over the Thermite those defenders. shield. What are you guys talking about? Powerhouses over there. So no, he's not. A zombie will be receiving an update. The zombies keep a barrier. They're right, not getting a shield. Shut the fuck up, Chad. Have a durability on them, which means depending on the weapon caliber you're using, you'll be able to knock them down faster or slower. Additionally, this bring is one of the first steps because we're actually going to be bringing something else in season two. He never said that. Our lovely spooky boy Fenrir will receive his first update. This will be removing the bulletproof off the FNAT entirely. Also removing an FNAT from his loadout and a code. Nice. I gotta move fast here. Solus so update. Solus will be receiving two updates. Season two, she'll be receiving the first update, which will make this the case. Her gadget will no longer be able to be used during prep phase. Additionally. That's so good. Oh my God. Additionally, the range of her gadget will be reduced and the battery will drain faster. Nice. So part one. Part two yeah. will come in season three. That's and it'll bring good. a deeper system change. But it takes more time for that, and that's why it's in season three. We have an additional Bro, operator being adjusted in season three, which is Dokabi. We're Dokabi. attacking some of the frustration around her gadget. I mean, I love how you just laid it all down there uh, with all the operators. It's so exciting. There was a lot to, you know, pack in there. But we have to also talk about season four. I know it's a little bit away, but what is the balancing focus heading into the end of the year? So the biggest thing about season four is making sure we leave space and time to the react to the needs of the community. There is a lot of stuff coming online in season one. And we want to make sure that we can be there for you as we experience this all together and we move forward together. Of course, there'll be multiple new updates throughout the seasons. Lots of okay. things we didn't cover here. So you can stay tuned to all that as well. Chat W or L reveal. And what else should we keep in mind uh, heading into year nine for balancing? Well, fundamentally, we know where we want to take this game, and we want to be the best damn tactical shooter on the planet, period. Reckless play will not be rewarded. Methodical team-based strategy yes. will. Yes. And that is our goal. Cook. Cook, Zaddy. All right. Well, thank Cook. you so much for that, Joshua. I'll give both of you a break now. Dude. Because that all sounded really great. And you know what sounds great as well? The fact that, you know, Siege is up-leveling the competition. No, I'm not talking about SI, but a new feature that is coming to the game in year nine. For more on that, here's live content director, Christopher Budget. New feature? We will be finalizing the maps within Quick Match 2.0, bringing the entire map roster to Quick Match. Standard will be getting new filtering so you can choose between ranked, all maps, or only the non-ranked maps as well. Within Ranked, we're bringing exclusive cosmetics that you can earn every season. Siege Cup is a brand new time-gated Whoa. tournament that happens every two weeks. Participation Siege in Cup. the Siege Cup provides specific rewards, so make sure you grab your friends, squad up, register your team, and we all know that feeling. At the end of the match, when your heart is pumping, you just need to close it out, there's gonna be no other feeling like the Siege Cup. What? And there is no other feeling than knowing that the Siege Cup is here. Alex, I don't think anyone saw that coming. What? The Battle Cup is back. It is now Siege Cup. And this time, we mean it. This is the best way to experience Siege. Yo! The full stack of your teammates going up to the top of the tournament and winning those exclusive prizes. Gonna brush up on your skills there. But you know what? Let's get a little cozy and head into player comfort and long term progression. What is the player comfort and long term progression philosophy in your nine? 
Ultimately, it stems from giving our players many different quality of life upgrades, making sure you have full control over your experience, and giving you more tools to take your skills to the next level. And what else does this mean for players? This also means that we are invested Bro, in rewarding players' dedication in Siege. You pour hundreds of hours into the game, and we want to return the favor. So we want to make sure that you have that long-term progression to always look forward to. Okay, with that, let's head into Season 1 updates for player comfort and long-term progression. Uh, we already saw a bit of that in the Season 1 reveal. What? But how is it really setting the tone in Season 1? Bro, get to the point! So season 1, we start immediately with the locker that I know a lot of players have been asking for. The ability to favorite your gear. This is dope. The ability saw to it yesterday. Just unlocked. All of this in one place. We're delivering season one. Yeah, I love the locker. I, I like keeping organized, and I think a lot of players... What are we announcing right now? ...gonna come in handy for that. But on top of the locker, we saw updates to movement. Yeah, so we're going oh. through and making sure all our systems are getting that kind of health thing that we talked about with our operators, making sure that the clunkiness is removed and you have that real Didn't sense of flow. Didn't they announce so this yesterday, or am I tweaking? And that entry and exit, making sure it's super smooth and feels great. It's a game feel thing. It's very hard to describe or even see in a video, but once your hands are on it, it you'll know what we're talking about. Got to get your hands on it. Uh, let's talk about gadgets. What's happening there? Okay, so we have two big things coming for the gadgets. One Don't is you. improved gadget pickup. So the idea of being able to pick up a gadget once you've placed it, relocate it within the map. If he does the line thing. It's projectile trajectory pre-visualization. You guys so announced this yesterday, man. It's called pre -vis. <laughs> So what this they means open. is giving you full control of where your gadgets go. Again, take your skills to the next level, but at the same time, if you're already there and you don't need it, you can turn it off. I'm probably going to have it on just so I can nah, really the five gifted. tighten my skills there with that. Uh, let's head in to Season 2 for player comfort. Because a huge part of how you experience the game and you're comfortable with playing the game is knowing how you can improve and how you're performing. So how is Season 2 going to help players on this front? We are completely revamping the after action report. This is the system where you commend your players and understand how you performed. After that, you'll see an updated screen where you can see all of your progression, all of your stats, Ooh. and everything you care about Ooh. in one single place, Ooh. and then quickly jump into that next match. Do you have anything else to add for season two? Well, we're extending previs into season two as well, and we're adding it to our drones. This gives you all the control you need to be able to get your drones wherever you need to get them. At the end of the day, it's about making sure that you can get the intel you need and drones. Hi, guys. Is my stream lagging or not? I'm not asking chat. Cause... Wait, there's more. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so previs, as I said, started in season one, season two, and we're actually bringing it right into season three. And what does that mean? It means bringing it to our deployable gadgets. So deployable shield, new jammers, those sort of things. Being able to get them set the first time right. Anything else for season three since you Ray jumped the gun there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a lot of us maybe go on our phone when we're waiting for our match and ranked or whatnot. But wouldn't it be nice just to jump into the shooting range? You can do that now. So in Season 3, you'll be able to load into the shooting range whenever you're waiting for your matches. And this includes the R6 Cup. Additionally, it seems a bunch of you like to 1v1. So we're adding it as a preset into our custom games. What? That's pretty cool. Wait. I will not be 1v1 you because you spent a lot of time with the game. But give me some time to brush up my skills and maybe we'll talk. You mentioned rewards off the top. Are we going to see Wait. that come into play here? Absolutely. Season 3 is a big feature that we call badges. This is where you'll be able to earn the achievements and challenges and equip those badges Ooh. as a badge of honor so that you can show them off this with all sick. of your friends. And on top of that, we're creating a new home for badges too, which is the career page. The career page is where you can see your stats, See how your last match 68 played, hours played? How better ass on Fortnite, friendo? Wow. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I got to talk about matchmaking as we head into season four. How is matchmaking evolving? So in season four, we're introducing something that we call dynamic matchmaking. This is making sure we have more flexible matchmaking for players in lower population zones or in places that when you're playing and it's not peak uh, siege time, you're still getting a fair match. So if you're in Australia playing at like five o'clock in the morning, you're still getting a balanced and fair matchmaking experience. Making a lot of Aussies happy. <laughs> Let's talk about crossplay. What's coming in season four? Crossplay cross is the final update that we're bringing to the table, letting console players play with PC Whoa. friends. Whoa! It should be very Whoa. important. Whoa! No, we'll no, take no. a moment to celebrate this. No, 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 no. But it's very important no, no, to no, no, note that this no. is a one-way street. No, 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 no. PC players will not be allowed to play with console matchmaking. Oh, thank you. So now oh. in this set. Doesn't matter what platform you're on, what console you're playing on. With Siege, you can always play with your friends. Okay. That's pretty cool. Who's excited for that one? Yeah, you heard the Me! Movie. I'm excited and I'm horny! Anything else to cap off player protection? When it comes to or player protection... Player comfort, sorry. Player comfort, yeah. <laughs> this is really about what you care about, what the community cares about, the quality of life improvements, Shut everything my lights that's on. rewarding. Expect us to expand on this and to grow this on the better? map as we better? go along in the year based on your feedback. All right, well, thank you for that, for player comfort and long-term progression. No, worse. Now, okay. for some of you, you may be looking to maybe trade in some of your items for some cold, hard R6 credits. Or maybe you're looking for some sweet throwbacks. Well, guess what? The Marketplace is where you can do all of that. And to tell us more on what the Marketplace will look like in year nine, here is Business Strategy Director, Mohammed Ben Hanada. Marketplace. Right now, we're aiming to launch the feature in season two. The philosophy behind the Marketplace is that we want to make sure that the feature is polished, functional, and as secure as possible. So this means that the beta is going to be running up until we feel that the feature is up to your standard and up to our standards. So for you, this means that you can still sign in through the QR code or through our website. And you can still give us your feedback in order to build this platform together. And I don't know. Register for the Next season looks promising. Get in on all that cool stuff. All right. Now, sometimes you hear training and onboarding, and you're thinking new players. But guess what? Year 9 is bringing some cool things for veteran players as well. And back again to tell us about this feature is live content director Christopher Budge. Jinxie, I want to oil you up. Bro, get a job or something. This year, we really want to focus on following up on our promise to bring the best training tools to Siege. That's why we're really going to be focusing Fake on chat. all of the players, making sure they have the training tools they need to be able to execute whatever strategy they intend. We're really happy with the reception of Versus AI Playlist. And that's why we want to follow it up strong in season one with five new maps, new Defender AIs, and being able to play more attackers as well. And we're not stopping there. We're bringing new content in season two and season three as well. On top of that, we're also delivering the AI Attacking Playlist. That means for the first time, you'll be able to play defense and attack in an AI match. Expect AI attackers to drone, to clear roamers, and plant on site. We think this will be a great way to bring your friends into Siege. We know that map knowledge is really important, and that is why we're bringing new maps in Season 1, but also Season 2 and Season 3 as well. Map knowledge isn't the only skill you need. Bro, they're like game. drawing over and the text in like black crayon. Rain. It's not the same as navigating through maps and clearing targets. Is this just reveal or what? Oh, okay. Target drill Never mind. Where you can play for over 60 minutes with targets in every room. We have a lot of quality of life improvements coming in this update also. You can turn on headshots only, have pre-made destruction, or even turn on a mini HUD. We're also bringing damage reporting. So as you clear a room, you can see how much damage you've taken, and then you can actually know whether or not you cleared that room efficiently or not. In Season 3, we're bringing the Drone Drill to the map training playlist. Intel is king. The Drone Drill? A good hiding spot could be the difference between a win and a loss. 
Also in season three, we have a new cover mode coming to the aiming lane within the shooting range. It's a great opportunity to get a smaller target as the target dummy takes position behind cover. In year nine, we're not just building onboarding tools, but rather the future of training to help our current players improve their skills to perform at their best. I don't need the drone drill, chat. Quite a bit there for veteran players as well. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and Christopher said it really well when it comes to something like target drill. We've been working good with reveal. veteran players, good making sure that they can clear four I need to order a coffee or something, four, and that they Chat, can where I get a coffee from? possible before they jump and into the ranked match. And of course, this is the best time to jump into Siege as well with your friends when we bring the new versus AI online with attackers as well. Ooh, this now, looks cool. we are here at SI. So, I mean, it only feels right to check in to what the competitive scene of Siege right. will look like in year nine. For more on Siege Esports, here is Esports Director Maxim Vial. We have. When are we getting a console director, pro league? Esports live events and broadcasts. When are we getting Garcia, a console pro league? And Blast Executive Director Christina Martel. Esports. Just a few weeks ago, we have announced some of the changes coming to Blast R6 in Season 2024 and revealed the revamped point system to qualify to the 6th Invitational, which now puts more emphasis on team's results at the Majors. And today, I'm happy to reveal one more key change. This season, we are bringing back the 6th Invitational's last chance qualifiers. We will provide more details on their formats later this year. Great, so this applies to 20 players. In Manchester. We're excited what? to get the very first Bro. major for Siege in the UK, and what better city than Manchester, where we know the crowd this is a pro will be an unforgettable atmosphere for the teams up on stage. In November, we will head to Montreal. Get her a coffee. Rainbow she Six doesn't drink coffee. Production team. Montreal holds a special place in our hearts, and we're excited to be back. After Sao Paulo this year, we will explore fresh location in 2025. The six Invitational will travel to the United States. Whoa, in the US? Wait, in the US? Wait, the next Invitational's in the US? Chat, should I go? It is time to spread the love to Europe. We have so many amazing local communities across Europe. So deciding where to go was not easy. But guess what? I'm happy to announce that in 2026, the six Invitational will be host on Ubisoft Home Turf in France. Francia! Francia! Et ça t'a eu! Paris! Mbappé! Sorry. I there love France. There is a lot that I we covered France. in this panel, so let's bring up France. the roadmap as Paris we Paris Saint-Germain? Look at all that stuff. Francia! Et ça t'a eu! A lot of things people are excited about. Paris! This is a big year for us. Yo, this is actually a dope-ass fucking reveal. Chat here on high school. That is a dope ass reveal. The past, I'm not even gonna hold you. That was a dope ass reveal. Yeah. yeah, there's a ton coming in, and it is all inspired by you. So we're really excited to bring this year to you. Now, before we go, I can't believe the panel's in a shot. to end already because you all have been so great. W's in a but shot. I have to ask, what is the lasting impression you want the community to be left with heading into year nine? Joshua, let's start with you. I, I think the biggest thing is that you're heard. That we are building this game together. We've committed to doing that, and we want to listen to I your just feedback. Be heard, and it is Josh. Really welcome, but actively encouraged. I just so be please heard, keep giving us your feedback because this is our collective game. And as Alex said, it's a great time to get into the game. Lots of new players are joining us, and the passion here in Brazil. Oh my gosh. You will send ripples through this game for years to come. So, again, thank you to everyone, and it's been amazing. Big up to the mandem. Big up to Ubisoft. Big up to... Alex? Big up to... Big up to Leicester. I what Josh said. I want to thank the entire community for all of the passion you brought to the game. Yes, sir. It'll, It'll never stop. stop. I also It'll never stop, the dude. team that works on Rainbow Six Siege as well. They pour their hearts and soul into this game and we appreciate it. Also, I want to thank Blast for putting on the SI, hosting it in Brazil, and for all of you to show up and make it such a special moment. Year nine is an important year for us, and it sets the stage for an important milestone. At the end of year nine, 
we'll be moving into our 10th year of Siege. Yeah, your turn. That's a huge milestone. We're already working hard on that next step for Siege. And while we can't say anything today, Ooh. I will say that Ooh. this brings Siege into the future bigger and better than Ooh. ever. So I want to say again, thank you so much Wait, for making this the best game Ooh. in the world. Ooh. Mm. I want to thank both of you for coming here and presenting everything that you and the team have been working on. We really do appreciate that. And I'm really excited to get into year nine, which a reminder, year nine, season one hits the test server tomorrow. So you could try it out. Before we go, I also want to thank everyone that is watching at home. Before you oh go, God, wait, we got a grand finale. Whoa, we, we got a grand finals it's happening in G minus 10 minutes. Reveals, and we can't wait to see you again. But for now, we have SI to continue. Yeah. <laughs> and the live finals coming up, so stay tuned. Chat. Okay, let me talk to my team. I need to get this sorted. I need to get this sorted. Lou, yes, sir. Lou, what's Porsche? good? What's good? What's good? Today's a day. All right, listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Hey, hey, listen to me right now. Just block out everything else, okay? I'm rocking a 45-second delay today. Lou, it's just okay. going gonna to be just like face it. Hit up Skua. Hit up Bray. Let's Jesus Christ. We're getting, We're getting Lou, trenches? Lou, We're getting trenches? Lou, I don't know what to do anymore, bro. We got it. Lou, we got it. Fucking do it. Wait, does Skua own a controller? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you got dropped because you're making out with Brecky mid game, so you better not be doing that shit today, bro. Right? Just shit. Gonna We're gonna give you the same treatment. Dude, I got. Okay, just making sure. Wait, let's get score. Wait, Mingo? Mingo wants to play with. Let's get score. Hold on, hold on, one second. Get Jay in the party. Get Jay in the party. Get Jay in the party. We, we need to figure out the stack right now. <laughs> Call Jay. What happened to Avid chat? I, I've, I've never played a tournament with Avid. He does not play tournaments. Avid is a 1v1 god. He does not play tournaments, bro. Trust me. Chet, when have I ever Yo, get tournament? on the game. Get Jay on. Look, right now we need to. No, Jinxie said he needs you to get on right now. He said he needs you. I um, I don't know, so he much. didn't Chad. specify. He said he, he missed won. you and he, he wants you Chad. to get on now. Chad, I got dropped by stomping? Then I, I'm like, okay, I'll join Sky. I got dropped by Sky. You got me all the way fucked up if you think I'm losing. Young boy, I got you fucked up. Chad, you got me all the way fucked up if you think I'm losing. I got something to prove today. I got something to prove today. I got something to prove today. You got me all the way fucked up. Four or five okay. or some shit. We need... I call it Jay. I mean, what? I... Bro, Lou, yeah, I know. We... What are, like, some Bro, let's get score. Sco score's a good pickup. I love that pickup, actually. Get score. Get score. Call him. Score's a great pickup. I love that pickup. I love where your head's at. Yo, what if we got, like, Masamitsu? Is he good? I actually like that. He's passionate. Dude, let's get fucking Masamitsu let's and get fucking score. And let's fucking win this tournament, bro. Wait, let's really get Ryan. Don't say that stupid shit again. Yo, Zim, what's good? Yo, what's Zim, good? On good Twitch? luck, charge back. Yes, I'm unbanned on Twitch. I'm so, suspended. I'm yo, suspended. So, yo do you want to play today with me, you, Jay, yo, and Jinxie? Let me mute real quick. I'll, I'll mute in 10 seconds. Zim, so... Um, what are what? your thoughts on me getting dropped by Stompin, joining Skype, and getting dropped by Skype? <laughs> okay, Stompin was a great drop. Uh, Skype is just a bitch, and like he just wants to win so bad that he's not gonna win. I guarantee you, Skype loses second round. I can guarantee fucking tee it. But Stompin, you deserve that shit. And you fucking know it. You lost your passion, bitch. Fuck you. Why the fuck are you kissing a bitch on stream mid round? Mid round for fifty bands. Mid round for fifty bands. Really, bro? Come in. Yeah, I mean, 
mean, Zim, yep. you're not wrong. Why was I doing that, bro? Mid round is crazy. Mid round for 50 I bands? Oh, come on. Yeah, no, kidding. tell that bitch, get the fuck out of my room. Let me lock in. I'll fuck you later. Like, you don't need to do that shit on stream. Can we get it off stream, bro? Come on. Oh my God, scores here. That's bullshit. You right, know it. That's fucking yeah, bullshit. Score, 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 score. We need to win the thirty score. We need to win the thirty score. Listen, I got. I oh got, hell yeah! I woke up to some bullshit on my phone. I got dropped by Stomp, and I'm like, all right, I'll join Skype. I got dropped by Skype. Score. This is score. This is all. Oh, bet we're winning this shit. This is all we got. Score. This is all we fucking got. J guns. J guns. Let's play with Zen. Come on, bro. Yo, yo, should we? Let's um, play with Zen. Zen. No, we can't play with Zen. He's fucking. Uh, he's mouse. We can't play with Zen. Okay, all right. all right, Jay. Now, Lou, Jay's not gonna like this. Lou, Jay's not gonna like this. Lou, Jay's not gonna <laughs> what, like this. Jay, oh, I know. Uh, our fifth, <laughs> Masamitsu. Thoughts? Thoughts? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Wait, why, why would I like this? Masamitsu. You always Masamitsu. say you don't like playing with Masa. You, I, Lou, am I tripping? Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Lou, am I tripping? I'm down to play with Masa as long as he doesn't just talk so much. Like, if he says some, like, if he just talks too much, I'm, I'm pressing him, bro. Okay. I can't like it. Yeah. Realistically, bro, if. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. Hey, I'll be right back, though. Get a fifth. If we look at our team, right, and I'm just going to be honest, bro, in terms of gun skill, we're probably not even in the top five teams, but... Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Shit, real shit, it doesn't matter. It's all about... Bro, it's all, bro watch these all pros play. Spirit. Yo, watch this grand finale and just look at their spirit, right? Like, just like Score said. Look at their spirit, look at their passion. Yeah, we should be... We, we, we should be standing up every round screaming after a round win. I can't lie. Like, we better no, just start, like... That. Just, like, prepping cams and shit. Like, simple shit like that. We don't need to stand up and jump around. Chad, I can't get Shroud. It's a console tournament. I can't get Shroud. Coffee's just dick riding. Yo, how long how long is this uh, Pro League shit going to last to? Okay, Probably, like, two and a half hours. Bro, it's best of five, so... Oh, it's like best of five, hours. yeah. Two and a half hours. Wait, does Bray have a stack? Let me see. If it goes to map... If it goes to Calling, bro. Bro, bro. you want the Richie dumbass? Nah, he is, but you know, a little stick can happen, you know. Nah, bro, I would fleece him out the Richie stack. Bro, I'm finally playing my monster. Why do you want to? Why do you want to play, bro? Yo, Bray. Bray. Bro, what you call it? <laughs> Alex Iga texted me, but no. Um, Never mind. Bray quit. Bray. Yeah, you not play race, play Wait, you want to get Alex as the fifth, Jay? No, hell no, chill, Jay. You're tripping, bro. The downfall of Alex looks to be stunning. I remember when he would like win. Chill. I do no. not want to play with Alex. I rather play with Masa. We need someone that we know. Yes, stop typing right in seven. But well, he gets school. Get but no one's playing with school on controller, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. Dennis. I promise school was cut on controller. I promise he was. Get school. Uh, now. he has me. He has me blocked on Snapchat. <laughs> so chalk that. Bro, we need to get we need to get Masamitsu, I think. Yo, all I want to do today is beat Salmon, bro. That's all I want to do. Do you realize how fucking fu I can't even remember the last time I played against Salmon. Do you realize how funny that would be, bro? That's free. Wait, time. listen, listen. I have a Wait, crazy idea. Wait, what about Shred? Idea. What about Shred? The Shredder. Oh, we could. No, he's he's uh he's banned from Richie Turnies. <laughs> oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> Bro, the okay, whole world's is banned from Richie Turnies. Right, well, yo, I'm down for like any not anybody obviously, but anyone that we could win with. Okay. Alright chat, grand final starting. Where's my coffee at, best. I'm not inviting Kai Sanat to a $50,000 tournament. The guy's the worst player I've ever seen. I'm not inviting him to my team. Shut the fuck up. That ass me, huh? Oh god damn night. It's gonna be the best siege you're gonna ever see here five, chat. in Sao Paulo, And then we got our tournament. Brazil. Let's see what our two squads have to say about one another. So play a, the Grand Finals is amazing because uh, the whole family of the group is here in the call of Brazil. Go the get Queso for a $50,000 Who said get flight? Who said get flight? Can you guys lock in? It's been always a dream of mine to be in the Grand Finals of a Six Invitational. To be in front of our home crowd, uh, to be in front of my family, my friends, it's just amazing. Get I sketch. think Fish Clan is a very complete team, but I think they're oh, making weakness right now. Chad, do you guys want to just like leak you know? all the streams I have coming up? Not leak, but fucking say them. Chat, okay. I don't know when we're going to do this, but it's going to be early March. Me and Sketch, Sketch is going to come out to my place. We're going to get 
absolutely smacked. Chad, I've never, I've never, um, what's it called? I've never smoked on stream. So that would be peak. Or, or we'll get drunk. One of the two. I don't know yet. Um, and then we were thinking of doing an IRL stream the next day. This Sunday, so like a week from today, I think I might, I don't know yet. We might be 1v1ing Shroud. I don't know yet though. I actually don't know yet. It's like 50-50. Possibly, probably 1v1ing Shroud on Sunday. Possibly, probably 1v1ing Shroud on Sunday. Faith with Sketch. On the line. There is, of course, our big trophy, the hammer to lift at the end. Tons of money and a massive 10,000 fan filled arena. Absolutely. Chad, let's get it. W7M or FaZe, run the predictions. Chad, you know I'm rocking with W7M. Two brothers, two siblings, and the fact that they play on opposite teams in W7M yo. and FaZe Clan is massive. And yo, yo. please help yo, yo, you guys know. Diva. Oh, bad. Yo, we can start returning. Um, this like, storyline is absolutely Bro, we can start returning in like an hour. We've got two players. Oh yeah, that takes me an hour to warm up. Why an hour? Well, well, cause I mean, bro, I'm only gonna watch like one or two maps, like max, of this of this BO5. We could, bro, we just need to get a good fifth, and we could pop the tourney, bro. It's eight teams, right? Yeah. Wait, we Bobo got just time. Said Shred is uh, on Shred's Bobo not responding. Shred yeah, but Shred's not responding yet. So just give it time, and then if we have to get someone else, we can. Yeah, I'm gonna watch like one or two maps, bro. Bro, if we can, bro, we should get a good fifth, bro. That's it. Oh. I'll be gone in a loyalty. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just let me know who the fifth is. Uh, Luke, could you like call me or something, or Jay? But the dynasty, it's not just there. That one specific team, W7M, are looking. Chat. W7M or Face. Hammer lift here. In Sao Paulo, <coughs> Blame Eli? Uh, no, I've never played with that guy. What are these I'm teams fielding? With what can we expect fresh? Well, the statistics Chat, I like if we get Masa Mitsu. I like that. If we, add on to it. we look at a head-to-head -head graphic between these two teams. The last Chat, who do y'all got? <coughs> W7 and Ember Face. Well, within this season. W7 and Ember Face. Both times. In fact, the last time... W7 and Ember Face, Chat, who y'all got? Who y'all rock with? It has been almost two years. Get Mingo? Nah, he's with Skype. Victory over Face. So the history doesn't add up. And here you at least as if you're W7M and if you're a W7M fan that is watching from home, you have this kind of atmosphere that hey, at least the fans in Brazil are supporting our team. Both but teams are from Brazil, yes, yeah, chat. Okay, so something we're gonna talk so about listen, because it Brazil is, is the best R6, like they, really they, they, they have the best R6 players. Numbers, as we bro, often like to do here on the how are both of bro, with how are both first of first the teams in finals from Brazil? That's fucking insane. Block. And it is their first time. The W7M won the last two majors. Yes, indeed. They have never played an SI final before. They have played many international tournaments. And the last time they've won something was at that Sweden right major in 2021. And as we mentioned, they played right many international tournaments after. Specifically, this year, they played both Johnny those majors, made it to main stage on both me. of them. Skype and every single time me. they Hell got no. there, they got knocked out by a team from their own region. Guess who they're playing against today? A team from their own region. And I think the one big thing is that FaZe had to reinvent them. Fifth, they the five gifted. The major win. <coughs> the kind of call that was in that Yavla major win, and the cameraman moved on, a few other players moved on. However, they've developed a new team, and that new team has got a lot of brotherhood, a lot of trust in each other, that whenever they're playing, they know exactly what they're doing. Even if it gets a little bit funky, even if it gets a little bit scary, a little bit hairy, they trust that they can find their way through it between every single player on that roster. And brotherhood and trust outside of the game breeds cohesion Chat. in it, Fabio. Yeah. <coughs> first round it already? Like the three players that I'm not getting first round for this game. And it's not because of, well, Yo, them being flex uh, players in a way that the traditional flex role is. The thing with face and how they have gotten themselves to this position which is a grand final okay. it's just the fluidity they are like not gonna lie you're getting first round in it. bro i'm not getting for, with this team i'm not getting first round in it. they'll rotate they'll find another solution bro this is my og team this is my og team bro i'm not fucking losing that rain find their way around their opponents and the way they play is just so so impressive i mean you mentioned three players on the side you see a fucking drop shot as well. One 
<laughs> particularly scary on that entry part. Cyber has been absolutely popping off when it comes to those entry engagements on this tournament. He's going to be a Wait, really scary Wait, FaZe has twin player. brothers on their team? We've not mentioned him, he's the last one. <laughs> and I will say, he does have his main character moments. From Wait, time chat, say you swear to God. Well, 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 that is FaZe's team has that twin that brothers? So let's talk about them. Put them up on the screen for everybody because here, that crowd buff is not something that we can neglect then. It's such an important thing for W7M, right? Because they played both major grand finals, but every single time that they got there, they had the crowd against them. And I will say, this tournament started maybe a little bit shaky for them, but as soon as they made it on that main stage, had the crowd behind Bro, them. Bro, where's my coffee at, really man? And I think they basically, it's the energy, right? The energy of the two crowds being against them in Copenhagen and Atlanta, they fed off that. The energy of the crowds being with them, especially yesterday in that game. Oh shit, they dropped off my coffee. They yes, feed off yes. that. And particularly there's one yes. player that I want to highlight from that, which is JB92. He just feeds off everything. And he has this big moment every single event where he pulls off a huge clutch and he just stands up with his arms out. Well, you talk cohesion on FaZe Clan. What does W7M bring playstyle wise, Fabian? I mean, it's funny because both teams are Brazilian. They have a similar idea on how to start the round, where they spread out a lot, and they try to find gaps everywhere. The difference between them, however, is that when W7M run up to an obstacle, they uh, don't, 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 shy from, they uh, don't shy away from going straight on. Like Pop a burger set before he dropped it up. Where's that? They are so intelligent with all their utility that they use that they just figured out. Okay. Why'd you get dropped? Uh, okay, I'll tell you why I got dropped from the stack. Um, it's because I had like a low delay on yesterday, and everybody kind of got mad at me, which is my fault. I should have had a higher delay on. But I was gonna rock a 45 second delay today, and I still got dropped. So who knows? W7M Hurt is definitely a player that's going to be battling with him in that entry engagement. That is something I'm very much looking forward to. Well, well, well. We talked about Dynasty, and honestly, this has been an, an idea that's been floated around over the past few months. You win two majors, it's great, but a Dynasty, that's another level. It's been the topic that Lock nobody it, really on. wants to approach, is whether W7M are going to be a Dynasty. So on your screen, on. you're going to see G2, and then obviously the Pentacol that my good friend here, Fabian, was on. That Forging Dynasty, dynasty bro. They've won Copenhagen, Atlanta. Into another yo, yo, yo. A few tournaments in between. Now... W7M, they've won one major, they've won two Read majors. chat, if big boy. Six invitational 2024. Wait, chat, do you guys like the stack today, yes or no, and be honest? Do you guys like the stack today, yes or no, and be honest? Yo, can we get the grand finale started? I'm horny, I like dick. Let's get the grand finale started. They're definitely coming into the conversation. There's a Cap, you for fucked her live. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I did one kill equals one kiss. And I admit, you know, that wasn't a great idea. I probably should have done it mid-round. After each round, yes. But yeah, that... But, but, chat. I'm not the one who sold Chalet. I didn't sell. Thank you, Milos. And indeed, I want you guys to take a look at how... Wait, 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 wait. Now that I'm thinking about it... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did I get dropped because I had a girl in my room? The classic extension here in construction and cash. Now, when you're Wait. Attacked, what do you do to punish that? That's actually why I got dropped. There's no one on construction door. You may have a pinch here on the extension. That's your target one. Oh my from god. Someone running into solo wall and then a double pinch from construction window and red stairs. Now, after you. you That's actually why I got dropped. You want to focus on the bomb site. Let's take a look at how the round plays out with real footage. First, Dan and always, they're your target. They're the extension. First player comes in here from solo wall and pressures the target. And at the same time, JV and Hurt, you see how they triple pitch him? Really well played. What's even better is the operator pick. They're bringing Blitz. Why are they bringing Blitz? Because he needs to be quick. And what a play with Blitz. Close range engagements by What a play with Blitz. That's exactly what he's doing with that extension. What a play with Blitz. Now, Aria one is cleared. What do you want to what do? What a Clear fucking Shepherd. play with Blitz. Shepherd is the gateway to the bomb site. And again, great utility usage. Remove that strong position using Grige, uh, Grim, bouncing the swarm off the wall onto him so that he's fully ping and KZ can pre fire him. Now, one last thing. Make face cam smaller. You, you need to remove JV jumped in gym. That means that Make face cam smaller, okay. Position. That's bathroom. That's hallway. Because he's aware of that. So we will just pre fire the first one, pre fire the second one. Welcome to W7M. It's great strategy. Great fragging, great problem solving. W7M for you in attack. Good. Back to you, Milos, on the desk. Is that good, chat? Ricky, at, who are you playing with? Jay Guns, Lou, and Score. What happens when you go in from the I, chat, I got dropped by Stompin', bro. Stompin' dropped me. You get an advantage. 
It's not what we had a few years ago. It's not what dropped me. You, you know what I'm saying? Looking back on it, one kill equals one kiss in grand finals probably wasn't a good idea. Yo, someone in chat said FaZe has twin brothers on their team. That's actually sick. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing. That's the option they took. They get three different Your stack is a terrible uh, idea. That they can take, and this what is stomping stack? Very, very it's literally the exact same stack as yesterday, but I'm not on it. I got sucked out. Oh no, I got dropped. I got sucked out. Then let's call I got that map Vito. Put it up on the screen to get started with it. A <laughs> I got dropped. I got dropped. Pool is what we play around here in oh, they're six. playing each other. Wait, there's two twin brothers and they're on separate teams? W7M, Yo. Very, uh, very not surprised to see Oregon played out. It's W7M's. Oh, they're picking Oregon. That's good. At this event, it's Phase's number one preference map at the event. They're picking w Oregon. That's so good. Where they've only got a 50% defense win rate, and Phase love attacking it. Moving through to Chat, the I'm gonna be locked in. Call stopping. Not surprised W7M picked this one. No, nah, there's nothing to, I, I have nothing to talk to Stomp about, bro. I got dropped, bro. I have nothing to talk to him about. Stomp and drop me. That's cool. That's his decision. Apologize. Bro, chat. I already did, bro. Both maps love it, however, both teams love it, however, W7M destroyed G2 on Skyscraper. Yeah. Dude, I have nothing, bro, I have nothing to apologize for something. It's beef. Today, against, but as today it's beef, bro. Them confidence, even if it was overtime, and it's a very low preference map to face. Oregon map one, Fabian. Yeah, so obviously... And it's cool, bro. It's, it's, it's cool. Preference. At the end of the day, bro, it's they cool. They have a nine map map pool, even if it's the lowest... It was a bad idea. I should have done it. I should have had a higher delay. It's cool, bro. Oregon is a map, obviously, very step-based, which kind of doesn't fit either team, but they do have that extra spice of being able to split up and just go from everywhere at once in that game. Boys, any what? updates on the fifth year? Yeah, sure it's hard, but... Sure. Let's go. Wait, we're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Come on, bro, we can't lose. Yo, I, you gotta unmute, I love Zim, though. Wait, what is Zim want? What is Zim want? Yo, Zim! He said, he said he wants to use the game he's on. What do you say, Zim? This first map, man, it's always a really I said I'm good luck, but look what game I'm on. A concept for a couple of years. Obviously, Yo, Zim, do you want to one me in the hour? I need to one up. One of you want him on that game yeah. he's playing right now. Yeah, yeah. Like 45 minutes. I'm like 45 minutes. Joe Nick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? So do you fuck with like the shit where like me and Joe Sky only want to play the stop and play don't focus that shit? This is more of a warm up map. Like that sounds silly, right? It's a grand Well, I'm going to be honest. Mingo and Sky are all the fame cornballs. Like, I only play. But like, what? But like, I'm saying, I'm saying they don't win anyways. They don't win anyway, so what does it matter? Let me complete my thought. Let me complete my thought. Mingo and Skyd are Hall of Fame cornballs because Skyd hasn't won a tournament since 2023, and he has the he has the audacity to say he'll only play if Stompin plays. Skyd, you're yeah, a joke. That make no sense. You'll play whenever the fuck I tell you to play. It's cool. We'll, we'll <laughs> drop Skyd off too. Yo, yo, if we win with this team, this will be the greatest thing that's ever happened. And it's not that <laughs> this team's good as fuck, bro. It's just we never play. You know what I'm saying? I never played a tournament with mm -hmm. Shred. We gotta bring the energy, and Shred's gotta be on bro, his shit, bro. Yeah, well, you did play a tourney with Shred, and he sold you. Jay and Shred have good ass aim. Me and Score are locked in on support, and Luke can kind of just like, IGL and shit. Here. Luke can just IGL and shit. <laughs> that might be a monstrosity idea, but yeah. And Sim, you're gonna, I'm sure Sim, you're gonna be our coach, Sim. Like you're gonna get. Let's do it. Like, yeah. Sim, Sim, listen, yeah. Listen. When people are I'm fucking up, right Sim, now. Sim, when people are fucking up, you need to tell them, bro. You need to tell yep. them. Yeah, I'm Jay, lock loop. in on the map bands, bro. I don't want to play none of that Nighthaven Labs bullshit. I don't want to play none of that uh, consulate bullshit. I mean, we can get Jiggy on consulate. We can get Jiggy on consulate, not Nighthaven. No. Actually, no. We can get Jiggy on Nighthaven. I'm no, I'll play any match. Fuck it. All right, let's do it. Hey, Zim, I'm going to watch this We can this hit the chalet. You want to do, okay? But. But. I need a warm up chat. What? I thought we were in grand finals. What the fuck? Did I click on an opera stream? Oh my god, they're gonna perform the R6 music. They're gonna perform the R6 music.
actually good. This is actually good. This is actually good. Young boy better. Bro, it's opera! Dude. Oh, orchestra, my bad. Orchestra, my bad. Orchestra, my bad. Okay, I'm getting my coffee. I'm losing interest. Tick-tock brain, tick-tock brain, tick-tock brain. I might fuck your dog. DDS is on my I thought they were gonna do the R6 music, like the shit you hear on the jukebox and shit. That would've been cool as fuck. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Who just asked for fan mail? Guys! Okay. Chat, I'll be back home tomorrow. Wait, this is the R6 music. This is the R6 music. How are they doing this? How the fuck are they doing this?
up. Thank you for the five gifted. Get them in the talent show. Likes it in the butt, they give it the five gifts in. Wait, what music is this? Lil Wayne? No, it isn't. Bro, run ads, please. Chat, it's actually good. This is good. Alright, what's the over under that this tournament starts in the next? Or this uh, finale starts in the next 30 minutes. Chat, can we get an over under? What's the spread here? Dude, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm talking like the game is going, drones are being thrown out, guns are being shot. Like, we're in the game. It's gonna be over. I'm saying over. Chad, I'm definitely saying over. I am definitely saying over. Pure scrub with the 10 gifted. <laughs> scrub, they give it a 10 gifted. Bro, I really do want to watch this game, and it's on Oregon as well. It's on fucking Oregon as well, dude. Yes, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, they're coming out. Wait, they're coming out to orchestra music? Me personally, I would have came out to YBN Namers Op Stoppa. That's just me though. You guys are on the final stage of a $3 million tournament. And you're coming out to a fucking orchestra, G? An orchestra! Abyss, thank you for the 10 gift. Grand Finals. Wait, this is lit! Wait, this is lit! Wait, this is lit! This is actually lit. This is lit. Yo, big ups Ubisoft. Big ups Rainbow Six Siege. Big, big ups to the Mandem. Big ups Tom Clancy. This is sick. This is why we siege right here. All right, relax, Ankh. We're done. This is why we play Siege, dude. All right. Jack, thank you for the vibe gifted. Jack, thank you for the vibe gifted. This is actually sick. This is sick. No, this is sick. This is actually sick. This Brazilian crowd is built different. And what we have here is a moment in time, a moment in history. Twin brothers who oh my entered God. this They're actually together, twins. Oh. about to go oh. their separate ways. 
Sao Paulo. They're actually Cheers. twins and they're playing Andy. against each other. Wow, this must be a real conflict of emotions. É uma narrativa inesquecível para os esportes. Chegaram ao mundo juntos. Tá aqui, Neide e Randy, irmãos separados por uma final de mundial de Six Invitational. Deve ser um conflito de interesse. E só um de vocês sai daqui com a marreta. Como é que fica o coração enfrentar o irmão, alguém que você ama, mas em instantes o amor fica de lado? Cara, é, é muito emocionante Dude, estar aqui jogando brothers. contra ele. É, mas eles têm o dinheiro e a soberba e a gente tem o povo. Chat W7 Ever Brazil, the biggest best of five in Rainbow Six Siege history is going down. Three million dollars on the line. This is like, this is the coolest chat I've ever seen. Cara, é um momento muito inscritivo estar jogando com ele aqui do lado. Bro, they're actually twins, bro. What? Mas a gente tem a humildade que ele fez com a gente, que a torcida mais calorosa do Brasil, e tenho certeza que será uma grande final. It's giving. He believes that the people will come and we will join them because they're humble. You put brotherly love well and truly aside here. Bro, what yeah, type of, like what type of question is that, numb it. nuts? Obviously, they're playing for three M's, you idiot. <laughs> the winning history but normally they chalk when they face like grand finals like this bom é o que eu tenho para dizer só é agradecer a torcida da fez aí e eu tenho certeza que a gente vai sair com essa marreta hoje eu acho que você tem que pedir um pouco de torcida porque a gente já sentiu aqui que a galera tá do lado da w7 n hein? é a sua chance de pedir a torcida bom tudo bem a gente joga contra a torcida mas a gente tem um time incrível eu tenho Dude, certeza que a gente vai brothers. derrotar eles hoje now he understood. The people is with W7M. Now why did they boo? Why did they boo the W7M players? Okay. In Portuguese, any last words for your brother? Suas últimas palavras em português para seu irmão. Boa sorte. Good luck. Suas últimas palavras, last words. Boa sorte que seja jogão. Good luck as well. <laughs> Go and take your seats, guys. Get ready for this one. Oh, they wow. hug. That's so sweet. Oh, that's it. That's actually wholesome. That's so wholesome. Chat. Oh, that was wholesome. Nah, that's wholesome. W brothers. That we've never seen before in the history of That's actually wholesome, Chad. That was wholesome. That was wholesome. That was cool. Brothers. Bro, let's get it, bro. Let's get it, man. Main stage competing. Yo, that's actually crazy. Behind me, in front of their home crowd. Absolutely incredible scenes here in Sao Paulo. Bro, Brazil. this is lit. 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 Arena lotada. W7. Estamos a pouco de instantes da grande decisão entre Fez e W7M. Quem vai vencer eu não sei, mas vai ficar no Brasil. São irmãos, são brasileiros. Daqui a uma reta não sai. Já já, W7M Fez. Fuck Fez, W7M is winning the shit. I said yesterday, when there was three teams left, I said W7 was winning this fucking No, a month ago I said W7 was winning this fucking to win here. A gente já tem uma ideia, mas eu quero testar com vocês aqui. Vamos junto, Ibirapuera. Pra quem vocês vão torcer? Vamos lá, começando. Vocês querem a FaZe? W7M! FaZe! W7M! FaZe! Fuck it in. It's not a jinxy curse, guys! It's not a jinxy curse. Okay, we decided top left is the best camera spot, right? Listen! It's carnival, man. It's carnival. Fuck this is carnival. Fuck this is carnival. So we've got a little bit of time. Top left, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's split this crowd. Jump seven of us not losing. And let's find out which side is the loudest. Vamos dividir aqui, vamos fazer a primeira batalha para ver qual lado. They're gonna see what side is louder. O faz mais barulho. Se é o meu lado, vocês comigo aqui. E vocês não vão me deixar perder pro gringo, hein? Oh, to Ian Chambers, traz a torcida junto com ele. Can I start over here? Start over there. Okay, this side, this side here. Wait. Okay, everybody with me. Eu quero ver esse lado aqui fazer barulho em três, dois, um.
this is the atmosphere here you've been up for at my side is right. Can I watch this entire BO5? Let's go mock him. Yep. Yeah, you did good. No, no, I'm not 1v1. I'm not 1v1. Okay. Okay. I, I want to watch this entire video. Vamos de novo, galera. Agora respira. Guarda o pulmão e vamos fazer o Ibirapuera tremer. Vamos lá. Vamos watch this entire video. 3, 2, 1. Vamos fazer barulho, Ibirapuera! Let's go. Lock it in. 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 Yo, what's up, Zim? Are you ready? Bamba Fasse Barulio! Shreds. Okay, that's fine. Tell me to get, get Mouse up. Get Mouse up. That's what I'm... Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, listen. Mm. Last thing. Okay. We've proven here in Brazil that R6 is bigger than ever. Chat, and let's get it. To this let's get it. Not nah, chat, let's get it. Here let's fucking go. And let's go. Want to let everybody know all eyes are on the Ginasio do Ibirapuera here in Sao Paulo. So all together now, let's rock this entire Now nah, let's go. Let's actually let go. Let's know that Brazil. Let's won. actually go. Vamos fazer o seguinte, todo mundo junto agora para mostrar pro mundo que o Rainbow Six Siege é gigante e vamos fazer o Ginasio Ibirapuera tremer. Ready? Three, Three two, two. Oh my God, we're starting. We're starting. We're starting, we're starting. We're starting right now? Can you feel it? We can all feel it. The grand final of the Six Invitational 2024 starts right now. Base Clan, W7M, let's get into it with our casters. Well, the moment has arrived, and haven't we? Lock the fuck in, man! In no, lock the fuck in. Lock the fuck in. Lock the fuck in. Actually, lock the fuck in. Not just in this tournament. Actually, lock the fuck in. But basically, their whole lives. Actually, lock the fuck in. By this ten thousand strong crowd here in Brazil, and now these two titans clash together on this grand stage. Let's get it. Cannot wait to jump into this game for Phase Clan, a six-one record against W7M post SI twenty twenty. They haven't had an opportunity though to um, hi guys. in a playoff bracket this Text season. Can Tucci. they step out of the shadow cast by W7M? Well, I can't argue there, right? Those of them, last aside, they're in the finals. They won back to back majors. If they win here tonight, I'm gonna say it, oh. it will be the beginning of Wait, the yeah, did I have drops 10 minutes siege. ago? I, I probably is. is it not? It but obviously, this crowd, it is split, is it not? What? Who have we got Bro, taking I had this grand final yesterday. very quickly, Pedro? I want it to happen. Give Chad, me did I have drops 10 minutes ago? All the way. Very quickly, guys. W7M32. All right, let's Internal get into what will now. be the grandstand beginning of hopefully one of the most epic conclusions to Six Invitational okay, we have ever this. had. Toby, give me the five gifted. Toby, give me the five gifted. Toby. Toby, thank you so much. Man. Within this it. arena, 10,000 people must now choose a side. Lock the fuck in. Will it be the Lock challengers? The in, Phase Clan. Oh, I got drops. Chat, they're on. I'm so calm. <laughs> Chat, we got drops. Lock the fuck in, man. Chat, we got drops. Chat, I'm so calm. Where the bros at? I'm trying to bend, Mike. It's the hammer. Chat, I'm watching this entire best of five. I don't know what to and then I'm shitting on stomping with the jazz because stomping wanted to drop jump me. Into this game. Stomping wanted to drop Oregon me. Map and one. You and it's Ying dog? Grim today, off the board, Nick. I was curious here. I want to say it. I am curious I if we'll see a clash ban from Aiden, they W7M they because we know that the king, we know Faze, the back to bring this operator. So far, the Ying, the Grim, the Fenrir, it's right by the script. Chat. This is what they've been Faze doing throughout this tournament W7M. on Oregon. Spam up with his W7M. Chat, we're going to get the top left, we're going to get the top left, we're going to get the top left, we're going to get the top left. We'll go with their good old stable of Tuberau. Three million dollars So the Azami then will sneak through. Three million the most dollar banned defender from FaZe in this tournament. We got tournament. drops, we got drops. And the crowd already 
screaming the name of their favorite team. Okay, so the twin the brothers are an epic match. Let me find it. Certainly is a stage filled. Okay, I'm gonna find the gamer tag for the twins real quick. To the rafters here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> Already, make camera smaller. Got it. Got it. The hearts of siege okay. Everywhere. Regardless Chad, this is gonna be crazy. No, this is gonna be fucking crazy. Ever seen in this game, and for one last time, let's see okay. what noise this crowd The twin brothers are Handy and Nate. The were 50 -50. Is his name the actually Handy? Seems 50 50. Chad, let's go. Everything this is it. Says that this should be one of the, the best last best, best of five. Of the end of the R6 Invitational. Face Clan versus W7M. The 10 best players in the world competing for a prize of 3 million fucking dollars. Let's get it, let's go. If this doesn't hype you up to play Siege, I don't know what the fuck else will. W's in our shot. Round number one. Defensively, we're going to base Okay, Oregon. Dude, this is so good. Nothing standing out as being too unusual in terms of their composition, but looking across to the attack. So they brought the Capitayo here. Some intriguing picks. The gridlock in play, so flank watch available. Capital will be a key player in the late round for clearing space. And keep an eye on KDS. Great drone work, KDS. Great drone work. Chad, if you're really playing for $3 million, dollars, what operator are you right picking now, on defense? Say it right now. Ready for mine? Mew. If you're playing for $3 million, dollars, I'm picking Mew. I don't care. Yo, guys, I'm not making the face cam any smaller. Shut up. Guys, everyone has drops. All you have to do is refresh, okay? I'm going to be streaming, like, all day, so you'll get drops. They're close together because they really want that open engagement. And in the grand finals, when the pressure is this high, it only it only makes sense that W's and M, despite being a very aggressive team usually, are oh, all on site in base. Okay, Maverick is hatch is so smart. To split. Heading into today, they both have a 50% attack. See how he doesn't expose himself to the hole. See how Maverick does that? The defense. I mean, they are equal in almost every part this is of hot. the game this is... at the moment. Wait, I didn't know you could do that. I swear to God, I didn't know you could do that. Down below for w bro, he just broke, he broke the hatch, but he insane. only got like 20% really of it. To be made, I didn't know you could do that. Early on. So, but the downside to that is you give FaZe a lot of that time up above for free. They open the hatches, meeting's gone. 90 nice. seconds left in the round, and the Roteros make their way through Freezer, clearing some of these keeper barriers to create that space for FaZe on that eventual push. They must, though, get multiple angles of attack. Gotta get something here with the snow. It got muted. It got really good at knowing when it got muted. Shot on defense. They will play it safe, but make it seem like, hey, we're not gonna do anything, but out of nowhere. Chat, I'm shooting for W7M, by the way. Into the attackers. It's been a slow build up here for FaZe, but it's the Fuck expectation. Phase. Will they be able to pounce onto site? KDS with a final Rotero. He sends that through Freezer. The util clear here from FaZe has been pretty spot on. That's a good Flores. Now That's a great Flores. Can FaZe build upon it? 50 seconds remaining in this opening round here for Six Invitational 2024. Who can find the opening kill? Will it be FaZe to make their way into site a little bit easier? Oh Sniper through Freezer. <coughs> not connect with the initial shots that he outlays, but he pushes forward slowly. What is he saying? Barry! Whoa, Barry! Whoa, JV, Barry! Oh my god. Oh, no, W7M, no. No, W7M. They just got flawless. They just got flawless. They just got flawless. That is not the start we were looking the for. Hey, that is not the start we were looking for. Yes. It's okay, W7M. Shake the it the off. We're right back out in the battlefield. Down, the buck and the skeleton key shake it off. Just shake it off. We're good here. We're good here. Shake it off. Hop back into the next round. We're fine. This is awesome, Bossom. Pressure makes diamonds. Okay? Pressure makes diamonds. That's the 50-50 map that no team wants to go to in the finals because you might just lose because you don't know what's going to happen, really. It's up to those micro decisions in the server. Pressure makes diamonds. Map, Aiden with the 10 gifted. W Aiden in the shot. That Aiden with the 10 gifted. Chat. This doesn't have to happen. Oh, 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 I'm appreciating and grateful for everything you guys And the push through freeze are still clean are despite kind of, that keeper barrier kind of standing. And we subs. said before there was a bit of a split in the crowd, now. probably in favor of W7M. But the noise emitted from the pocket of FaZe Clan 
members or fans. Wait, how much? Can you get the browser source is astounding. Unfortunately, such is the case sometimes in esports. Things don't quite go to the script. It's not even a big deal. Like after just one round, and it does just kind of leave us a little bit yearning for that second round. Hopefully, not too long. There is a little bit to, to talk about, off. though, Nick. Of course, slow. Camo with the 10 gifted. Camo with the 10 gifted. But a lot of that was because W7M gave them that space. They didn't contest up above. They didn't go for spawn picks. And they certainly didn't contest those hatches. Molly, they would have gifted it. And that's the thing that's not very common for W7M. When we think about this team. Gutsy with the 20. W, Gutsy, man. Wait, they already paused? Why did they already pause? That's such a waste. If you run around the map, go for those balls. Chad, why would W7M already pause? And shut them down. So you said it yourself. They played safe. Oh, it was a technical pause. They didn't have anywhere See, Chad, I never claimed to be intelligent. I never claimed to be intelligent. It was a technical pause. Check this going on. I have I just not important. To have the numbers. If it's about the have I is it about sub count? I'll just get it on when I'm back in town. Tell me to give the five gifted. I can say that we're very likely to get back into this second round very, very shortly here. A dramatic start, a flawless start. Yeah, I'm playing after this. This is the opening map. And a best of Call in the five gifted. You don't take too much from just one round. No, you can't. And I mean, this is the long game. You can even lose a map. I mean, you can lose two. The comeback is always possible. You would know. Lock it. I would know. <laughs> For one time, I mean, we spoke about this before, right? What do GC we want to from this? Five maps. Guys, you guys were saying that yesterday in W7M1. Bro, W7M is gonna win, bro. You wanna know yeah, why they're like gonna win? Because I, I'm after cheering for them. Scout, they give the, the 50 server. gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Scout, you're actually fucking insane, bro. Scout, they give you the 50 gifts. I love you. Then for round number two. Can W7M formulate a response? They are a team that have already proven time and time and time and time again when they're under pressure, they can step up. They've made the lower bracket run. Lock the yeah, fucking down. They up against Virtus Pro. This is not going to be enough to shake them. It's going to take one hell of an effort here from FaZe Clan to really apply some serious... Is he running out? Wait, is he running out? I mean, they've been whoa, 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 whoa. Raining hammer lifters. Whoa, is he running out? One thing for FaZe, though, they don't have any ego about them. They'll have a starting plan going to every single round, but they're not afraid don't to do change it. on a don't do it. things do not work out. Don't do it. Nor to brute force if they feel like they have to. So don't you do it. Here don't run out. Very Actually do it. Do it. Actually do it. Do it. Do it. Actually do it. have to go fast, they will. The biggest thing I'm looking for for W7M will be that pace. We saw it in that opening round. Said it a couple of times already. Slow down in the pacement. Well, guess what? We got stairs now. Kid Storms and already you can see herds over towards that armory position. And so he He's already no. wanting to contest. Now you've got JB92 as well towards Big Tower. So immediately we see the response. More aggressive positions, happy to get into the face and take those early contact fights with FaZe. JB92 loves to play these sort of power positions. FaZe have the tools. Two minutes here, W7M, to stay alive. Combo. If they want to play into it, FaZe are this the is best is so example good. of a team that will avoid the strongest part of a defensive hole. They will pivot. They will change up their push. So they may elect not to contest JV92, but you can see Handy, perhaps keen to get in Big Tower and get to work on the map. Rocco, they were the five gifted. Here. They've seen them play Orc and they know the patterns that they have because they tend to be the star most rounds, JV in Big Tower, but it's Hurts and KC usually in the front looking for things as the Cyber downstairs to the buck. No vertical destruction just yet. W7M, this is literally perfect right now. Nobody's died yet. This is perfect. Obviously, they haven't even cleared. JP, Cyber takes the initial shot. He comes off second worst. He's still got a bit of pressure, though, for FaZe. And away he goes through Benjamin the trophy. But can cast over towards Philippe Pox, trying to deny that entry coming in from the balcony. On the repel. Pressure again from FaZe. Handy over towards Big Tower as well. Cyber makes entry into pit. Gets the kill. Trade does come through from that attic position, which is still in favor of W7M because of that big tower hold. Because of what the Oryx can do through the hatch. Vinicky! Oh, Good name! JP! Can he win the battle? No! no. He makes it a three versus one! He had to win that, JV. If he got that kill, it's a two. No, two. yes, yes. One v two. On to Vita King. One v two. Makes this a little bit more comebackable. No, King. KDS is watching. Fuck, he's man. Bro, Faze is running through them. Really put anything wrong. Huge double kill there from. Why are you guys spamming Ws? Chat, we're cheering for W seven M here. Philippe Look at all these phase dick riders. Wow, chat, really? OC, they give you the five gifted. And that attack 
Again, Ruthless making W7M pay Bro, for the small mistakes okay. that they're making at the yeah. moment. We saw FaZe again Dude, being able to out of nowhere say, you know what, it's time to go. There was like, what, a minute and 14 seconds left. Who's Cyber, okay, fuck you, chat. I'm cheering for W7M. Every kill, and he gets traded immediately. It's a one Dude, the lower the bracket run. Thing, but the, the fucking craziest best of three them. ever yesterday. How could you do it? Wow, that's on the scoreboard, not the guy we expect to see most from. He goes wow, and that's on Capital. Yeah, they professional got the players are very good the at this game. Butt. What they needed yeah, there yeah. was not utility, are very they needed manpower. You need guns! <laughs> as simple as that. Mechanically sound, the repositioning on point, really well played. Needs to be said as well, for those unaware, Oregon essentially tied. No shit. Map when it comes to attacking. Obviously. So the phase, they've already got no shit, sure right Especially with the fact that in that opening round, it was on basement, which statistically is the best. CTRL? Oregon. So, Control? The phase, now we beg the question, the response from W7M. What the, that was the weirdest response that just came out of nowhere. So, <laughs> the shot drones now with that. Cyber on the Twitch. Into the you source mode of Herd. Solus can really punish Change the attack mag. if they're leading into pre place drones. As well, can help to bolster the protection on site. Because of course, those shock drones can counter a ton of that utility. Rolling yeah, back. but then we got the Tokubi, we got the Jackal, we got really strong and guns from the attack inside, the and a bigger, a quicker pace monster here right now from Faze, kind of keeping the same guessing as to what's the style gonna be. Slow, methodical, explosive out of nowhere. Is it gonna be relying on utility, for example, or drone intel? Right now, Faze, they're just lingering on the server. What is that EMP? What the fuck is that? Suited. I mean, they're trusting their system. Warren Copper. What was that EMP, dude? Into this grand final. What was W7 that? ever just? I'm sure they will as well. But at the moment, it's a strong start. Vita getting taken low. A contest oh. through split, and the hard breach will fall. Oh. But it's not over. Into a classroom. Jamie couldn't get the response that he was searching for on the Souls. Still over towards split. It's hurts. Oh my God. Chill, Being chill, aggressive chill, chill. on that Solus. That's the response. Chill. The question that was begged, and finally the response has come through. Courtesy of hurts. Cyber's down, but no. not out just yet. And then no. he gets yes. caught. No. Inside a meeting coming from Big Tower. Handy made it. Bro, can W7 talking a bit of pressure there from Felipe. Hey, it's a four I've not seen this count. But unless they've done this count. Teams are now it's pixel perfect. Come on, W7. Fighting back and forth. In. Members injured. And now hopping down the hatch. Chasey dropped down. He wants to take the fight, but he goes for a different option. Rotates away. KDS is low. Can I don't love this. I don't love this. I don't love this. Create I don't love this. Security. And then press oh. building me. Andy. How the fuck so is Andy still shitting on people? Four versus three now as FaZe retake the lead here in this round. 60 seconds remaining. Great work from FaZe to shut down that flank potential. And now FaZe wins their man advantage. Cyber now, shock drains, as we mentioned, critical. Can chip oh. away at that utility. The Goyo canisters and Bro, those smoke no canisters are both key round, right? in stalling out this push. Now they're gone. They're going to be wasted. They'll be expired by the time FaZe are ready to push. Also oh. here, KDS handy cyber, stolen HP, any fire, toxic babes will stall them out There's or no take them down way outright. Way. Face are not having much health to work with, it might just be an issue for them. It might oh be a similar God. push to what we saw in the opening round. It's a oh double push God. through laundry, a couple of players through freezer, cyber goes for a drone. Nade hasn't been spotted in that hallway position that oh might red ping down. Information comes through from the Jackal KDS. Still one more scanner. Smokes go out. Cyber makes the slow push as well. Coupled with Salt. Basically has the diffuser in hand. Down to the final 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> 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 Did that just move? Yes! Dumb seven and back. Dumb seven. I'm looking to make a statement, but Salt! W7M is not that. I repeat, W7M is not that. They only get one kill, sure, but they buy so much time. And you got the Goyo canister. Bro, can we wake up? W7M looked perfect, but somehow... You guys are getting absolutely hornswoggled in front of 200,000 people. and I thought that they were going to be expired. Oh my god, and now they're like twerking. Come on, bro, lucky. We're placed to perfection, yet despite that... And other pieces of utility standing Lee in the way of Faze. Bro thinks he's on the team. Again, Chad, I already said I'm W7M's coach. Key positions, I'm SSG's coach first and foremost. When SSG and gets eliminated, I'm W7M's coach. Now that pressure perhaps is starting to mount a little bro, bit now for W7M. Bro, is crazy. I mean, I love that start, Wait, at least for W7M. Wait, W7M has lost three consecutive building defenses. But my goodness, this is the back-to-back no, training major fun. champions, and they look a little bit shocked at three consecutive right now from Faze, the team that in those very major tournaments got knocked out. In Chat, the semi-finals, really both times falling. 
before the final Three hurdles. But right now, they are making leaps and bounds to start the six invitational. Three nothing on attack. Nick, this is unheard of. Uh, I did not see this coming. Yeah, I gotta say, hoping, right now, this is, is all, the all the about face. They're in control. Two, two, they're setting the pace. They're making all the right decisions. But I do feel like would, WSMM, they got to change something up. They had the same kind of semi. I literally take it. If this game goes seven seven, match point two two. But normally they have four. This is the greatest best of five in all six oceans. We gotta play safe. We gotta play risky. Birch Casey, seven seven. The rest point. of us play on site. No, no, play as a team. Five players. We saw a documentary on Breakable. Okay. And WCW is saying, guys, right the communication is isn't there. We it. don't win as a team. We have to play as a team. We've not seen that yet. And I think a good example of that in the previous round was Felipox, free stage. He elected not to push through support that roam inside of meeting. Felipo, why are you roaming with Valkyrie? In a match where Felipo, I need you locked in, man. In the face why are you roaming with Valkyrie, bro? Significant advantage if played correctly so we enter now into round number four it's a top four defense for w7m can they get why the fuck is Filippo roaming with valkyrie that's the question that i'm asking as well and now we see face change it up again slow fast fast slow and right now it's about an intel game for those they want to know more things in the map that's why the valkyrie's being brought out four nitro cells here from w7m so our understanding with that, they probably want to play the vert positions that they can use. Obviously, you can also throw them out of windows, like big window, for example. What is that a zombie? Oh my god, it's so he doesn't get wall back. It's so he doesn't get wall back. But he gets caught. Oh. Fire. W7M, okay, it's face cheating? What the fuck is this? Yeah, it is. Every single time. Opening There's no way face cheating. Bro, what am I watching? Right? Early lead. As you mentioned, though. Several nitro cells still remain here for W7M. Is that the clutch factor that can bring the round back? They want to peek. They want to see if they can. Okay, if they get 7 0, we may as well not even show up to the other games. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can someone on W7M make a fuck? There we go. There we go. There we go. But Souls in response every single time. FaZe has got the answers. Still one nitro cell for KZ. Rips it, but misses KDS altogether. Yeah, he's still alive. And Felipe's now top white makes his entry. No flash. No, he's not white. Oh, KDS doesn't miss. KZ though can't clutch. And so far it's all FaZe. FaZe is unstoppable right now. FaZe is literally unstoppable. Rounds now in a row. Where we go? Okay. Okay, w 7 out. They look pretty mighty fine. Pull your don't. head out of Please, your fucking ass every cheeks. Time in the early you guys have lost we'll four consecutive organ defenses in a three million dollar best of five. But then late round, they always find a way into the bomb site. They always trade out in favor. No, this and they is actually fucking insane. The back to back major champion this into is actually a tactical timer insane. after just playing four rounds. Three now, we got four to speak four consecutive. to a lot of the fans outside of the arena today. W7M timeout. I think out. the split is yes, the called a fucking timeout. In Somebody should fake an injury or something, yeah, just grab your ankle now, and fall down, save us 20 minutes here, and sub somebody out. I don't know. Sub, sub whoever's 0-4 out. Into an this is a fucking disaster. Down four this is a disaster. Straight Faze are the upper bracket team. But W7M are the back-to-back -back major champions looking to seek that hammer that has eluded them since SI23. They're playing like you. And so far, not off to the best start here in their final last dance. And picking up on the point from Nick about the emphasis on the early round. What a wall. Oh <laughs> and the entry kills like that. It only is narrowly in favor of FaZe. How is their this aim match. this good? 57% to 55. We're talking narrow How margins. is their aim At this the good? moment, though, it's no, not like, looking actually. like that. Bro, you're wearing a G2 jersey in your side. And I mean, <laughs> we've been watching WSM for a full year. And the big story takeaway that I was is, what do you do against them? Where are the Camara? gaps? Where are the weaknesses? Well, yeah. almost no teams in the last full year of Siege has been able to expose those at all. Was that a Camara? And the other thing as well, there's always these question marks about pacing and, and how should you play this oh, game? Should you right? go fast? A G2, for example, a W7M. Those two, in fact, are basically the top two teams when it comes to time on entry. You know what's one of the lowest teams? Third last, in fact. Tied Bro. third last. Okay. Yeah. It's FaZe. About um, a minute and a half thing. That's a good, almost crazy close to 25 seconds slower. They are so zim, man. So that's quite a staggering difference. Yo, dumbass. That, they actually have the same amount of attacking win rate. So it really does go to show in this era of Siege, you don't have to follow a script, you can play your own way.
You say it's the third slowest, is that correct? Third w7, slowest? Yeah, just lock the fuck in. Just lock the fuck in. Just the fuck in. Faces a slow team. Yeah, they will set things up correctly, but when they start going, they do not stop. Well, round five then. Ready a rearing off the back of that tactical timeout. I'm heading to the basement side. The W7M wants any chance Easy of winning this game. They need to win this round. Well, mine, those discs are great counters for the Count Patel. Fire that though. Cyber probing. This is a must And there's another round. outline. He's partner in crime. It's herds on the warden, so Cyber needs to be very careful here. I mean, W7M just can't get these early contact fights to go their way. Again. Oh my god. Oh my god. And obviously at this point now, I think W7M is get the fuck off the team. Seeking it really Where are you going? Aggressively. <laughs> And probably a little overzealous in that, and now they're getting really powerful. Sub out Footy Bow right now. Sub him out. Sub him out. Sub him out. Sub him out. What is this guy they doing? They do play overzealous. They do play those high risks. But again, emphasize here, they do it as a team. Felipox, not the guy to solo or ghost to be the. We gotta talk about KC and Hertz. Where are they? But on this round, they're playing stuff like Omai. And has he been drawing? Yeah. Is Hertz actually sneak? Oh, he's got the flank. He's got the creep around. Hertz uh, coming through the corridor very slowly. And maybe a moment for W7M that could bring around back around that they've still yet not been able to find successfully wait hurts goes out hurts they know you're here hurts they don't know you're here this has hurts they don't know he could put that hurts. phone to sleep. They don't know you're here. And re-aggress on the flank Why later in the round. KDS already hurts right inside the inside freezer, alongside hurts. Cyber. Flank. Two big flank. targets flank. for him to find. Flank. Why are you not spectating hurts? Why, are, why is the announcer not spectating hurts? Oh my god. Let them all come down the staircase, then go for the flank. Watch Double hurts. push freezer. Hurts will be the player to go for that flank for W7M. It's the best win condition. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go. KDS is on Percocet 30. I don't care what anybody says. This guy's cheating. KDS is on crack cocaine right now. This guy wants a bit of help and will seek and get it from Nade. One gas bait still left in the back pocket as well. Three on two for FaZe. W7M holding on by the skin of their teeth. And the smoke canister will just stall out the default plant for a little while longer. Little shift over the hand. He's got a good push coming in. Elbow, JP falls. I know the last one remains inside a freezer with no gas babes. The chance here for Nade is very unlikely. Does his twin brother come and finish the job off? Oh, Andy wants to go for the peak. Nade, the red pink, a little bit of information up close from Bill. It's sounds. W7M, I say this is the utmost disrespect. Plays, it's a dream that this is the worst reality. performance in Five internet nothing. history. And that little camp of Straight W7M up. is silent. This is the worst performance in if internet you history. What a, what a near perfect round of siege looks like. Y'all are about to get seven o. You that round. Anything for three from million KDS, dollars. Catching the flank on the freezer three, stairs, three, despite the three being three a factor. No hesitation three, from the side of the land. Nico made Y'all are about to get seven o. They go on freezer. But this is the worst performance in internet for, history. The mid round road to where they recognize Felipe this is not gonna dying. work. Felipe, Three people not will go back this side. Big tower, meeting hatch, outside blue double door. And while Doris is so distracted, trying to retake freezer with two people against one, that's all there is to find. And then the backside attack comes through. It's how to secure that fifth round in a row. Oh, 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 oh,
run. Why are you flanking? Just run. Just run. Just run. Thank you. Thank you. And as you can see, the top left. JV, why are you remaining here? JV, run. Run. Run, JV. Will that be? the error or perhaps the counterplay from W7M that they've presented in shutting that down. Could that be the win condition for them to finally get a defensive round hit win here on Oregon? Very well maybe. And again, we might actually see the time be an issue right now. We see here the, the, the duos, Solas and the all explain together on Longy's side. But the catch is there. Katie's oh my god. Oh my god. Down. Is three. Again, W7M, y'all are jokes. Y'all are a joke. The, the trendsetters at the moment in this map of Oregon. Y'all are a fucking joke. On the back foot the entire Straight way up. through this first half and remains so even towards the very end. Cyber gets yeah. aggressive through bedroom. Flush went out, gets the right hit the on the swing. Successful. You Nine guys are balcony. You guys are a absolute fuck back here from W7M. And Jamie can't make the play work. Denied. Shut down. This is a slow joke. Joke. An absolute joke. Who the fuck? Who the fuck was flanking up the main staircase? Absolutely perplexed at the wall we are seeing right now. Do not ever to begin this grand final, six nothing yeah, yeah. to they, face in the Don't opening half. Nobody says shit. Map Thank pick you. After all, the game is speaking boy, for itself. Showing Whoever us flanked why. the main staircase, give me his game. Give me his we game gotta talk about something here, gentlemen. This is the best of five. It works case. very differently than your traditional best of threes. It's about the long run. Numbskull. If you're W7M, it was by my experience, was by what I believe in, it is not worth fighting it Chalk out it. on all I know that sounds crazy, but the best of five requires so much energy. Top, 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 Mental toughness. It's top, top, gonna be a long night. I say you quote unquote give them Oregon, and yet sucks to lose 7 0 7 1, but you at least have something back in this tank. Give them Oregon? Yeah, it's been taken! <laughs> Stolen! This you let him take it! Phase are up 6 0. There's no letting. They have run all over W7M. You guys are 6 nothing wrong. match point. What a start. Face and of course, Nick, back in the, the olden day, the old old day you used to have I don't care this a is bit of an advantage for finishing, finishing, finishing in that upper bracket, that default map. This is basically all that is now. A default map because W7M have not shown up. Since the best of five format has been introduced to the six invitational, no team has ever won a map. In a 7-0 fashion, the most dominant was G2. The first ever 7-0. The first ever 7-0. That was a 7-1 victory. No 7-0s to speak of. Wow. I mean, hey, G2. History. Hey, we'll just pay phase. Just pay them now. For sure. yeah. what? Send them a wire Broken transfer. Three million USD. Send them a wire transfer. W7M Yonari Hall of Fame joke. Let's throw out a gas babe early on. Good information early for W7M. Might just find their groove on the attack. Less pressure, if you will. Although the pressure's gone at this point because they're so far behind when it comes to the scoreboard. Down six, nothing. But I will say, I've already been a part of a six-zero That's comeback at this That's very insane. tournament. That is insane. Impossible. But W7M will have to be. Did this announcer just say it's possible? It. Like said, it's not possible, dude. They're getting seven zero. No, it's not possible. Energy. Has to be a consideration at least. Always an M, yeah, they won majors, but not like this. Not when you've been pressured. This announcer just had the audacity of saying it's possible. They got the OSA. They have a strategical way into this round without not counterplay from the defense and the inside with their impacts. Sidebar aggressing over towards blue. But certainly this Osa could play a pivotal role in capturing control through Freezer. For FaZe, they're able to just brute force their way through in the gunfights. But a bit of utility laid here from WC. It's a good angle. It's a really good angle. Yep. We gotta see Handy or Cyber. That is a really good angle. We see those Osa shields getting deployed, those Talon shields. And Kadius is there. So now to get the intel, go for a swing, out impact goes. Take that freezer control back. Five stack on site for phase defensively has kind of allowed W7M to get into very critical positions. Laundry and freezer, an open kill for her. It's finally feels like a long time. Wow, ago. W7M, you guys, guys got a kill. Nice. Good job. Leave the lobby. This game is over. Leave the lobby, W7M. This was a joke. Get into map two. Who's gonna get the response for phase? Because it feels like it's coming. They've been the team so far in this map that have always had the answers. KDS as well with keeping the barriers. Hey, W7M, Freezer, you guys have 45 seconds left, by the way, if you want to push or anything. Let me know. He's not considered by the attack. He could be a difference maker. Oh, Handy! So shit. That's so shit. That's so shit. That's so shit. Yeah. W7M is so shit. Doing this in a second fashion for FaZe that got the chance to create his team of Vinicky Fall. Lamp and Abuser. 7-0, get him out of the lobby. Coming through pillar, made for the plant. That's a big plant. What? 
Oh my god, 7 0. 7 0 him. Win the one. But like. W7M are on the board for the first time at the Six Invitational. Yo, Mr. Announcer. I don't give a flying fadoodle cake. The game is over. He just said W7M is on the board. This is an embarrassment. Chocolate turn. Chocolate turn. Game for them so far, and going onto the attack is gonna be even more difficult. Holy shit! This guy's snazzy. Yo, this guy's. Wait, this guy mauls. Wait, this guy mauls. They got a 5-0 half against the Sonics a few days. This guy mauls, dude. A big reason why FaZe were able to do so well on defense was because Yo, that guy's that actually snazzy. This guy's snazzy. That saw from Vidiking. That's something that I know Pengu has touched on already. This guy's, dude, this guy's game. handsome as hell. You see that clash from Vidiking, which plays inside of the closet, slows anybody walking into Master, and allows Handy or KDF. Dude, he like has like an announcer voice. Swing in from Trophy and get kills. That's going to be very All right, so, um, that's what I'm saying, though. Deal uh, he's so kind of just yapping right now. When and if we get uh, to the bomb site. There's We're gonna a lot need of to see something good from W7M to take it down. Over there because Quickly, this Jesse, is before we jump back in. This oh, no, Jesse's gone. Okay, see you, Jesse. <laughs> this is That's all right, terrible. we'll talk to you later. It's all good. Stay I think up. the map's this gonna be over soon anyway. Let's <laughs> awesome. jump back into things. 6 1, the scoreline, W7M. W7M, this, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Dude, W7M. I have w seen diarrhea shits in my toilet better than this performance. Last week, I had the worst coffee shits ever, and my toilet looked better than your guys' performance. Either they have to go all the way to overtime, or they gotta lose soon, because losing like 7-5 again, those energy reserves. But I think you're saying about Sonox, it's just, it's a free map in their mind, right? That's how you gotta play this mentally, you can still try. It's that one round at a time mentality that needs to be taken here, now by W7M. I know it seems difficult on a long journey, but that has to be the Mindset here, forget the scoreboard, take it out of your mind, treat each round as if it's zero zero. You cannot let that scoreboard You're so toxic. You. Teams have Dude. been able to make hey, these hey. gigantic comes back, come back. Hell yeah. And boy, brother. wouldn't it be great if they could do I'm it. I'm watching a three million dollar tournament right now, even if you fall and short, it looks like I just tuned in to the varsity versus JV warm up game for basketball. Your next map. Am I watching Varsity vs. JV practice, or am I watching a $3 million finals? Hell yes, I'm toxic. I'm here to watch good gameplay, not whatever this absolute horror show is. I'm really liking this advanced position from KZ. Don't worry inside of Freezer. Some this literally looks like Varsity vs. JV basketball practice, I swear to God it does. Kind of play from Faze on site. You see KZ lurking around elsewhere though. Bad rain. Shitty rain, hard shitty. He just got put into a Pokeball in front of 200,000 people. Hurts, let's get you on Fortnite, G. He just got put into a Pokeball in front of 200,000 people. Hurts, let's get that ass on Fortnite. That's it. Chocolate.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.
Seven to one. You're playing for $3 million. I completely give up. It's over. W7M is done. I give up. They lost. It's done. W7M is over. It's done. Welcome back to the analyst desk. I'm Milos. With me are friends Fabian and Anne. Let's get started. Bet all of your channel points on phase. Just trust me. Bet all of your channel points on phase. It's done. Fabian has been attacked. When you the let's see what the ho let's see what um I mean, the yeah, announcers say. Uh, say anything against. I mean, we saw seven attack wins. How often do we see that on Oregon? I mean, the <laughs> basement bomb side is like I don't know, so high percentage win rate that it's incredible. And the way that they did it, it's they, they, they didn't make any mistakes. They overwhelmed W7. And all of the channel points on base. Trust me. The all timings were so on point that. When pressure came from one side, it also came from the other. The map obviously is shaped like an L. That's hard to miss. Yeah. But they were coming in from everywhere at the same time. You you can look at games. Talking and you can be shit, like, but you got dropped from your stack. Hey, 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 that's fine. Listen. That was a Yo, Stompin can drop me from the stack whenever the fuck he wants to. And now I'm going to shit on him, and he's going to regret it forever. Okay? We're picking up a kill again to keep that man count rolling. And fresh, since we have you on this, we talked about the, the brother buff, I guess, on both sides and the debuff in the end, entire score. game between Handy and Nade. Can we follow up? Who's been winning so far in map one? Well, it was Handy. We we are going to keep you up to date right throughout this whole grand final. This is kills only onto each other. Yo, 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 Lou, Lou, Lou. What's up? Who's the fifth? We got daddies. Can he join Xbox parties? Wait, our team's comp is... Lou, our team's so comp? Yeah, it is, but... Yeah. What do you... Whoa, what, what is that tone? No, shut the fuck up. No, no, you sound like a fucking pussy-ass bitch right now. I swear to God, I will not play with you. It is, but... No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. This is what I just heard. It is, but... No, 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 no. Lou, cut that bull... Leave that bullshit at the front fucking door. When we step into that, when we step onto that court, we're suiting up, we're tying our shoelaces, we're putting on our jersey, and we're one team, one heartbeat. Lou, me and you have won 35 tournaments together. I've probably won with Jay 15 times. Baddies is fucking disgusting, and score is disgusting. There's not a single team in this tournament that's beating us. Stompin', Stompin' is my son. Stompin' is my son. He'll never drop me again after what I'm about to do to him. We're gonna 2-0 sweep Stompin'. I'm gonna talk the most, utmost shit ever. And then, honestly, bro, we're gonna shit on Skype and we're gonna win this fucking tournament. Fuck Stompin', fuck Skype, fuck yeah, Ricky. I was gonna say, where are your cigars, bro? I forgot you're not at your house, so. Back to it. Bays have just been shutting that down. Yeah, they can get one on the flank, for example, Stompin but then they're gonna get shot down immediately after. That's and and sometimes that confidence need that we saw, it was lacking a bit now. We saw players sitting behind shields, Bad. unsure whether Watch they should peek, happens, trying to peek. It looked a little happens. bit shaky. The confidence is missing Watch so far from Zombie 7M. Is it lack of confidence or too much respect? It's not too much respect, that's that's for sure. It's just that they have something to lose. That's, that's the thing. We've talked Just about the dynasty before. Now they come up and Stop this is the drop game. game. Watch they what happens almost today. short against Virtus Pro. Almost. Now they go up against FaZe, which is a more, I would say, a completer team than Virtus Pro. Let's not take anything away from them. They had a great event. But FaZe is that one step above them, and this is the reason why they came from the upper bracket. Have we had any eyes on support play? In oh, Fabian, no shit, Sherlock. Fight, especially when it's, you know, so Faze is drilling W7M. To absolutely nobody's surprise. the timing of FaZe. Because all that comes down stop to Stop and drop you, yes, right? stop and, and drop me. That comes stop from and drop the support stop and drop that, like, me. Yes, players stop behind you yes. calling what they need next. Or that the players are taking advantage of the information that are being fed by their support players. And right now, I don't see uh, faces making. Buddy, I'm I'm, I'm not a I'm not a kick streamer, buddy. I buy views. Okay, let's 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 go on a journey here. I buy views. Okay, so explain that. Can am I buying my subs as well? Have I banned that guy from the chat? Wait, explain that right there. If I buy views, explain that. Did what did I do? Did I just like pay for all my subs? Ah, uh, ban that guy. Have us. Thank you. So I always gotta just see, I always see this bullshit on my phone every day, bro. Stompin dropped me, Skype dropped me, I got a dork saying I buy views. And even though they got the entries quite um, often, whenever really it was W7M getting the entries, really they were immediately it's punished, actually, so sometimes Faze could even take Chat, an extra. I'm literally deal. shitting on his, All right, friends, on his thank you very much. That is map number one, Oregon going the way of FaZe Clan. This buff crowd here is just not working out, but that is only map one of a best of five series. We'll take a quick break and then fill you in on map two. Fill me in? All right, get that guy off the uh, desk. He just said he's gonna fill me in on map two. I 
and I actually don't hate the idea of it. Okay, let me talk to my team. Boys, how are we looking? Scouting report. Scouting report. Oh, we're looking amazing. Good. So amazing. Sam, Wait, so what's your strat? Yo. Sam, you are uh, the official coach today. Um, yep. Welcome, Coach Zim. Jay Guns. Is Jay on the mic? Good. No, nope. I sleep. He sleep. He's, He's reminiscing about the East Bay. He sold it. We need this tournament score. We need this tournament. Oh, there we are. Score. You remember like score? Right, remember that? Like, like, three months ago when I was like, bro, you're like, um, we never lose together. You know what I'm saying? Score. We never lose, bro. Yeah, we're not. We we still won't lose together either. And I score. Have we ever played a tournament together, like a controller tournament? Nah. Wait, we're going one for one score, and we have baddies. Score our team's call on. Hell oh, yeah. I'm going but, 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 but if I go 0 and 11, you can't be mad because remember you care. pulled up on my score, team and faced it with 0 and 11. Score, if you go, <laughs> right, let me show. Let me show. <laughs> Wait, Zim, Zim. I'm not going 0 and 11. I'm not going 0 and 11. Shut I'm up. Going 30 and 0. You money launder through subs, pussy. There it is. Get Yo, Zim, get off the <laughs> get out of here. Let me explain. Wait, let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> Look, you get people in Africa to gift you subs because it's cheaper in Africa, right? So you send them USD, and then they're rich in Africa, and they gift you subs. You're money laundering, fucking bitch. Get leaked, pussy. Get leaked. Get leaked. Kaisen has strat. Kaisen has strat. Get leaked. Anyone saying true is banned. Guys, this is... Guys, he's lit. Guys, Zim is... Alright, you know what? Yeah, yeah that's a good I'm one. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's done, bro. <laughs> it's just true, though. It's just it's true, not. though. You know it's it. And then it's just true. true. Nice. We know already. Guys, we know Zim already. Is just pulling shit out of Yo, his ass, I think bro. you got a Wait. 1v1 Zim. Wait. I think you got a 1v1 Zim with the party unmuted. <laughs> I'm not even going to say But that's <laughs> good comp to warm up, though. Uh, I don't know, but it's 5 3. Score's 5 3. Someone did an um, oh, analytic okay, on cool, it. Cool. It's 5 3. You're still a bitch in real life, and now you're muted. Cool. Don't care. <sighs> so wait, is, is Batty able to join Xbox parties or no? Yeah, yeah, that's what Letter said. Say that. Wait, this this dude said he's yeah, from he Africa and it's true. Bro, bro, I don't buy. Okay, bro, dude, I. Why do we have to explain this? Yo, I have the most prime subs by like 20k, bro. Zim, so now you're flexing. That logic. So now you're flexing. No, I'm, that's I'm weird. Shitting that's on Zim's logic. I'm shitting on Zim's logic. <laughs> So Zim, What's their logic? I have the most prime subs, so that defeats the. Prime Wait, right, Twitch Prime's have, cheaper in Africa. You probably have forty thousand subs in total, right? And then the rest, your brother is in Africa. You're sending him USD. He's gifting you subs in Africa to get it cheaper there. It's cheaper there, and you know it. You know you're doing the kind of that. I just fucking leaked you, bitch. Dude, 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 Zim, you are literally just pulling shit right out of your ass, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> Chalk the fucking turning, chalk the turning, chalk the turning, chalk the turning, chalk the turning. Chat, I'm winning this tournament today. You wanna to know why I'm winning this tournament today? Let me explain something and let me make this what maybe let me make one thing very clear and abundantly clear from the jump. You simply don't drop me. Stop it, I'm speaking directly to you right now. Stop it, I've known you for five years, bro. Stop it, I knew you when you were a little jit. And you drop me to go dick ride Aiden Tax because I didn't have a long delay on. I literally told you, I said, I'll put on a long delay today. It's cool, Stompin', because now it's on site. As soon as we step into, as soon as we step into the lobby, Stompin', it's over. It's wraps. I don't care. Sky, uh, honestly, Sky, I don't even care that you, uh, that you dropped me, Sky. I didn't want to play with you anyways. You haven't won since 2023. You're a joke. But I did want to play with Stompin. I really did. I always want to play with Stompin. But, you know, if Stompin wants to go dick ride Aiden Tax, that's fine. At the end of the day, when I step into a lobby with Stompin, it's over. It's fucking over with. Oh, by the way, Aiden Tax, your contract is forever expired. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to shit on Stompin. I'm going to shit on whoever's in finals, probably Ricky. Um, win the tournament. And then what I'm going to do after that, right? So after I shit on everybody... Uh, when people come crawling back to join it, we have to watch out for it. Or even though it's one of the greatest attack rates, it's the pressure because now it's actually on them. 
having such a slow start on the map, even if you start defense, I mean, you should win your defenses. The pressure that they will amount on their heads now is going to be... It's going to be monumental how much they're going to think about it. But if we were to compare Oregon and Bank, what's the difference in playstyle? I mean, the, I think they're very similar because the roam clear is kind of the same way. You spread out all around the map and then you squeeze together, right? So we can expect the same thing. They were going to go on the CO windows. They're going to go on Heaven. They're going to come in through AT ATM, into Lobby, up the stairs if they clear top floor. There's going to be very similar playstyle just a different map. I think the big thing for me is the comfort factor. This is W7M's yeah. map pick. They've just played their ninth preference map. They would have banned it if they were able to, right, on Oregon. Now they're into a map that they've not lost this event. They're feeling very comfortable on it. They get to attack, they start attack, they look comfortable on the attack. You know, on Oregon, it was just the round pressure that got to them. So I think we see a different W7M. Are we getting a tie? I think we're gonna get a tie, and the biggest reason for it is simply that W7M is an experienced enough team the last year to just be able to let go of this loss and just push forward again. Well, given recent history, we need to see a strong start from them though, especially on that attacking yeah. half, because we keep on talking how important it is, but they want to make sure they keep up to the numbers that they've been putting up previously. Yes, no? Yes, for W7M. History's gonna repeat itself. G2 lost the first map last year, won it 3-1. Thank you very much, my friends. Let's offset it back to our casters, please, or try to ask Gus Inux and Pengu. Yes, they certainly did. Fresh well said. Couldn't have said it better myself. And so far, though, FaZe, they have set the challenge to W7M. That's really what we wanted from this grand final. We certainly didn't want this to be a one-sided affair. Many would have had W7M as the clear favorite. Perfect start for FaZe. I think this was their intention, because JV told me the first at this event, hey, we want to go lower bracket run and make that miracle victory. What better way than losing the first map? Mm. I mean, W7M's ability to attack here on bank yeah is absolutely we're back, we're back, ruthless. Back. I cannot wait to see if they can bounce back here. Well, 50-50 right. once again. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, do they respond here? Yes, I think they do. W7. They got a map like to work with, more roaming around, and of course, they got the confidence like I said and they love this map. It was well, a great effort. Two -time major champions w to like I said before, it was a great, amazing we'll effort. It was a beautiful it. effort. We're gonna get you guys, we're gonna get you guys in a nice plane, and we're gonna fly back home. Because this is the worst tournament performance we've ever been in. Or just take a bus, well, whatever you gotta do. Stage. Get back home tonight. Clan are up I, one I, I, I give up on w 7 I have never seen now a team their own lose six consecutive for Oregon defenses. Looking for that w 7 m is not going to win a map. GG's in this chat. Bank. GG's in the chat. W7M is not so going to win a map. I don't give a fuck. What can they do GG's in the chat. To now bro. respond to a phase clan that are clearly here chat. to fight for the hammer. Three million dollars. So Sabanti off the board first. Ying as well. GG's Ying is a very, very strong one execute for three million dollars. Operator that we frequently see banned out. And Monty, you think how about do you get seven so many opportunities for that shield to how come into play? The likes of Basement, Top Square, Lobby pushes Banana. Defensively, we'll see the Solace taken out. Interesting, considering we did see it played on Oregon and arguably had quite an effect in the first half. To top Chetty, guns up, Kaid on a map. If that's not my audio, that's their audio. Map, like Chat fake, that is an expected ban. See? Chat, that's not my audio, that's their audio. Do not say my audio. You don't see teams ban Monty unless you expect the opponent to play it at a very high level. The funny thing okay, is, they need to fix that King, now. one of the best Monty players uh, at this entire tournament. R6, yet, you guys gotta fix this. Where they have to it literally sounds like a PlayStation's like, jet engine is starting up right now. They start in the attack inside. Hey, Chad, it's not my audio. Here we go, into bank, second map of this grand final between FaZe and W7M. Okay, I think they fixed it. There's a large contingency They fixed it. W7M fixed fans it. inside of this arena. We haven't really been able to hear them at full pitch. Do you have a fan running? Bro. There's a rather large pocket of FaZe Clan supporters Thank down in the arena, and they have been going non-stop. Yeah, hey, hey, Chad. Look, to look, bank here, we go. I don't have and any... for W7M, we look to them I don't have any to hatred or to the challenge set any by FaZe Clan. disliking towards W7M. I'm sure they're all great guys. Just I mean, not great R6 the players. Best to respond okay. and attack. I mean, guys, you told me Six right before we here, you love their attacks on bank. So, if I'm a W7M fan right now, when what do you expect from the players? Well, I mean, we had the opportunity to cast on Jake against the side, so they are ruthless in their ability to get quick map uh, Jack, I'm a good player, though. They will though. find any pocket of space, they will immediately take it. And with the mechanics that W7M typically present, they often win out those opening engagements. So phase is on defense, W7M is on attack. Into what is then a really clean execute. Okay, then I gotta say, we gotta work cyber handy in these rounds. They were very big in those opening engagements on Oregon.
I think it's important for W7 to get off to a good start here. A very strong start, especially yeah. attacking into bank. You need to be very much Wait, on the angle. move, clearing oh out these rollers, especially when it comes to basement. I just so far, this. so good. Have that is a good angle. Early. Starting to get a bit Holy of a shit. inside of that. You clearly can tell they want to go for this top square take. Top down to the bottom, clear everything out. Maybe slow things down a little bit, and there's nothing wrong with that. No. The thing is, we haven't really seen W7 attack that much in this series. You can see KZ there, perfect example. Happy to drone himself forward, and then takes the initiative to take that space himself. He's not relying on necessarily his teammates to aid as they're doing other things around the map at the same time. Herds meanwhile makes himself known in stock. Hatch will be opened up off the back of the X Kairos from Nade, and that will put pressure in towards that open area position. <laughs> ADS. Nothing changes, bro. Oh, W7M up. gets oh, first pick yet again. Drop through the hatch. Hatch opened up as well inside of open area. Just, Just over 90 days. seconds left in the round, but again, it's more of a good start from FaZe than it is for W7M. And that's not ideal for the team needing to find the response on their map pick as Handy sits inside of elevators at the very bottom, waiting to see if someone from the side of W7M gets aggressive, pushes over. Philippox is up and around that area towards main stairs, but not going towards elevators, not just yet at the very least. Open area in control for W7M. They still got to go and get to work over towards square. They haven't even opened up at that hatch. I mean, they dropped on the hands of an area. They're all going to come for those roamers, trade back those numbers from five, five, four versus five to a four before. But all of these immediately when they got the kill, all the way back to side saying, We got the most advantage. Goyo canisters, Maestro cams, they got a C4 in pocket. They're all right. Drop the hatch. Be, so deny the plant, and they have one you're going to have to drop the hatch soon. And good denial from the defense until those shock drones. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to have no other play other than the hatch. Alive for a little bit longer to feed more information. Dude, yo, keys, you have no other play, bro. Phase. Handy with you. Yeah. Next kill on to Nade. Isn't that thing? Yeah. And then a second yeah. from KDS yeah. as well. So far, it's just. Yo, W7M. A, 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 A. There's no chink in this armor. Faze flawless. Real shit. For the second map, shit out. just like the opening of the first. It Windows is a standing ovation from the crowd. Somebody come down to the and main so stage and take these motherfuckers. And so far, Faze continue to set the tone. Take their mouse Doesn't away from them. It's they had done. to do what exactly? We're done here. Had to get comfortable in the server, find the three some ground, and build W7M some narrative, and it'll actually win. This is the worst thing they I've ever seen. They played on Arkin, when it's you all about figuring out the mentality of the opponent, the play style they're bringing, face, probably the strongest team in this event, and feeling out their opponent. See, okay, are they gonna go fast? Are they gonna go slow? Right now, W7M, they cannot figure out their opponent whatsoever. The face fans are making a lot of noise inside of this arena, but there's a large contingency of W7M fans that just look glum. They cannot believe what they are seeing before their very eyes. Yesterday felt like a fever dream, but right now, for W7N, it's turning into a nightmare here at the Grand Final for Six Invitational 2024. Again, it all started with that from KDS. Disgusting. And then cleans it up at the end as well. Yeah, I'm not even a bandwagon. I don't even I think care if again on their attacks I just want to see a good on series. The defense spreading all the way up to the top floor. That's probably one of the best strengths is dismantling that setup, <coughs> quickly forcing defenders back towards site. But as you can see there, those on the defense that were willing to take a risk, to stay in the likes of Elevator, were rewarded. Speaking of the fact that WCM, they might want to go slow, given how Oregon played out, that also just makes the Monty band that much better because now you cannot slow the game down in an easy way. Monty, you play it, extend your shield, you walk around, you control the majority of the pacing. Monty being gone, yeah, basically can't play it, but it's not defense. They might not care about that. So those of them are forced to fight on the windows, on the doors, on the rappels. That's a good that angle, Hurts. I like that angle, taking, Hurts. Which is funny because this is how we used to talk about W7M when they play defense. So eyes on souls then. On the Azami inside, those Kiba barriers will be pivotal towards Dude, the late Fen round. Dude, these Fenrir strats are so tight. W7M have the tools to deal with that utility. Bro. I mean, look at their explosive economy. It's not great outside of the Odd Gone 6, but that's being used elsewhere, soaked up by the castle barricades on the road. Opening kill for W7M. Hurts, finally. Okay. Now, though, it's about okay. can they capitalize? They've had okay. a couple of opening kills. But translating those into round wins has proven to be quite difficult for a team. They can be so strong once they find the momentum. That's a second. All right. Starting to find their voice. But clearly the fan favorite in W7M, the local favorite. Up two players in an advantage. I mean, maybe they went around so or many two. Times on Oregon. This maybe they went around or two. The middle portion of this round. 
unable to convert on the advantage that they find early on. We'll see if they can do it here with 90 seconds left. I love how there's Bernardo, just so many things down on Bernardo's the Bernardo's gonna have that to flank now. Picks, no risks being taken. No one's exposed themselves to a 1v1 engagement. No one's staying on the way they can win is if they flank. Despite that, we know there are no C4s in play. They're throwing things out, destroying the fall vertically, really setting themselves up for success here, and just playing this safe. Safe, the key word, but also confident. W7M are not giving away anything for free, not giving any Dude, I don't know. for FaZe to get back into the round. FaZe eventually will probably be... This round's gonna be W7M. ...making a play. <coughs> it's a 5v3 play and they have Vert and have control. Five. Couple of low HP members as well for W7M. Hurts, JV, to explicitly name them. Souls takes an engagement, loses that one initially. Still very deep insight on the Azami, so it's got the cover of those Keeper Barriers. But again, can you watch that stock hat? Very pitiful for this round. Drone makes its way through, only one remaining. Rotates towards Beepers because it's got that main stage control, but not from Elevators. JV with a bit of a little flank and then doubles down. Finally, the okay, wait a minute. Their okay, wait a minute. The wait a minute. Okay, position. wait a goddamn minute. Okay. All right. In this grand final so okay. All right. That just then highlights okay. What W7M can do. Wait a minute. A really good example of W7M Wait a fucking minute. Being all right. All right. All right. Sprint the round. They get the early advantage. As I, I mean, mentioned, right. they've they got a little fight. They got a little fight. Down the pace. Now, slowing down the pace doesn't mean you do nothing. We saw the vertical play. They got a little fight the in them. They got a little down. fight in them. We saw, of course, JV92 then able to sweep in as the defense tried to reclaim the <coughs> okay. round. Whilst avoiding the vert I see, I see, I see, I see. All around. Really well played by W7M. They got a little like fight in them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oregon, all right. pretty small map, very compartmentalized inside the building. Well, on Bang, you can it's play good by rain, the window JV. of Kels exterior, and it's such a big, wide All right, sit down, map. brother. So they just got 7-1. Sit the, the, the fuck down, dude. The right positions, and that's what slowing down essentially means, is that you say, oh, guys, nice mustache. My God, that was a nice mustache. He is ready for his job, and then we work together. There were a lot of questions about what an old Brazilian grand final would look like in Sao Paulo. The boys Dude. live up to all of the expectations <laughs> set upon it. Sure, Bro. it's not Brazil versus the world. Oh, trust me, it's still it's over, chat. I, I, I don't want to be like a negative Nancy. I don't think W7M's winning a match. I'm just going to be honest. I don't think W7M's winning a match. has got their opponent for this last dance. The big thing is, right, WSNM defined all their success overseas when they are the villain. When the crowd is saying, we don't care if you win. Sketch is waiting. Home, they are oh, shut the fuck the up. Do that street was two good. weeks ago. They might be afraid of disappointing their fans that are here because there are so many jerseys from WSNM. There are so many fans talking about them saying they're so good right now. And they are. But that means there's pressure now. Well, the crowd is fucking boring. Back to back majors. But imagine they lose six invitational yeah. back to back. How devastating would that be? In Sao Paulo, of all places, right? The one boring. place you want to be if you're from Brazil, if you're one of these Are players. They and it continues. They keep going. The face oh, dominance God. over W7M. It's been brought up. Five and one since SI 2022. Yeah, W7M, the better of the two internationally, but locally. And when these two teams meet, it's been FaZe that has had their number. Oh, Cyber aggressive Bahrain. through the skylight. Cyber holding that. Bahrain. Well. Bahrain. Numbers were with W7M that time around and starting to just look a little bit more comfortable here in the grand final. Okay. Yeah, is slow. W7M is starting to wake up a little bit. Three different players holding down their flanks. So okay, yeah, W7M is starting to wake up a little bit. Reading the pace of the map, figuring out their opponents. And Herds is eager to double down, not allowing KDS to have any space over towards Stock Hallway. Some of that utility now dealt with. All the Roteros have been used by W7M. Time is taken. They are advancing slowly towards the bomb side. B's going out. It's going to give Intel. Hurts finds the kill. Wait, hold on. Second round. Of Why the is the W7M have got themselves a two-man advantage? B's go out from the hive launcher. Mirror position station into airlock. Um, Nade. Okay. Nade. Site plant so far successful. No, denied. Finicky wait, with an wait, kill. wait. Does stop the plant from going down, but it's still a three versus what is he for? two for W7M. They do not what is he have for? panic in this scenario. But here comes Souls. A swing. One inside a stock through the hole. Oh! Wait, why is W7M? 2-1 lead on bank. What's going on? And starting to find a foothold here on bank.
Why did this they wake final. up? Ricky got banned? Yeah, Chad, I heard him. He must have just said some like crazy shit on stream last night. For W7M. <coughs> I heard Ricky got banned. What did he do? The best Is he wilding? If he pops off in this was grand he final, probably then enters the he had to do some of the best players. Now did he get suspended or banned? Time on full because he got there. banned. He had to have said some crazy shit. Capturing that control through top square, he looked ruthless. It really is phenomenal. Just how many he did not pull out his me. 30 days? Best teams in the world. Best fundamentals. Holy the best players, fuck. And they've only really been here for quote unquote two years at the big tier one international level. Despite that, they've been the biggest name for us as talent members. Timeout 30 calls days? And just about evaporated as well in said time. What do you mean I got him banned? Like Bro, guys. when I lost the tournament, I literally the turned off my phone. Found a sense of momentum here in the grand occasion that is an SI grand final. Dude, he Two got himself banned. Crowd on their side. FaZe want to halt that momentum as early as possible. <clears throat> Mind you, Hertz gets that kill because of that skylight pressure Ooh. as well. Essentially a two on one. Uh, chat. But again, really good clearance. W Why does W7M look locked in now? Room. And they were able to use that numbers advantage really well. Why does W7M look locked in now? We head to the basement here at Bank. The big thing to look out for is that FaZe are very good at changing things Chat, why does W7M look locked in now? The map, also defense, oh, I need, water. Shit, I need to get water. Shit, one second. I need to get water, I need to get water. not making that aggressive skylight flank early in the round? And if you're the coach, call it after the timeout, you're probably not gonna talk about, oh guys, you know, wait for the attacks, we're gonna pop off. You're only down a single round. Go. You're talking defense structure. You're talking mentality. You're talking the communication in the server. Or if you're a coach saying, guys, I noticed that we're trying to make plays around the map like an organ, but this is bank. We don't need to be the ones who make the action happen. We do have other win conditions. Play to those win conditions. So smoke and mirror then in play for basement. That said, utility peppered all across the map. We saw the Valkyrie camera just as one instance inside of lobby. So we see rotation, lock it in, lock it in. mirror windows. <coughs> Open area is probably going to make or break this round for either team. Two to one lead. Oh. W7M is winning hurts. after getting now, seven to one. Ever leave servers free for the taking. Hurts will take it, but there you see it. So we found out by Souls. Know that Hurts is not moving why are you pushing left to right because that's going to make noise. Hurts, why are Waiting there patiently, seeing if Thank Souls you. makes what a significant misplay. Of what the fuck was that, Hurts? Bad recoil, shitty recoil. JB92 on the north, certainly going to be a big factor in this round. If he does go through Garage, try and sneak his way in, that's certainly a possibility. Oh, the intel game here from both sides. Valkyrie oh, oh, oh. yes, drones on the attack, but you got to act upon this intel. Now you know the roam is very much active from face plan, but what are you going to do about it if you're double seeing it? Herds, oh, shit. Herds is pushing through, can he make the play? Herds in towards he got that weird. They know he's in here, position. bro. Vidiking running around down below. Herds is so bad. Nines ready. So far, though, Herds hasn't found anyone. Cyber. Oh, JV92. Has he slipped in? Katie's got no Wait, idea. Wait, no, no. Katie has doesn't know. Positions, the way that he aims, the timing is everything. And he's still got no chance. No clue at all. The knock slips in through the night. Why is W7M locked in now? What the Again, fuck just happened? Round now. W7M have found the opening engagement. And it has gone their way. And with that, garage control. But I believe JB doesn't get away. No, Cyber catches him on the rotate. Nice Wait. kill back for FaZe, evens things up with just over 60 seconds remaining. That's what I love about, you know, Zs. This depth of the Z. We don't see nuclear up right now, but for Garrett's take, that's the perfect operator. Hides from the Bluetooth camera perfectly. Double Nitro, double Nitro available here for defense. So FaZe still have plans and our potential. Oh my god. I see it Chat, now. Did I, yo, did I jinx FaZe? Bro, please don't tell me I jinx FaZe. Oh the vision, my god. Defenders, but those C4s, they don't need to see, they just need to land. Nitrosol in hand for Cyber, puts it away. Lands a couple of tags onto Hertz. Feels like 4v4, 35 seconds left, they're gonna have to plant soon. They gotta plant soon here. No other option. Jaspay's come out to deny that position. Still time, but now he comes to the drop. In a bit of an unexpected plan. Position doesn't come through the doorway. Gets into a different spot. Oh! The plant doesn't oh. stick it, anticipating nitro cells, but they're already expended inside of the smoke. Oh my god, he got the plant out. He got the plant out. They don't know. They don't know. And that plant will be successful. Now the retake is on for phase What a plant. What a plant. What a fucking plant. Oh my god. Response from KZ. Handy card. I may have jinxed face. Oh my god. That was the craziest plant I've ever seen. Made by 
be making his sixth invitational debut, but my word, what a phenomenal support player. Able to drop down. Chat, did I fucking curse the them? Then sidesteps a nitro, finds a kill, gets the pick, goes prone, finds another. What a phenomenal oh play. Oh my god. We oh always know that KC hurts their entries, they Chat. get the kills, oh they're like plus 50 this god. tournament. I do think that a team is only as good as the backbone, the anchors, the pillars, the supportive wow. play, the network. They drone you in, wow. they give you intel, they make the calls, they get the diffuse down, and yes, but the cover has to be there. Look at this from Nate. Perfectly reading oh, the situation oh, wow. on when to advance exactly. and when to get the bomb down. And it's not often someone who Yo, is hard getting single that kill now when it comes on to that round. CCTV on bank is going to go the for that mega play. And, and he's moving around trying to dodge any potential nitro cells along with those gas pipes. The eventually then <laughs> sit inside of the smoke, goes prone, Bro, anticipating that clear across that over towards CCTV. Perfect game sense so and so far Nate has been so impressive. I would say there are so many players in that scenario with the pressure so high. Wow, they just hold wow, 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 to see for All right, bro. The best, best Faze in the world. did win map one. For the right opportunity. We're they in map two the now. They make the space and they make the play. Why is W7 like locked in now? Alrighty then, top four we go. Round number five. W7M rolling this momentum forward on a Junko predict winner. And well and truly silent. Oh, Faze is gonna win, bro. I completely gave up on W7M after map, map, map one. one. As mentioned, top I completely four, gave up on W7M after map one. As army barricades <coughs> as complete. Well. So I mean, Come there's a lot of utility sleep. once again for the attack to deal with, but they have the explosive tools to do so. That's the thing though, we've seen phase down three rounds play util in basement on the roam, in basement on site, now here in CEO, the util isn't really working. Yeah, you got the mirror windows, you got the castle barricades, but on round defining for defense, it comes down to the brawl on the bomb site, the gunplay, the trading, and most importantly, the opening kill. Who can play that round five versus four and maintain that momentum? And the Valkyrie as well is in play. Now, often we don't get to see just how much value that is providing because we don't know exactly who's watching what cams at any given time. But if they're not found, just like that, they can be deadly. So some really good drone work again from Nade. Minute 40. Oh boy, Hurt's on the IQ, he's gonna find that camera with like, yeah, there it nice. is. Nice, that's how you play and IQ. He's the other, so they put one camera a little bit more Damn, obviously, hit the second one, but this will be a dark air map in two seconds. 90 seconds left in this fifth round so far. W7M have Bro, found, found the response cams. they absolutely required. Coming into the second map for the grand final, FaZe just feels like momentarily on the roads. Know, Can they get a counter punch know, in? Chat, Can they find a way know. to get an opening kill? This so far, game. the early the engagements have been going to W7M very consistently here on bank. It's very evident that FaZe is sitting back right now, saying, guys, don't make the active play. Let them come in, then play together. No one's swinging, no one's taking risk, but they're giving them too much space in the attack. They're at the bomb side with a minute left in the 5v5. One minute left into top square they go, opening up these sight lines. There will be a contest, though, from FaZe. Stock hallway still in their face. Oh my god, swing, 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 swing! How Nade has got the clue! Dude, he killed Ace though. Position he's standing in. Doesn't matter though, because Ace already aced the walls. Great job from her. 40 seconds on the clock, they gotta make a move quick. Middle comeback kill. Nade onto Cyber. W7M retake the advantage with 30 seconds left. They're the flash KDS for white. He's wary though of a stock push, but no one's coming from that direction. Handy to fall as well. Advantage still W7M though, they continue. Again, Chad, it's is it too late to cheer for W7M again? Square, is it too it's late, a stock too hallway position. Now, perhaps W7M probably shouldn't have let that no, first no, 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 no. go against okay. them with that player with on guy. drone, but a very snappy trade. He pushes into sight, able to find even more game. pressure. He just thrives in that particular part of bank. That's the big thing about no, no, this being an even matchup. We're not seeing face. those usual multi-kills from the Vizvam where they find face. two, three, if four kills six in quick succession. We're seeing trades win. most in the beginning. One for ones, or one for zero. But that round we just witnessed <coughs> was the first time with those in them, they get three kills very quickly because Hertz, he finds that opening. Yeah. And it's yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of okay. the no, no, IQ. It's grand finding the Valkams, all of the finals, dude. It's It's great. plan. Holds it down, waits for people. Well, they know FaZe will go Ooh, for those good. pushes because it did earlier. We saw Ooh, Souls good. get the opening, and the trade was In perfect as a response.
in slow mode. And Hearns there again, electing not to go for the plant heading into this match. A 21 plant percentage for W7M. FaZe edging them out in that regard at 25. But Did you say FaZe edged them out? For the attack to just set things up oh. and make that decision. Oh. Do you go for the plant? Do you go for kills? And yeah. given the positions in which the attack had, that was the more favorable condition. And that's why W7M is so strong on attack. Oh boy, Brava info here. The value, of course. If you don't know what the Subverse does, well, you can hack Intel. That means you disable it, fall the defense, and it becomes yours. So now those Finra mines, if a defender walks in there and is activated, they will get nearsighted instead. So this gives you Intel, and it takes away some the enemy. Final round of the half here for W7M's map pick. Looking to take a 5-1 advantage into the second half. A very significant advantage that would be. FaZe desperate now to find a second defensive round. As should be said, attacking on bank is very prevalent. A second defensive round could be enough for FaZe to maybe allow them to have a comeback potential in that second half. Handy on the road, oh. take back off by Hurts. Yeah, W7M have got good control of this map, have they not, so far, in this first half? And again, Herds is commanding map control. He's warding the defense away, catching them off guard on rotations, and now W7M can lean into this significant um, advantage for the majority of this action. Yeah. This is the strongest round so far from W7M. Minute 45, opening kill. They got all the shields, Util, and now Cyber down to a single point of health. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, and those are the kind of fights as well. The back on Oregon, FaZe were winning time yeah. and time again. But here on Bank, W7M have been able to get them to go into their advantage. And again, for what feels like Chat? third or fourth time, a two-player advantage. And they have Jake's now, face. Now, in the final round of this half, oh. Zarls has got a big oh, half. Chat. Hatch opened up, stuck over towards Blue Stairs. He needs to hold this position. SMG now in hand. He has two gas canisters to clutch up for FaZe. Goyo canister as well will implode. And I that just gives him a face. little bit of time to set himself up. Wow. See the flank though, third time on Souls. Wants to fight multiple angles here. Has to make the right decisions with no intel. Just game sense. 50 seconds remaining. Can FaZe get a clutch round to close this half? Keep themselves close on that scoreboard. W7M, though, they've been got so good at overwhelming these side positions, winning these fights. But KDS able to get one. Souls to fall. Couldn't hold out towards Blue Stairs. Certainly couldn't take anyone with him. Trading oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, what did you What did I miss? What did I miss? With 30 what did I miss? In the round. It's a two stack on site. KZ and Hertz. Where's the kill? Oh my god! And they fall! Oh my god! Foul from Vidiking. Hertz knows the KDS is here. Close left in Garrett. Yes, Cat, I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. Hasn't come I'm never wrong. Yet. Time. Yeah, I'm never wrong. Doesn't have kit, oh, but he finds the kill. He's gonna go hunting. Main stairs though is Ten seconds. Is. Could grab just hide. Yep, you, you win. You win. You win. Just hide. Just hide. To find this He's got a plan. Just hide. Just hide. You win. You win. You win. You just have to hide. That's all he you needs win. to do. Don't make a step. Don't make anything go wrong. He's getting closer. Oh, too close for comfort, but Meta King holds on. What did I say? I said W7 is not winning a single fight. At the end of the half. Two to four. W7M still take the lead going into our second half. FaZe did not play a conventional bank basement there in my eyes. It's three versus five, and they are spread so widely across the entire bomb side. We got Souls, Server Stairs, we have KDS involved, and then a third player in the middle. They have basically a line with the middle What? Link. Remember what I just said. Remember what I just said. So they have Remember to find a visual gun skill to try and even back those numbers. Remember what the fuck I just said. All right, let's go and have a listen in with Jesse on his thoughts from that opening half. Hello, Guz, Xenox, and Pengu. I'm coming to you at the half point to tell you to keep an eye on Cyber for the second half. Despite the fact that he's had a pretty rocky map so far, this guy's the last so time that his plan played <laughs> yeah. on bank was in the upper bracket against Los. And that happened to be Cyber's strongest map through the entire six of its right, so He had an EPS of 163. And most of Cyber's success in that last play on bank came onto the attack. He loves to play Buck when they're attacking in on the basement or when they're attacking open area. He'll typically choose the Ash, if they're attacking top floor or if they're going to Teller's archives, sometimes you want to be IQ if he they want to go you? and Bro, he's, some Valkyrie cameras. Dude, he's an attractive guy. Any problem. So I know it's been a rough game so far. I know he's an attractive guy. I'm not even gonna lie. But this watch guy's out for because this is one of the maps where he does amazing things. All right, Jesse, just for a quick one here. No, he isn't. Bro. For W7M, I'm no, he's not. To shut him down. He's a grown he's a man. Over, over on your map, maybe below your bomb site, maybe above your bomb site. You gotta get active. You gotta take him down early. That needs to be the key for W7M. Thank right, you, Jesse. Thank you, so much, Jesse. Thank you very much.
So yeah, this guy's a trap. Seventh round. This guy's a trap. The second half, oh. a great start. What did I say? Well, what did I say? Fuck W7 then. Phase up, motherfucker. King's never wrong in his prediction. So that's the perfect start for Phase. And I really like what Jesse mentioned as well with Cyber as we get a look back on that replay. Cyber on Mud gets super quick map control, ridiculously quick, especially transitioning in towards that open area position. Aid is holding that currently. He is the one drone and he'll walk up a far take a low. Doesn't elect to drop the hat straight away though. Could be a very aggressive start here. FaZe has already got Aid in a very perilous position, stuck inside of open area. Face up, motherfucker. Now expecting response from that stock hat, but no drop to come through just yet. KZ loved his position though over towards main stairs. Close angle, shotgun, and he should be good for that. What did I say? What did I say? Face up! Fuck W7! What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? And a five versus what did I two say? start from phase. Bank is the so most attacker sided map in this game. It's over. And they are just slaughtering yep. through this defense at 27 m What did I say? That last round what did I say? of the opening what did I half say? proving to be so what did I say? If phase are going to play like this, W7M GG. are in for a treat. Great shot GG. from JV92, but the pressure won't stop there. GG. No, from phase main stairs, it's ADS. Phase may get 3 4. Simply not that's a statement. W7M, you are we have gone through the last, what, two weeks or so you saying defender sided this, you defender sided that. The numbers very much prove that it was indeed for you're, a very long done. while a heavily defender sided meta. But as it's more done. teams have done. gone home, as we've seen who the you best teams are ready. in the current present time of Siege, that GG's number doesn't matter anymore. Defense or attack, if you're a phenomenal team, which both of these two are, it doesn't matter what side you're on, it matters what you do in every single round. Well, uh, but what about that time of entry though, hey, the phase? Hey. We don't typically phase see that from them. Back on Oregon, it was this concise gameplay, worked, clearly played... It's not switch up, this is my last word. If you lose six Oregon defenses in a row, you are not winning a tournament. It's done. Like, let's play off of that. Phase is winning this yeah, tournament. confidence was really flowing from them. They then put under a lot Reason. of pressure Simple. inside of open Simple. area. That's why W7M tried we to get it. Out of Shut the fuck stairs up. so that they could it. fortify that position. Didn't work out. They simply didn't win their engagements uh, when they tried I'm not to get it. So I'm not. some really, really good work there from Phase. I'm not a bandwagon. And I tell you what, this second half I'm is not a glory very spicy. I do want to say, though, it was so quick because there were a couple of drones yeah, inside open air from the prep phase of things. And that shouldn't happen, right I'm but it is because truth, look who they banned. The they banned Ying truth, bro. and I'm Solis. Spitting spitting truth, so now you're on defense. Phase, they are an intel reliant team. They don't know where those drones are from the attackers, and that's why the attack was so quick. They had drones in open air, drones in heaven, entries, run the building, block the floor open, and you just feel like you're under so much pressure from the get-go on defense, and you, that we see them, they banned the Solis. To top four we go then for round number eight. It's a double, in fact triple, hard breach lineup here from FaZe. Love that. You have Habana, Ace, and Thermite. So you'll be able to open up Kanto Wall. You'll be able to open That's up nice. the That's my type of floor as well. And That's my type of floor as well. That's my type of floor. Defensive structure. Yep. Being stabbed, you're being a part here. The big question mark now, the mirror windows. This mirror How much value can you get? There's fuck. no Ash, there's no Kali, no real Holy counter play shit. from FaZe in that regard. In Bro, fact, this is that Brody shit. Grenade, so those mirror windows, that Yo, intel, that will likely stay up the entire fuck. round. I mean, I think it's just the ranged hard breach, right? You've got to combo Habana and or Ace to clear those positions without God, the likes damn, of the Kappa Towers mentioned. Yep. Let's see. Hurst took the advance on the window, might go for a punch and a quick peek with the right timing, he might find Cyber from behind. Yeah, Cyber just outside Terrace, wanting to make his way in towards Hot Square. Oh. Has done. No! Timing. A couple of seconds later and Hurst may have missed that opportunity. Great opening kill for W7M. That's the kind of aggression no that Jesse right. told us at halftime. He's expecting it. He yes, let's go face. Let's go face. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Really strong kill. Once again, a four on three. We know how important the Rapole game is, so a huge Nitro there. Can that potentially make things easier for W7M? They now have the man advantage, they have line of sight towards that plant position. It's up to FaZe to create a play. Yeah, but they have no one inside of, well, sorry. They have one inside of Janitors. That's the one player that can stop this plant. Because there's no C4s, if you clear up Janitors, they can maybe plant here. 50 seconds left and four on three for W7M. Faze started to go for that top square push third in the round. Hurts. Oh, make it oh, yeah. It's a quad kill from Hurts. And 
Oh, he's getting his dick sucked tonight. He just aced. Oh. That guy's getting that guy's getting the champions have arrived that guy is here at the arena. Well and truly. Show W7N set the challenge. He just aced with But these guys are up for the task of responding. Up 5-3 wow. now on bank. Holy Gentlemen, shit. We now officially have a Holy great series ahead of us because you saw our Oh no. You saw Kawansi and Bank going, oh no, not the zero two, right? No, no. When that's the performance that you see, they're here to play. Listen to that crowd. Okay, Herds is nasty. Yeah, Herds is Herds is nasty. Wow. Of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Herds is fucking nasty. That was insane. Local champions looking to reach the absolute pinnacle that we have in this game. And it was that moment on the repel. Barang. Denies phase, and when you're playing CEO executive, you need the repel game to be strong. Herds has just come alive yeah. on this second map. That's and look, it, it's hard to be critical of FaZe, Nick, because it, Chat, I don't know, every man. team struggles to shut him down. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not going to go and say, oh, you know, FaZe, they missed this, or they missed that. No, that's just Hurts. Probably the best player in the world right now, not for like the last year, basically. So, you know what? This is why they say my name as one of the strongest Korean players. 15 and 5. Yeah, 15 and 5 is a statement. And I was going to say for Lee Pops exactly as well, not to put a dampener well. on things. Yeah, chat. 1 and 6, but playing very difficult. All right, chat, who's winning this game right now? I'll be honest. Right now, make a prediction. Hey, hey, make a prediction right now. Who's winning this game right now? Be honest. No hesitation. Make a prediction right now. Double seven, please. Someone just said hers. He needs to have that impact on the water. So the Capital has now been brought out. Direct counterplay to the mirror, looking to dislodge those positions. We've seen in the past the mirror from W7 and well, I mean, obviously the last round, it can be very challenging for the attack to deal with. Hurts is hiding inside of open area. He's gone mid drone so far. Oh. And based on the counter capital, don't let him get to side to execute 5v5. This play right now. Oh. Hurts. Oh. Hurts. Hurts. This motherfucker had 16 kills in 8 rounds. Yeah, he did get his he's one. getting some got got 3,000 I don't think that's Holy such a bad shit. Thing. No, I certainly 16 think it's kills in eight rounds. Defense. Melusi died. Not needed for the plant deny. Not needed for side. It's a gun for hire. And the gun, well, you got one and a half kills. Well, you're exactly right. Three gas babes still available for KZ. Double nitro as well. I'm presuming that the mirror windows are still standing. I don't think we've seen those necessarily dislodged by the shock drones from Vidiking. So yep. W7M arguably still in a very good position. I agree. Bro, I, I, I don't know. I think FaZe probably wins this round. And this time around, the big difference is server is free for the taking. Yeah, FaZe yeah. yeah. probably wins this round. Yeah, no blue stairs hold either. So it does mean at least for W7M, they will have those gas waves. KZ will be the one to watch in that regard. Couple of Nitra cells as well. Two, in fact, JV92 and Philippox. They've still got garage control. That's where Nade is going to be holding. Red from Philippe so important. Souls to open up with secondary hard breach. 40 seconds left in a four on four as W7M are seeking that map point. Again, three gas canisters, two nitro cells, a default plant here. 30 four seconds. Phase should be a challenge. There's not a lot of time. It makes it a very difficult task now for FaZe Clan. One that they need to overcome from a very difficult position. One final gas bait thrown by KZ to deny further incendiary from Sol. It is KDS that finds a kill. Suddenly they've got 10 seconds. The back of the 10 seconds. W7M could get pinched here. They get a very crucial kill on the Cyber. Needed that. Sol now can make his way into a fight. Oh, he's dropping out of oh. He's dropping out of Sol. Sol's to play behind the ball casting. He has to stick it. There's no time. He wants to stick it. What do you make of this, guys? Honestly, what do you make of this? I mean, it's just insane. What an insane round there. Great response. And the crowd is rallying behind W7M. Now on match point here on Bank.
that point on bank more specifically six okay. three um, lead w7 man i'm sorry for him. ever disrespecting Look, you guys w7 Oregon, they had no solution i'm sorry for ever disrespecting you guys and, bank, and uh, it's all they have. yeah in so many different ways as well. It looked like the wow. attack might go sideways. Wow. C4 comes flying out as well. Just oh, denying oh. it. I, I don't know. I, I don't think it did get to I think he got that kill, but still regardless, plan couldn't go down. You saw that at that very last moment, Souls tried to stick it, ran out of time. But in these clutch moments, Nick, this has been a massive turnaround. Chat, Shapeshift um, from W7M here okay. on this map uh, bank compared to what we saw I did it. Okay, W7 events. I am sorry for switching up on you guys. Phase was so dominant. Um, they were able to get okay, very you know what? Fuck, I'm, I'm, not early even, I'm not even going to sit here and act like W7M is good, bro. Herds is the only reason why they're winning this game. Let, let's keep it a buck 1,000. This motherfucker is 16 and 6. Herds is the best player in the lobby. Without Herds, W7M would be nothing, bro. I don't care, bro. He's 16 and 6. Bam, they can 10 gifted. They'll shut him down. If it seems as if they're super overly aggressive, they'll shut that down too. Bands, they give the 10 gifted, Oregon, baby. Which is that WSM do not like playing. They pick bank. And it is working for them right here. They're sure. Cyber's still quick to the punch. He's 4 and 8. He's always trading his life for something. Never going to get the initial kill. WSM, they're doing a great job and denying them entries. Very quick control over towards top blue. We saw the Kiba barrier set up in stock above open area. That's going to be a challenge for the attack to clear, but the Amaru Souls, what are you doing? might come from Souls, down what are you below. Doing? Souls will prepare. Souls, what are you Wait doing? For the call. Souls, will what the fuck are you doing? Souls, what the fuck are you doing? SJV, 1v5, but basically. We told him go fast there earlier on. There's the Amaru grapple hook up through the hatch. Simon got that opening kill. That opening kill. Oh, the pressure left. Oh, right there. Three v three. Three v three. Three v three. Three v three. Handy though also reestablishes that lead for phase. Down to Nade and Herds to bring this back in the round. There is the down onto Cyber, so it's essentially a two versus two. Still with 90 seconds left, but FaZe have got themselves side control. Kit though out of hand, still outside. And Nade has to run not. outside. So Herds, oh my God. the sole member on side. Herds is still alive. Herds is still alive. Herds is still alive. Constrict side and try and get that plant down. Herds with Beepers control. Herds is still alive. Info, Cyber trying to get as he crawls forward. Do they go for the row eyes? Yes, they do. Herds is down to Beepers. He just got Nade. up. Like, Herds just got up. Like. One versus three. Comes in from behind, couple of low members for FaZe, but he can't connect the shot to FaZe. Come on, FaZe. Come on, FaZe, bring this shit back! FaZe, bring this back. Bring this the fuck back. Bring this the fuck back. Bring this shit 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 back, FaZe, right now. They had a read in the three versus one. Nade a huge clutch play. What are the odds this goes in that five? Shutting out that round and extending bank at least. Bro, Hertz's his beard game is so it's strong. So Holy shit. That all the members acted together. Yeah, he has a gold the chain on. This guy could plow me. Them, but we saw quickly Hertz KC dropping down hatches, trying to help him out. But the fact that FaZe was... Yeah, what are the odds this goes back five, to be honest? It was instant. You see here, outside the side window, cyber and double gold. Wow. The moment they get the wow. kill, WSM, they drop with reinforcements, and KC almost made the hero oh. play, almost getting a 3k. I mean, I think he did in some ways. He did his job. Oh my two. god, he what a play. At least bring the round back for W7M so that they wow. have a chance. A chance, though, that of course... Dude, a lot of these pros have the swinger be swung mindset. Yeah, that's one, two... Chad, y'all notice that? He's 12. Bro, Herds is like in his 20s. Chad, a lot of these pros have the swinger be swung mindset. Withstand one of these defensive rounds of W7M. They've got to keep attacking. And I like the pace that they are also bringing Dude, here on bank. Again, four, six. The time Could you imagine the if FaZe lands a three, six comeback on map two? It's over, bro. Jack, can we all agree that if FaZe wins this map, it's over? Can we agree? Jack, can we agree that if FaZe wins this map, it's over? That at the six invitational grand final, we have infinite overtime in play. Wait. I'm just saying. Mindset. Don't tease me Wait, there's infinite overtime? Whoa, 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 whoa. Really there's the infinite way. overtime? To, I don't care. But we gotta go there at some point. Oh, man. Wait, that's genius. Maybe for a quick side rush last round. Of course, not gonna Wait, happen that's again. fucking genius. Down here. You have to win by two. As one of the big win conditions. We saw Hurts last time on CEO playing aggressive between the windows. That's the only Nitro Cell they've got. So we think about that Repel game last time out. Very strong in trying to deny that from W7M. Chat, we should do that in Roller Saturdays. Really try and deal with that. Chat. 
Will it work? KDS precariously close, but it doesn't. I believe it has been exploded. In fact, it has been used. Herds, though, will hold the position at least temporarily. Am I saying there's no Capital? There's no Nates in the meta. You can just chill. He should definitely do that. He cannot be cleared unless they go downstairs below. So he can just relax. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, my God. Faze. Faze got first pick. Hurts. Wait. He, he killed their only player. W7M is nothing without this guy. The round's over. W7M is nothing without Hurts. It's over now. It's over. That round's over. That round is fucking over. That round is actually over. That's it, bro. GG's. GG's in the chat. Their only player is dead. GG's in the chat. KZ senses that this is an important part of the map to hold, but it's GV92. As is often the case to step up this time around, KZ eventually produces results, and it's now a 4 versus 3 in favor of W7M. Yeah, it becomes a big issue now for FaZe. They don't have the numbers in terms of hitting site quickly. They're still very much outside of the map. Three, all of them are outside, still on these repels as well. Trying to maybe get lucky, find one through Kanto, the wall near the elevators. KDS, oh. and it's a double no, it's just the one swinging in towards airlock. He has been able to get in successfully with the kid in hand as well. Red pick, trying to clear front test, needs to, does, barely stays alive, oh. and oh handy as well by the second of the round, but Janitor, strong the defense. Oh The couch, the couch, the couch, the couch, the couch. Absolutely, saw his head. Saw his head. No sound, and JV has not given away his position. Now swings. I'll kill. You're kidding me. Vinicky to do it like this on an SI grand final now creates the one versus one into red time. KZ can play the time. What a plan. He doesn't have to do anything. What a spot to play. allow him to plant and then swing at the What a spot to play. Vinicky cannot get what a spot. He sticks. He sticks it all the way. Pros do not fake. Not at this level. KZ to win the map. No! Oh, 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 oh my. We are not finished on bank. I want him to fuck me. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're not taking it this easy. A 12th round. He did not just hit the soon. Oh sevens in the chat. Vidicky might be a support player. He did not just hit the soon. He might plan down in a few, sir. He might dabble on Mung's innovations, but in the 1v1, down King, on match point, he will find the kill, and he will take phase further into bank. I will buy you bank. an Xbox. Fuck it, I'll buy you a Zen. I mean, there's a reason I picked him for my Vinicky fantasy team. <laughs> the rest of my team might have been pretty ordinary, Vinicky but I tell you what, Vinicky this Vinicky man Vinicky 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 is absolutely key to the success of this team. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. 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 He did not just hit the salute. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean... That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. Never goes well. Yeah, yeah. But the key to barriers, arguably, working in favor of the attackers. They had a little bit of cover. That was aura. Chat, that was aura. That was aura. Chat, that was aura. It gets them in the building. Does he need to pick that? Does JB need to pick that present stone? He obviously the kit in front of him. That then loses that position. Oh my god. You then allow that 1v1 because of the scenario that happened because he got that. <laughs> that was actually the cool. Bro, gaming is just. Uh, gaming is so cool, man. When the stakes are this high, I swear to God, bro. I think one day esports are gonna be bigger than regular sports, bro. And those small micro that was so. That was so. Cool. Fake laugh, bro. I haven't laughed one time today. Why do you guys think every laugh is fake? That was funny as fuck. <laughs> okay, there's no way FaZe loses after that clutch. Hand off the back of a huge clutch to keep his team's chances alive here on bank. Now, mind you, FaZe win this map. Suddenly, you're up two nothing in a grand final. There's yeah, no way they lose after that clutch. You can find no fucking one way. Map away from winning said grand final. It would put so much pressure on W7M. Even then, more so coupled with the fact that you had a six on three <coughs> lead, the fact that you had three. Bro, if FaZe wins this map, it's looking map. really good this for them. Massive round. W7M. It's GG's if they win this map. It's gonna be 2 0 Yo, yeah, by the way, if FaZe wins this, infinite overtime takes place. Which means you have to win by 2. And I would say, when the pressure is like this, that's where you wanna be. You make the enemy make the first move. You make them feel the pressure because the star right now is also FaZe. They might just lose this map. Now that was a, a half-hearted swing. Didn't wanna overcommit. Exactly. And, and to be fair, nothing wrong with that. It's more of a close angle check. I think more. 
than anything. 90 seconds left in the round. How quickly the time can dissipate. For FaZe, Bro. it's okay. They still got five players up, but for W7M... 5v5. Five five. Phase to force five. overtime. And it all comes down to this round. Phase to force overtime on a 3-6 comeback. There for W7M in terms of the plan. One Nitro Salt, that's for Lee Pox. The three gas paves of Nade. And that's basically it. They don't have much else on the defense to deny a server push. And we're back to classic phase. It's the calm before the storm. A five versus five. A ton of utility still available for both teams as we close into the last 60 seconds. Will we go to overtime? Hertz is dead. Hertz is actually dead. So. How is Hertz alive? They just flashed him. Five versus five. Who can create the opening punch that could have such devastating no audio cyber through blue and a mute chairman for good measure as he gets rid of that keeper barrier time the biggest factor it's an ally 30 seconds still two gas babes needs to be the crowd's gonna start screaming probably push through 30 seconds deep towards site planted the bomb chassis could even drop hatch in the b but souls is not there with the kit now running up blue they're opting for a change up with 20 seconds left in the round they have now gone for a hatch drop through souls the incendiary bolt to clear oh, oh, it's right there you could have just shot him with your gun it's davy that gets the opening kill suddenly it's falling apart for phase but not successful it's advantage for w7m time the biggest factor souls has the second phase lost the Face, wait, 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 wait. The warden! The warden! The warden! Listen to Brazil! As their local team gets a bounce in this grand stage of six invitation grand final. And they're not done yet. Deadly from W. They're not done. They're not going to overtime. They're gonna lock it out. Seven five. Oh my god. They yeah, they're not done yet. They have support despite that like, sloppy start. Yeah, six. They are definitely kills. not done yet. What a performance. And Holy what a shit, W7M. They've tied it all up. One one. Back to the desk. We have a game. What a fucking hands. game. One to one. Thank you. Thank you very much. And one, one to one. one. What, a what a game. 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 What a fucking game. Unlimited overtime, that's crazy. Unlimited overtime is crazy. I'm gonna take a piss, chat. Chat, I don't know, man. Hey, chat, I don't know, chat, I don't know. Let's get straight into it. Attack information, W7M bring it back. Yeah, W7M, of course, we talked about they had to start on attack on this map, and they had an amazing start to this map. And I think that mainly came down to the fact that they had the information on these roamers. They had the right utility to deal with the setup that Face was bringing out as well. They had the Twitch to make sure they could deal with the Goyo canisters. They had the IQ to make sure that they could deal with the information that was coming out from Face. They were bringing the right things, and their players were stepping up too. The players were stepping up massively. They were just playing a lot better than what they were on the first map, and it clearly, clearly shows. And I think there's a reason for that. I think the reason for that is the fact that they are so familiar yep. and comfortable with the map of Bank. They've obviously just been spanked on Oregon. They get onto Bank and they're thinking, right, what can we do? We're on a familiar map. We've got good information. Cool. That's allowed their players to settle down and settle into their process. I said on Oregon we didn't see the multi-kills coming out of JV, out of KZ. That's what we saw on this map. We saw all three of their frontline fraggers bringing in big multi-kills one after the other after the other and that's because of all of those factors coming together and Hertz was incredible Fabian let's highlight yeah. our player and talk about him I mean Hertz just stepped up massively especially in the first half he went absolutely insane and you talked about the multi-kills Jack yeah he just killed everybody anything that came into his scope was that the second they stepped into it and if, if you if you have a game like this there's nothing that's gonna stop you like he just hits everything on top of this i think that we need to highlight not maybe on a gra graphic but casey's map as well was yeah. incredible it's just when you have players to step up in the comfortable zone uh, where they feel like okay we're at home in this yeah, map so you add on top let of me just start off by saying that this skill, okay what to stop them uh, w7 m getting an ace in the round and the highlight that we see that signifies a lot of comfort yeah. is that the case for this entire w7 m i i made a severe lapse in my judgment i was not familiar with your game this could go either way. This could go either way. Yeah, yeah. Seven, they, they didn't. Once they get over that line, each individual this player could go either had way. a big moment in that game on that front line. 
the win condition for W7M is the gun skill. This could go either way. I'm very sorry. W7M, I'm very sorry. New prediction. You guys want to make a new prediction? Okay. Skyscraper, W7M's winning this map. W7M's winning this map. Especially on the first one, they had a bit of a W7M is really winning this map. Entry engagements, but maybe in this case, they're more like those yep. diesel W7M is winning this map. Like you said, more so comfort with all that second map as well to make sure they really. Wait, why is that so funny, Chad? I think now we've seen. Why are y'all laughing? Wait, why is that so we've funny? We've seen both the maps that the team wanted for themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. I think if we look at it, why is that so funny, Chad? Face absolutely demolished W7M on the map that they wanted. All now right. we had it to what face or what W7M wanted themselves. Chad, I'm not a bandwagon, bro. I just made my predictions. Yo, by the way, Chad, execution on that round was pretty quick cool. little friendly and reminder, uh, Chad Room. <clears throat> Hold on, promo Jinxie real quick. Uh, Chad, quick little friendly reminder. If you have that blue crowd next to your name, you can uh, sub to your boy Jinxie on Twitch completely free. Uh, exclamation mark sub if you have that blue crown see right here right there if you have that blue crown you can sub for free with twitch prime you feel what I'm, you feel what I'm saying so sub the fuck up get it as a jinx to chat holy shit and uh, yeah you'll get no ads and you'll get the jinxy charm no ads at all and you'll get the jinxy charm all right all right all right coffee said we good and he's literally subbed nice coffee holy fuck Appreciate all the primers. Bands, thank you for the 10 gifted. Chat, I don't know, man. 200K might be happening. Chat, 200K in March, maybe? We'll see. Super, super, thank you for the 5 gift that I appreciate you. It's pressuring from the entries, and this is her. It's holding a long angle onto meeting. He will get a first pick of movement created by the entries. And the second cutoff here on main will punish via the long angle wow. onto the staircase. Really clean, room clear from W7M, but it's not finished. They need to finish the round here. It's a 5v3. How do you execute? Your rappel on main needs to go through main and pressure the elevator hallway. At the same time, the rest of the team, the core here, is preparing the execute with this the guy mugs. and especially the Grim that will send the swarm, the swarm bees onto the bomb site. And Hertz will come back through open space window. We let the round play out here. JV pressuring from main gets the first pick on the anchor. And you can the tell this guy's got a seven inch dick, dude. And this you can just tell. It's a 5v1. It's going at the same time with the execute. The swarmings are, are preventing anyone from being in the defense on the site. Easy collapse from W7M, wow. really strong room clear, really strong execute. That's W7M in a wow. bank for you on bank. If you want to see more from W7M versus phase, You can tell this guy has a seven inch penis. He's five. Bro, he's a professional player. He's definitely like 20 something. He's not five years old, dude. Right, let me talk to my team. See if they're ready to go. Yo, yo, lock say it. That four. yo, yo, just say it. Of the four. Yo, bro, but you were the ready? bitch of them. Ready exactly, that's yo. what I'm trying to say. Yo, y'all ready? Yeah, or what? we know that. You cried the bag because they, they, they started early. Excuse yo, me, are we playing right now? Five. Bro, you're watching yo, all five. What do you mean, excuse you? You cried the bag because Zim, score, shut the fuck up. Yo, Lou, damn, where's Baddies at? Um, I don't know. Text them. I have a feeling he's gonna snake, bro. I'm just saying. I have a no, he already feeling. paid. He already paid. We already. I made he him pay before he snaked. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. I'm smart. Right. Trust me. I'm okay, a businessman. Okay. 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 Chat. By the way, chat. Do you guys? Do you guys wanna? Do you guys wanna? Okay. You guys want me to tell you the not really drama. Well, I guess it is drama that happened yesterday. Okay. So chat. Let me get the. I think Aiden sent me the DM on Twitter. Let's see this. Wait, no, 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 hold on. So chat, basically, um, you guys know how I'll like sponsor, like I'll sponsor these tournaments and shit. So yesterday, um, there was a screenshot of a team like literally admitting to stream sniping. Hold on. I think stop and sent it. Hold on, let me see. This shit pissed me off, dead ass, bro. This shit pissed me off, dead ass. Let me call high vibes real quick. 
Oh no, chat, just wait till you see the shit. Wait till you see the shit. Wait till you see the shit. Yo, yo. Yo, guys, do you have the screenshots of them, like, admitting to stream sniping? Yeah. Can you send them on Discord, like, all of them? Yeah. We only have one screenshot. Just send it. Is it the one with the Snapchat group chat, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, send that one. Chat, this was fucking insane. It's in the Discord? Yeah, but I don't want to open up a server and just have someone's penis be sitting there. I want to... Um... Oh, wait. Stop and send me it. Okay, so chat. I want your guys' opinion on this. I want your guys' opinion on this. This was yesterday. This was Ricky's team. So chat. Obviously, I sponsor these tournaments. And like, I, I'm like contemplating not paying, but I don't know. I, I want to get your guys' honest opinion. So chat, be unbiased. Okay, so obviously, we lost to Ricky in finals. Every single time we play Ricky, he stream snipes or his teammates stream snipe. And um, he'll just like lie about doing it. So if you guys remember like Iowa, like a week or two ago, he stream sniped us on Nighthaven Labs when he like put down the cap can trap, then picked it up. Uh, it was the same, same stack, right? So here, watch this. So chat, what's your guys' unbiased opinion on this? Now, like I'll be, I'll be fair too. I'll be fair as fuck. So like, okay, this was their group chat. This is their Snapchat group chat yesterday. Join Discord. Yeah, coming back now. I do not want the stream audio on. We'll get DQ'd if he hears it. We will get DQ. He said it to me. That's Ricky. Uh, that's Ricky talking. Mason dropping kitchen hatch. PS invite. Okay. Now I'm guessing the game just finished. Easy stream snipe. Skull, skull, skull. When I say Ollie, they don't have an op. They don't have it. And then Zach, which is Iowa, the little like dweeb ass, loser ass kid uh, who stream snipes every time. So like, now here's the thing, to be fair, um, to be fair, I literally did make a rule saying like, okay, if you stream snipe, um, it's the streamer's fault for having a small delay, but like, it's something in like my, I just want to ignore all of, I want to ignore all of what's written down in paper and just like, how do I pay these guys? How do I give these guys money? Like, you know what I'm saying? How do I, as a man with self-respect and dignity, cause bro, I don't care. Bro, I don't care about the, like, I don't care about, you know what I'm saying, bro? I don't care about fucking, bro, I don't care about the fucking sponsorship money. It is what it is, bro. I pay it out every week. I always, I've never not paid out. But this, bro, like, this shit dead ass makes me not want to pay. And I haven't even paid yet. I was thinking about paying tonight after stream, but, bro, I, I don't even want to pay, bro. Chad, what would you do if you were in my scenario? Like, I did say it's the streamer's fault if they get stream sniped, just have a longer delay. I did say that. Um, I also did tell Ricky that stream sniping will get you DQ'd. Like I, I told him that like in person. Um, I, D I actually DM. Wait, oh my god, I actually DM'd Ricky on Discord like a week ago saying that if you stream snipe, um, what's it called? It's a DQ because all this guy does is stream snipe, and then his team does it too. So like they're admitting to stream sniping, like it's 4K as fuck, and. Um, like, it takes every bone in my body to just not... Like, how am I going to give these guys money, bro? Because, like, it makes me want to not even, like, sponsor tournaments anymore when it's, like, people are doing this shit for money. You know what I'm saying? But, chat, what do you guys think? And be honest. Like, what's your unbiased take? Be honest, chat. Ban them from future Roller Saturdays? I was thinking about doing that, yeah. If they fuck you over, then you can fuck them over. Yeah, and like the thing is, bro, if in my position I always have to just take like, you know, the fucking definitely don't pay. Okay, run a poll then. Chad, I want you guys to be unbiased, bro. Run a fucking poll. Poll it. Fuck Iowa, don't pay shit. And like coffee, the part that's annoying is this is the this is the this is not the first time that little dweeb has stream sniped. It's like, I just feel like, I feel like I'm being taken advantage of, bro. Like you're stream and like, obviously bro, they just know I have money. So like, they just don't care. But bro, it's like you stream snipe and then get mad at like getting caught. Like, what are you, who are you even mad at, bro? But yeah, no, I mean like it makes me, it, it makes me just want to like, the other route I was thinking was like, maybe I just pay them and then just ban them from every future tournament. Cause you know, all they're going to do is stream snipe every team. That's all they ever do, bro. At least pay Bray. I mean, let me see. Bray didn't. Okay. So, okay, here, let's actually get right down to brass tacks. Okay. So Ricky said, I don't want the stream audio on. We get DQ'd. 
Okay, so Ricky's just a, a fucking accomplice. So he, he, he goes into this knowing his team is going to stream snipe. I did tell Ricky if he stream snipe, he's getting DQ'd. That was a week ago, though. Um, I told him that, like, in person. Or, or, like, so Ricky knows his team is stream sniping. He's an accomplice to it. He's literally, like, just saying mute the audio. Um, this guy, who is James? Is that Eli? I don't know who that is. It was one of the EU guys. It's either Axel or, or no, that's Axel. That's AXC. That's AXC. Okay, so that guy's a pussy too. Easy stream snipe, skull, skull, skull. When I say audited it up, yeah, Bray's the only one who like didn't say shit. But I mean, bro, this is only one screenshot. Bray's the only guy that didn't say shit. Yeah, I'll think about it. I mean, cause like, I just feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Okay, 96% of you guys said don't pay them. Yeah, just it's like, oh, well, Jinxie's rich, so we'll stream snipe him, and then, oh, Jinxie's rich, so we'll just stream snipe him, and then, like, lie about doing it, and then, because they did it, like, multiple weeks, bro, it's just weird, but Hive Ice, update the rule to where, like, um, if a streamer has, like, no delay, or, like, uh, under, like, 25 second delay, and, like, players are blatantly stream sniping, especially if they're admitting to it, it should be a DQ, you just simply should not be in someone's stream in a fucking tournament, bro. It takes all the integrity out of it. I mean, I guess I could pay Bray because he's like the only one that like didn't say anything. But bro, like Bray's still like on their team. Like, I, I mean, it's not really Bray's fault, to be honest. You can't really control what like other losers do. But like, it just takes every bone in my body to be like, yeah, I don't want to pay these guys. You know what I'm saying? How do I... Bro, how are you gonna stream snipe me, like shit talk, and then like expect money? Oh yeah, Ray definitely knows they stream snipe. Bro, it's fucking island. Let me ask the party. Let me ask the party chat. Let me ask the party chat. How's it gonna go? Are we feeling W7M or FaZe? W7M? Yo. I think FaZe will take it. Yo! That's like, yo. Yo, do you guys think I should pay uh, the team from yesterday? I think you pay Bray. Hey, Bray. I don't think you pay anyone. Hey, Bray. I was thinking the same thing, to be honest. Yeah, fuck IO. Fuck. And they already got paid from the player pool. You saw what Hi Vi said, right? Yeah, they already got paid from the player pool. Wait, so. Yes, they already yeah. got paid. I think I paid Bray. Hey, Bray. Bray his share. Yeah, like, yeah. Chad, is that the best route, you think? Yep. So my team said just pay Bray. I like that. I like that. But then again, my screenshot is so out of context. I mean, or not out of context. I mean, my screenshot's in the most 4K context ever. But like, I don't know if Bray was typing five minutes before that. Because of the way that you can cut off between the terrace window and the shrine window, and then you can segment the map. And two, you need to find a way to prevent stream sniping, bro. The only way to find a way to prevent stream sniping is just add a obnoxious delay, and it makes the stream unwatchable when you're not in the game. Like to be honest, bro, a 45 second delay, like you guys are like reacting to me a minute later. And you talked about bucks specifically here. Pay bread. What do you think we can see operator wise? on this map and who is the player to watch for those because like the thing is it's hard to like know when someone's stream sniping because they can just deny 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 they can get on burner accounts bro the guy literally said w or easy stream snipe with skull emojis in the chat such a good operator to clear out all these hard corner obstacles or hard to enter positions where you just like you know what i'm saying like all of that cover because well the guy literally said easy stream snipe who do you have to watch on the other side of phase and I mean, I mentioned Cyber, you're definitely going to have to watch him. Source has been amazing on those yeah. entries as well. Something I just remembered, though, during a Yunchiping Major, W7M actually got Liquid, another team from Brazil, 7 0 on this map. So it, really I, it is funny to see that 96% right, of you guys said to not pay. Map fresh, Fabian, and, you know, yeah. you know yes, I have a third team. I think Jinx is going to win this game. Oh god, here oh, he is. Oh no, okay. Here he is. Thank you very much for that, friends. What the fuck, Fabian? Number three. Okay. Yeah, Did anybody hear that? <laughs> yeah. Did anybody hear that? The most defensive side of map that we have at the top. All right. Far, but so far, these two teams Chad, I kind of fuck with Fabian. Really, really well. So I'm curious to see what's going to prevail, attack or defense. I mean, W7M have awoken from their little slumber in. on map number one. Herds as well, yeah. out of hibernation. And this third map is going to be absolutely <laughs> wild. I really think the opening to all Don't pay any of them. They're all a team. They're all in it together. They obviously know. Yeah, I know. Team, they will likely take this map. 
As we head into the third Have one confess? Bro, they don't even need to confess, dude. It's the most 4K screenshot of all time. From winning this six invitational. Bray definitely, like, knew, though. Okay, run a poll on if I should pay Bray. Map 3 chat. As we head into map 3, map 3. Bay's clan and W7M. Map 3 chat, map 3, map 3. Once again, so far, one. Map tree chat taking their own respective Who took the SS? Ryan, that's what I want to know too. They go to a comfort map, they go to skyscraper. Whoever took the SS like just literally caught them like so 4K. So I really want to talk about the other operator bands. Fabian cannot read the title word Ying. Okay, chat, should we start our tourney? I mean chat, chat, what do you guys want? You guys want me to play my tourney or watch this? Run a poll. Should we watch party or watch party the rest of the BL5? It'll probably be another two hours, or should we start the tourney? Was not played. Yeah, let me know, let me know, let me know. Sure should we start the tourney or should we watch party? Run a poll. After this break poll runs out. Again, work around the intel and the counter intel. W7M. Me personally, I would rather play the tourney. Um, W7M have been quite. But I'm down to do whatever you guys want to do. Out this event. My drops. You're still gonna get drops. Interestingly enough, this. Okay, 80% of chat is saying did not pay Bray. Yeah, I mean he definitely knows they stream slap every week, I mean, bro. It's so funny because they denied it two weeks ago, and then I love when it like always is 4K. The Grim Ying got banned out on Oregon again here on Skyscraper. Okay, hi guys. Delete this poll. Chat. Do we start the tourney now, or do we watch party the rest? Everybody vote. Everybody vote. These teams, they're quite comfortable with these bands. I think they will be very prevalent. Do we start the tourney now, or do we watch party the rest? Vote, 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 vote. Vote. Everybody 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 vote. I'm seeing watch party. I'm seeing play. I'm seeing watch party. Everybody vote, bro. However. Face have played 19 maps. They've been 16. My point is that both Sticky Finger, thank you for the five gifted. Sticky thing with the five gifted, I appreciate it. Different operators based on their opponent. But this is the best of five against the same team. So of course, it's not a big surprise. We're going to see the same kind of operators being bent out because that's what the enemy team would like to play. So away we go. Third map of the grand final. FaZe and W7M so far giving us a spectacle that is very much befitting. Sticky, thank you for the vibe. Get that. I appreciate it. RP, thank you for the prime. With 10,000 strong with viewership records being broken around the world. One to one, but by the end of this one, vote chat. One of these two teams. Watch party, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we watch party. I think we watch party. From writing their names in the history books. Over to tea karaoke, we go there for round one. I'm down to watch the rest. As mentioned, bro, but if it gets boring, bro, like if a team's up like six zero, bro. Top of drones as well for W7M. Perhaps a preset play brewing here though from Phase. Keep in mind, Valkyrie in play, so info the name of the game, oh. Cyber, able to time KZ, but unable to find the kill. Damage matters though, no duck being played, no Thunderbird either, not really present in the current meta game, so KZ, who's a very offensive Buck on Sky? What is Buck gonna do here, dude? This guy's using Ash R4C in year 9. Not the greatest start for them. Bro, bro, bro. In year nine, Ash R4C. Look at this attacking structure from base. Handy is the only player lurking. In year nine? Currently. So it might be a more forceful take here through Geisha. A little bit more direct from phase as opposed to taking full map control. Yeah, and phase of course have been quite direct in their approach and their attack so far throughout the first two maps that we've seen. We saw how dominant they were on Oregon, yeah. clearly as well on Bank. And I'm maybe expecting that as well. Scott there's two ways you can go, Nick. Direct or that sweep across. Right now, Ant, the five gifted. Love you, Ant. Think of the five. Position. They can still go for a rotate later on. The good thing about Skyscraper, I think at least for Faze, it plays into their strengths. Slow approach, concise, and then eventually hit slight fast. I agree with you. I do think this favorites their play style. It's all about that middle round. Early, you should only find kills on the attack if defenders are running at you taking those fights. It's all about that last minute. We're entering that territory right now. Handy up a staircase. Looking for what could be a great flank. Oh my god. He's been lurking for some time. Wait, the do they know Hertz is here still? Feed. 60 seconds on the clock for Lee Pox. Can he hold this position? Ooh. A little bit of timing there. Vita might, might, might jump in. Vita might jump in. Vita might jump in. Momentarily slips in towards the mezzanine. Vita King still on that balcony. 45 seconds. KDS up towards the black stairs. IQ as well to get rid of this information. That is still prevalent because of that Valkyrie. The counter, of course, is the IQ. Two Nitrous Elves available. In the back pockets of W7M. Very much will be required here despite the 4-on-3. There's one. 
flown somewhere along the map but clearly to no real avail kds now trying to push up through sushi and now take the rain yo hurts is on a double kill bro hurts is the best bro 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 this guy is the best bro He's like really attractive too. It makes me horny, bro. He's like really attractive. You have no split pressure. You spread across. Holy fuck, dude! And you fall apart. Dude, how many kills did he have last game? How many kills did Herds have last game? Seventeen. Very early on, it just went sideways for them. I mean, again, Ryder. How many kills did he have last game? He started off. He started off this game with a three K. Nineteen. Geisha, as he mentioned. They did try and work their way on the other 16. side of the map. Handy was down below. Yo, how are, are you guys saying different numbers? Came across late to try and aid. Okay, he went 16 and 9. So he dropped 16 kills last game. So and he started off this game down. with a 3K. Exactly Yo, this guy's fucking disgusting. Fantastic kills lighting up this guy's game. actually fucking w7M disgusting. And they've kicked it off nicely here. This guy's yeah. actually fucking I mean, disgusting. We didn't get to see a classic round of skyscraper. This guy's actually fucking gross. Utility clear and break that middle ground. Instead, it was face, like you said, kind of across the map, trying to find openings, but WCMM actually recognizing, hey, we don't gotta make a play here. We Start turning, please. Yeah, and on this map as well, this is Do a podcast with Herds? Bro, what? What are we gonna talk about? R6? Yeah, whoever said that is like... So there are yes. massive expectations for W7M to do well in this first half. Them doing so, yes, is great. Relieves the pressure for them going into the second half. Bro, chat. What the job. fuck? If they fail in this first half and they start getting a massive amount of attacking rounds, then we will change our tune. But as of right now, largely... W7M when is the next podcast dropping? Yeah, um... Four to five rounds next now. podcast episode is dropping soon. Though, next podcast episode is dropping soon. Phase. I want to see more of those yes, sir. spicy operators. Those yes, sir. Yes, sir. Flexibility. Next we'll podcast episode is dropping soon. Osa, see some smoke be used, maybe a glass, because so far, face, they've been very vanilla throughout this series, and while they're not like the craziest rush team, per se, we know that... Yeah, we should get herds in some 1v1s, bro. This guy's nasty, so dude. First round to lose the opening, second round as well. It's JV taking down Handy. JV 92. Hey, chat, this Did Sunday... To be that chat, should I 1v1 shroud this Sunday? Yes, sir. Single wall open, duck. Don't pay them with the gifted sub. <laughs> Chat, should I 1v1 Shroud this Sunday? Sunday night, yes or no? Life being a little difficult right now for Vay, stuck out on the balcony. Chat, really but if I, bro, got, I can't lose though, because then it's like, my reputation's on the line. When are you doing the IRL stream? Oh, that's with Sketch, that would be like early March probably. I think we're gonna go golfing or something. We'll figure it out. It's shot for me, though. Force them to stay on that balcony. Force them to really think about taking a step inside of the map. Well, that's exactly what Katie is. Oh, Duffy, everybody streams time for me, to be honest. Good rain. Casey had no idea. A response from KDS is so swift along with Souls. They've compounded it. It's fine, though, chat. I'll never play a tournament without a 45 second delay ever again. Suddenly, very prevalent on the attack in the three versus three. Oh, shit. Good fucking kill, Funny Cloud. And a fast round now here in the second round of offers an exhibition. But again, Vita King. No, Vita's dead. Damn, the Legion Mind. <laughs> Bro, the Legion Mind just saved them. Dude, he had to pull it out. He had to pull it out. Henry, thank you for the five gifted, Henry. Henry, thank you for the five gifted, baby. Somebody will swing you regardless. There's no way out now, round now. We can talk about defense being Wait, how many? What is he drinking? Is that yogurt? What the fuck was that? Bro, check the VOD. What was that? So when the cycle comes through, I would not be surprised if WCM could be more aggressive than that face right now. And you can hear Someone said a mini shield? WCM fans Water, but why was it bottled like that? Bro, it was bottled like yogurt. Dude, no, I'm watching VOD. JV92. Very nice kill through that vertical. Bro, it was literally bottled. It was bottled like. Bro, it's not codeine, bro. And they compounded nicely. Chad, it's not Cody. Unfortunately, trapped in that goo mine. Now, two things here as well. 
early on. Firstly, again, we don't want to get too overexcited. It's defense here on Skyscraper. Let's again remind Add you. Herds to the rank stack. This is Bro, the here. last thing and Herds wants to do with this time is play fucking ranked. This, this guy's playing for three million dollars right now, dude. The last thing he wants to do is play ranked. You would then be taking into set Control. Be having one, two, Healthier three. foods. So while this is not do or die, four phase, it's certainly a very pivotal moment. In Herds the versus Sim. Take their map of skyscraper, giving them the edge, then going into border. Get herds on the roller stack. I know, I know, I know, I know. Phase of those to pick skyscraper. They know this not attack. I need to, I need to. I expect more flexibility. I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to. Show me you can do it. KDS on Thatcher. He's the injured player walking through a breach. That was the only success that Phase found in the previous round, and it came off an individual player with a little bit of help behind him, of course. We've yet to see Phase being activated as a team, playing closely together, but playing so spread apart. But right now, that style isn't working. So a little bit more split here from But that Habana hole is so calm. On Vidaking investing util for the map sweep. Souls on the other half breach roll would now work Geisha handy as well. Have Summers and they could be necessary as well later on. Bro, W7M is fucking locked now. Defense for lead pox. He's posted up above. Holding this for as long as he possibly can, stalling out this. Got a strong for phase as well. Vita's gonna have to make a play here. Yeah, got a bit of that geisha pressure. You want to take that, get that vert advantage, but also sweeping across that we've seen them really clear out off as an exhibition as well. Mind you, skyscraper is the kind of map, regardless of the site, you can play just about anywhere and defend just about in any way, shape, or form. 90 seconds left in this round already, though, and again, bro, a minute 30, and there's been no deaths. Wait, I will six this. Clearly finding it difficult. It's best of five. Get good map control. I do agree it's slow. This is map three. It's one to one. Minute 15 on the clock. They got to make a move soon, bro. The defenders are chilling. The attackers got to make a play. Oh, shit. What a kill from Keys. No trade in sight for FaZe. And he holds down the line. The flashbang's now to come through. He just got a blind kill. He was completely... Oh my god! Oh my god! Drives a stake through the heart of phase! W7M, um safely into this map! Safely into this map! Yeah, alright. And W7M, I'm sorry. Um it's such a difficult, difficult scenario. But you never count. These players I'm really, really, really sorry. Three to go. Default shot out and drum control. I'm sorry. Kit is not really close. And guys, I, I should have never gave up on you guys. It's made. The After the Oregon game, I should have. Okay, W7M, listen, listen. W7M. I, 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 I want to apologize for disrespecting you guys as R6 players, as professional gamers. I'd like to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I was this not familiar so with your face. game. I said w 7 so in these five After you guys got 7-1 on Oregon, I didn't know what to think, man. I thought it was over, but do I want to, I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart, man. W7M, I'm sorry, it will not happen again. It will not happen again. I'm really sorry. Uh, is there anyone I should possibly join as a cheerleader? Or a Gatorade boy or a water boy, just let me know. Wherever I can fill into this team, just let me fucking know, please. I want to be a part of the squad. I want to be a part of the squad somehow. Gatorade. Yeah, let me be the Bobby Boucher to this team, bro. Let me be y'all's water boy. Where's my teammate going? Bro, what? W7M looking very difficult to take down at the moment. Yeah, it certainly are. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, I can't hear it. The fucking my Xbox audio is blaring. What'd you say? We play stop in the sky. We play stop in first round. Yeah. Bet. No bet. No, that's fine. That's fine. Balcony versus that is play fine. inside the play inside. That's completely fine. Three nothing start. That's fine. Timeout called by Phase. Done. Dissipated into the fourth round we go, and we return. That's fine. That's room and karaoke. Fine. Phase. That's completely don't fine. Need that many rounds. It can change so quickly in the blink of an eye. 
Well, the W7 M fans are starting to make No, yeah, chat. Type GG. Say first round exit. Talk that shit. I love it. I live for this shit. And suddenly they're back in a good position. That's exactly it. One is the bare minimum. Two is a great outcome, I would say. A good one, at least. And face. <coughs> Grand finals. Finally. Three to zero lead for W7M on map three. Bring out the things we know they can do, like the Montedro extended shield, Vidikin. The reason what do you mean good stream? IGL, the in-game leader, the captain for his team. When you play the Monty, you can extend that shield. You can't really die. You can walk around while consciously think, oh, my teammate should be here. Cover this angle. Hey, drone this area. And it gives so much freedom mentally for the leader. But the king will call the shots. He'll lead the charge for his team from here. And he'll push it out over towards this map clear. We'll see if FaZe can find some success. In the early portions of round number four, Bahrain. it's KZ down the line, two keepers in the pocket. Is he going to commit? He does have herds alongside, and we know how two of these deadly... They got deadly away? Are, however, they let him get away? They're happy to back off and give that space to FaZe. Yeah, really smart there for W7M. I think they're really good at so far being able to say, okay, we don't really need to challenge too over-aggressive in nature. We'll pick our fights. So far, they've done a great job of that through the opening three rounds. My question, though, here, Nick, is very much Vidikin on that Monte. Can he allow them to win these chokehold battles towards Drum at the mezzanine and then eventually in towards here in karaoke? He could be a real big win condition now for FaZe. I think so. I do think that they're playing into their strength now as a team. The one thing we're gonna see, those guns, they're gonna come alive. Handy was a huge organ. He was there on bank. Minute 30 on the clock, and nobody has died yet again. FaZe's biggest problem right now is they just can't get kills early. All of their kills are coming in the last minute, and it's just getting traded. Oh my. W7M is locked, man. W7M is fucking locked. Ooh. 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 Still at Nitro Cell as well, available for W7M in the hands of JV92. Vidikin is very low. Also, 20 seconds. Because Henny died, he was a hobby job face. Because they gotta get rid of that fucking camera, bro. One less way in, one less angle for pressure. This favors defense. Vidikin so low. JV92 still with the Nitro. That could be huge for the defense. Final 30 seconds of this fourth round. The crucial one for Faye. Certainly winnable, but not gonna be easy. Still only to dislodge JV92 inside a gay shot. Souls won't go for it, not just yet. Again, down to 20 seconds on the repel. Outside of karaoke. T room stack double defense. Felipe Felipe gets rid of the Montag. They just struck JV in towards the site. Kicked down over at the stairs. No it's time. time we go. Where's the response? No. The was through. He hit a clip. He just hit a clip. That guy just hit a clip. That guy just hit a clip. Oh my god, he watches Messi. He he just did the messy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's aura. That's aura. That's aura. inside, not even really That's aura. Even despite the Montaigne. That's aura. Bro, 4 0 sweet. 4 0? Where are the gaps? Where are the weaknesses? What should the enemy do? Because when you look Four at fucking there's so few things that could have changed that round, and it's such micro adjustments. Vidicking on the Monty early on, Handy walks behind Dude. him, he dies. Okay, if you let my go further with the Monty and take some of that space. Bro, nah, this is actually bad, dude. But outside of that, this is just one team playing better siege than the other, and of course, Bro, phase went from seven easier. wanting to getting bent we over a table and cream pie. Moment after getting no 2k. Many players, they dream of this opportunity, and they're living in it right now. I think the main That's insane. For phase was that Bro, that is actually so fucking nuts. It this current meta didn't quite work out. It was KDS from the Kyrie. <laughs> he gets timed. He gets slain. There's no counter pressure there from the attack. Bro, they might get 7 0. No, no, no. Chat, if they get 7 0, playing for $3 million, getting 7 0. Bro, in G. Okay, listen. If I was playing in front of hundreds of thousands of people for $3 million and got 7 0 on Skyscraper, in GTA, I would da baby my face off in GTA. In, I would take my GTA character and the baby in GTA 5. 7-0 is crazy.
Seven O is insane. Seven O is insane. A campaign of siege. That's just me though. My mental would be in the gutter, bro. But these guys have a better mental than me, bro. I don't know. Dude, clearly they have a better mental than me because they got seven one in their back. Secondary EMPs also available to try and open up this vault. Will do so successfully, and an entry point can be established. Chat, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, dude, they're sick, bro. How is their mental this good? Double shot. Oh my god, wait, phase is back. Phase is back, phase is back, phase is back, phase is back. Phase is back, phase is back, phase is back, phase is back, phase is back. They got the first pick. Phase is back. Buck down below vertically, and they're actually making pressure from multiple fours now for the first time. They get the opening as well. The pacing, 1 minute 30, is excellent. Monty. Full HP. This is the best round for FaZe so far. FaZe is so back. They're so back, it's crazy. They're so back. FaZe is back. No, FaZe is back. No. Wrap it up, 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 wrap it up. It's over, it's over. Give me three. For three versus three with 60 seconds left in the round, but we've been in this position before. FaZe have found themselves with a chance late in the round. Chalk it. Where it looks like it's an even man advantage. And every single time W7M have been able to get over the line. Wait, Fernando's right there. Now to sneak forward. A phenomenal player from PZ who sensed the moment. And he's for third. 40 seconds on the clock. Can FaZe receive? He's on a triple kill. Keys is on a triple kill. What? Oh, he's won. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go now. You gotta go. Gotta go right now, gotta go. Massive round, an attacking round would be so crucial for FaZe. They need it, they desire it. He's gonna will his way against them. W7M is the greatest group of individuals of all time. W7M is the greatest group of individuals of all time. So many times, a huge clutch, but tracking back. What a play from KZ! Yeah. The attack, Vidiking had full eyes on that push, yet he timed it to perfection. Got his team back into the round, retreated to the shield, almost got the ace. Did it, but it didn't matter. W7M is, that that is the greatest. In that moment, one versus one, even even W7M is the greatest. I don't that care. One of the better opportunities. W7M, I am sorry for disrespecting you guys. I am sorry for disrespecting you guys. That is my bad. It will not happen again. That is actually my bad. You guys are the greatest. I mean, what a sensational round from KZ. And with that, it came down to nine. W7M got 7 1 in their back. They're back. They're back. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> One attacking round could be enough for FaZe. This is how the side of this match is. Shut the fuck up. One attacking round is not going to be enough for FaZe. One attacking round is not going to be enough. They would need at least two. Four hours. Four hours. Why is it that every time my stream hits four hours, you guys remind me as if I need to end the stream right away? I'm not a four-hour streamer, dude. How about you? You gotta shut down all five. It's an impossible task. But we'll see now. Can FaZe make the impossible possible? See you tomorrow, bro. Nah, nah. Congrats. You it's made it four hours. This chat is so weird, bro. But it's going to be one hell of a challenge regardless. Five to zero right now. Up early, playing in towards Dragon. It's a bedroom, bathroom defense for the final round of the half. I fucking W7M, zero. as expected. W7M is so good, bro. Brazil, one of the only regions that plays this bomb side domestically. We rarely ever see it in the next W7M is play. so good. It's been tried by two or three separate teams at this event. And they got 7 1 in map 1, and now look at them. The issue is, it's Just look at them soar. Because you don't have a lot of experience. Okay. It's that four bumps that you rarely see in practice. We see now WCM, they're changing the strat, going for a fake. Nade's gonna run out. He did a fake reinforcement. Spectate Nade, you sp whoever's spectating, you're a dumbass. Spectate Nade right now, he just did a fake reinforce. I can't, I can't with the spectator. Bro, Nade just did a fake reinforcement. Spectate Nade, please, thank you. 
Chad, they think he reinforced this wall. He did a fake reinforcement. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, that didn't work. Oh, he might actually win. 3v2? Oh my god! No fucking way W7M wins this. This was a 5v3. This was a 5v3. This round was a 3v5 in Faze's favor. No. Mid it on the clock. But he goes back to sight. But he goes back to sight. Mid it on the clock. At the disadvantage, a two versus two. Information should be available. KDS, that could be the drone that wins phase this round. Gotta play together. Try and get that 2v1 so scenario winnable. because right now, planned is not so possible. Winnable. We're gonna drop for a hatch, walk down the so staircase winnable. together. One flash available. Gotta go, gotta go now. Gotta go now, Doku. Gotta go now. 30 seconds left. It's the final logic bomb from Handy. Looking to seek down a track. Oh my! Barring! Barring! JV killed! 1v1! 1 on 1! 1 on 1! Faze is back. If W7M would have taken that round. Okay. Now listen. This is where. You really gotta shove up your face. You gotta prove that you are the Here's team the thing, right now man. in the finals. They get Skyscraper the is the most defender the side of map in the game. But a 5 to 1 lead oh, is a 5 to 1 lead. Oh, I mean, we'll see what happens on the split. We Let's will see what happens Jesse on the split. What his thoughts are from that but a dude. Hello, Xenox. You just said that one attacking round for FaZe Clan may be enough, and I have some stats to think that it just might be. FaZe Clan are playing on Skyscraper now, and they move to defense for this next round. And Skyscraper just happens to be FaZe Clan's strongest defensive map of the entire pool. They have an 80% defensive win rate at, uh, on Skyscraper throughout what? this event. They are flawless defending Exhibition Office. They are flawless what? defending Barbecue Kitchen. They are flawless defending Master Bedroom and Bathroom, and they've only lost tea room and karaoke a single time through this event for me a big reason for their defensive success has been kds he loves roaming on the bottom floor he loves playing these c4 operators like capcan like mozzie whatever he can get his hands on that's going to be the player to watch in my mind and although this looks like a tough match for them watch out and don't count out phase clan yet thank you jesse Okay. He's gone. <laughs> I mean, a very good point. Very elongated point. But at least he backed me up. That guy's so, so like, well spoken. We head to the second like, half handsome, now, guys. And this confident. is where, again, that reiterating awesome. the phase, this is very doable. But that guy's I can't awesome. make any mistakes. That guy's my and favorite, the earlier a mistake like, that may happen, and suddenly then it's a lot of map points that need that to be overcome. So for W7M, pressure off momentarily here. They've got a couple of rounds. They get a Chat, quick punch. Very like, the phase, sorry, good energy, has to be perfect. You gotta be perfect. Are you right? I mean, they can make one mistake, but that's, you know, as close as it gets here. Wait, wait. no perfect. fucking way. Was he right? Was he right? If you want oh, to God. lift the hammer, you have to Was be resilient. Right? There are nah, going don't to be times this. in the grand final where you need does a five to one fight from behind. Yeah. I mean, don't the tell stats me are one thing, but if you're a player in the server, you look up and you see that you are down 1-5, that's when you need to step up. Hurts, hurts, Can't be looking at that scoreboard, hurts. Shitty. Trying to find that kill. Is it down onto Ned? No, he's still alive. That's just a drop down. A little bit of a prone moment here. Herds can't find this kill. No one can. A little low health members Back inside of the server right. as right. Solos compounds here. No Simon was able to back. stay alive by the barest of margins. No way this inside back. of Exhibition and Philippe Box is down. Suddenly the round falling apart for them. Back. Very early oh on. He's still with 90 seconds. J Fee forward. Oh oh Talk about an opening Flawless. statement. Flawless. Begin this second half for Phase like Clan. It's Herds outside on the repel. It'll oh one God. versus Chat. five. See, look at how pros play a 5 so, 1. See how yeah, pros play a 5 1. Alright, never mind. My ranked team would have done the same thing. That's one kill for Hertz. Why did he beat that? The health bar not looking so if good. Hurts you win this, I'll, I'll send him $25,000. Got a minute, if Hertz wins but this. maybe you gotta talk things through here. I mean, Hertz wins this, I'll send him $25,000 USD. Oh, looks like Hertz is gonna go for it. A snappy second shot. But Holy Cyber shit, that was getting scary for a second. All right. And um, FaZe could wow. cook up something special here on defense. Holy I think typically shit. I'd agree with you there, Nick. Dude, I, I dude, think you, dude, in that dude, moment, dude. probably want to take a bit no. of a technical timeout. As you said, where you could kind of just sit outside, get a bit of 20, yeah, and win a one versus one. Very unlikely. 
but it's an SI Grand Final. You've <laughs> got to go for it in that moment. He gets two kills, creates a one versus three. You never know what could happen. That could be Bro, such a differentiating happen. round for the ages. He goes for it, Bro, obviously it doesn't know, work out. Chad. Nevertheless, he at least tried. Two to five. Faze answers strongly to his defense. Nuts, and it really does sort of highlight. They have already emulated what we saw from W7M. I know, it's one of the... No, it's not even one of them. At these windows, at the entry point, and opinion, making it annoying for the attacking that, team to even bring it into the building. Yeah. The comp map. I mean, it just comes down to confidence, right? If you hold on to those strong positions, again, keeping the attackers outside of the building, we see it from both teams now. Man, they the I same, mean. similar style. And I want to highlight Souls here. Right. We might think support player, SMG11, Harpreet, whatever. This man is putting up a Ooh. clinic. He is fighting Ooh. on the injuries, denying them, finding kills after kills. Kill. Nasty. Not your typical support player, Yo, but the guy that you need. And it might be some recency bias from bro, pros are perspective, so good. but okay. I would probably go as far as to say These that guys are the most pros, bro. These guys are like the top so of the top pros A complete pros projection of any map control. And that's exactly the game plan. Four hours, why are you like still streaming? So very positive signs from FaZe. I mean, they understand the map, right? They picked it. They wanted to go here. They knew that they can just survive for long enough on attack. Get that one or two rounds. That's all they need. They almost got two. Only managed to get the one, and now we see that flexibility. Frost, the room, the leash, the all of a sudden, the face. They're throwing everything at the wall right now, and it's probably all gonna work. Very trap heavy. Very, very trap heavy. So W7M will need to proceed with caution and ensure that they have a time buffer late in the round as well. So, we're headed to this eighth round. Good start from FaZe. What can they bring in terms of another chance? Over towards Office and Exhibition. Need to keep this momentum going for as long as possible. To deny W7M any kind of chance of map point. We're all as Hurts. long We're as possible. Well, he pops with the exothermic charge. And suddenly, phase if they win a couple of rounds, yes, defend decided, but also the momentum could swim back into their favor. Right now, though, for W7M, certainly no real pressure. All it takes is a couple of maybe lucky shots. Clear out a good position, get the opening two kills, and then look to overwhelm that defense. I was gonna say, I wanna look at Hertz here in KC, see if they can find those opening, find those gaps. Nays can do my damage here, but that's not really a big problem. Big question is, is the drone until there? Oh! Oh! The shot down from Vidic, got the staircase, no that's huge! Way. Yeah, and Phase the live drone as back. well doesn't help out, there's a second one! Despite the drone yeah, against W7M, they cannot clear these positions. Yeah. Oh, they're getting slaughtered! Face, right in their Please faces, despite the fact it's offers an exhibition, it's game shot, it's team karaoke, and it's a very strong phase defense to begin this second half. The numbers have so far backed up the story of this very map. It is so excruciatingly difficult to attack. Flawless from phase and very much sets the tone. This is not There's going to be no easy for the fucking WCW way to finish off phase the work brings this back from five half. to one. Phase are cooking on defense. No fucking way. <laughs> and despite W7M getting marginally more guys, control guys, of you, even when the call back that, flawlesses, they were immediately back shut back. down. Now, perhaps the, the live drone no, there, no, the, the timing the script, was dude, a little the script bit off in. before they confirmed Boys, the decision repeat, on that point five main in. stairs. Dude, However, the execution from Phase was phenomenal. They are looking no, rock five solid zero. on defense. No, five to zero. What, Nick, if they win this tertiary site, yeah. It really Yo, does like look the like FaZe are going to bring this one back. You get that perfect rotation right now. This is literally the best I think there's a, a fair argument made that both teams on attack are trying to play a normal, fair, standard round of Siege. There might come a point where you got to say, you know what? This ain't working. Let's just do something crazy. Go for a rush. You know, we're talking Blitz. We're talking Live. We're talking in-your-face gameplay. Pengu's right. Pengu's right. Out, so those five spans won't right. go out there Pengu's and enable right. you on the entries, but there are you other gotta bring out like some crazy shit here. Neither team wants you to go for a crazy kind of attacking style, but also neither team finding any success really on the attack so There's far. There's really no other option. So ninth round. From a 5 nothing start for W7M, it's FaZe that have won the last three, and suddenly the shape of this map changes with every single passing round. The pressure probably still with FaZe momentarily, but that will change the more defensive rounds that they continue to find. For W7M, do they change up the approach? Do they look to maybe go for slower? Three, five. Or long outside of the map entries to at least just get a foothold. Because right now, going towards site, going towards these more conventional entry points <coughs> has proven to be difficult for both teams. I will say they have four grenades in this round to launch out those clear positions. So I could see those being utilized here. Gonna try and keep track of it. Because there are those positions in Geisha, for example, where you're only safe behind the box where Handy's playing right now. If a nade gets tucked in, uncooked, it will force him to move out Dude. of position. You can then act upon that. 
And if you see the nades on KC, the gridlock, it's there. Nade with a follow up, wall gets open, they clearly want Gizzard control. Eyes on handy. He's Minute 55. Is Bro's gamer tag actually handy? It's a key position for him to lock down. Eyes is well on Hertz. He's now lurking around the map, and he is a danger man in this role. Oh, he is. But can he find it? Oh! 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 oh. oh. <coughs> that was disgusting. And that I'm about to puke. I'm about to puke. That was disgusting. Thinking, oh, no. that might just be the round. What a shot. Oh, my God. FaZe is going to do it. They're going to bring it back. The good times. They're going to bring it back. They're going to bring it back. Trying to get through the Soyan cave. Broken down. KZ. Where's he been? They're bringing it back. In this half. Face is bringing it back. Opens up sight. They're bringing it back. Yes, they're down a player, but they can start to at least get some work done up above for KZ and JV92 as the duo. This is the best chance they've had thus far, despite it still not being easy. I mean, Velcro cameras still up. Faze have a read on where these attackers are currently positioned. 3v2 scenario, 55 seconds on the clock. Faze was losing 5 to 0, and now it's 5 to 3. Play off one another. This is going to be a tall task for the attack. But it's JV and KC. If a duo could do it, yeah, sure, maybe hurt. Really good burp. Hurt, really like good burp. Live JV round, they could still win it. So 40 seconds, two versus three, an opportunity to get a couple of map points here on Skyscraper. The map bigger phase. Wait, Keys is going to the backside. Keys way in. Keys is going to the backside. JV will eventually have to drop and go for the plant, and time the biggest factor needs to, of course, get that plant down within the remaining time. But FaZe have got themselves so many good positions, so many cross sites, and they immediately deny entry through delivery. He killed him. It's GG. FaZe is going to win this. FaZe is going to win this. It's a three on one with 10 seconds. And it's GG. It's GG. It does do so with a kit in hand. This is one of the more difficult positions you can find yourself in. He gets the last upon. Jesse is the greatest commentator of all time. And maybe running out of chances here as FaZe are beginning a comeback on Skyscraper. The guy that came in and did his halftime report when it was five to one, literally said, "One round is all phase needed," and he might have been fucking right. It's hard to take map control, Eight, but then you get to five, bomb site. There's bound cameras spotting you, combat. bulletproof cameras. Defenders can rotate around. There is absolutely the drone intel from the attack, absolutely no shot down. Way this is no happening. drones to work with whatsoever. A I mean, <laughs> we can see the operators. You guys can't just yet. I was gonna say, Bro, one it, it, gonna it was a 1v2 on right the 6th round. Monty, of course oh my, what a shot. The replay's right here. Great shot. We saw that as well from FaZe. They opted to say... Bro, how is Sky this defender, defender side? Right now, like, actually. Entries, again, that's been the biggest how is Sky this defender side? Teams on their attacking side. Guys, how the fuck is Sky this defender side? Vinny King and FaZe, they were eventually able to at least get like, one round. Like, genuinely, bro. That's really all W7M actually need. Just the one round. It then at least guarantees them OT. Nah, no way FaZe brings this back. Yep. Can w 7 Yo, if it goes to overtime position, chat, it's gonna be unlimited OT. That's gonna go on forever, bro. Defensive rotation Dude, unlimited overtime is gonna go on forever. Bro, I'd love to see that, I'm gonna be honest. Bro, because if unlimited yeah. overtime happens, it's gonna I alternate like it, back, forth, like, back forth, back forth, back forth, defense, 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 defense. Don't keep forcing the problem. Yep. <laughs> Double frost on a staircase, okay? Chat, yeah, unlimited overtime would be fucking insane. The shield change isn't in just yet. You can't peek to your left and your right. Spellicar is really gonna make sure that he clears out all those corners right. and those if staircases. If W7M doesn't win this Monty, round, it's looking very really grand. He was really in your face kind of style. It's so looking very grand. Then his team is through the work. Shout out playing the tournament after this, uh, after this tournament. Spellicar should be more aggressive to try and gain map control for his team and not sit back because you got that shield. You cannot die to bullets. Good job, Use that to your advantage. So then, can Souls and Cyber combine? On this little room, that phase of cooking That's the worst C4 I've ever seen. Early nitro from that is the worst C4 I've ever seen. 10 kills so far. That won't connect. That is the worst C4 I've ever seen. Philippox in moment's time should be in his face. Yeah, Philippox now makes his presence known. Outside of office. The exterior is blown open. Reach available. There's oh my god! Oh, Jamie Lewis. No! Oh my god! From Souls, despite the fact they've got face the room behind the Face is gonna bring it back. Oh my! And then on the repel? A big tag into herds, it's a big this win here from Zay. This is actually fucking game, ridiculous, bro. Also getting some oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Caught <laughs> unaware! And W7M is choking. They are absolutely choking. No, I don't think so. Clutch man. 
savior of rounds. Gonna put face in the map to a 5-5 most likely here. Holding the roam single-handedly despite Amonti being on the board. That is absurd. 10 they W7 up, they actually something up here. Him. It's the two best players they on the team. They fucking bottle But a very tall task they ahead. Russian Chat, they fucking bottled really him. This round because it's two oh five my. Now one. Chat, they got him bloody bottled it. They bottled it. They fucking bottled it. In response to the opening five rounds, W7M claimed for, them, for themselves on the defense. Heard pink, swung, wow. Five round. consecutive rounds for FaZe. Five consecutive rounds for FaZe. As like five or six rounds ago. Holy what are you shit. doing? Both teams, same struggle. This is world class Rainbow Six Siege. The problems, and now it's five five. It's literally just like a best This of is three world class Rainbow, Rainbow Six Siege. The difference is, FaZe did find a solution in that final round of the half. As we said, how pivotal that could be. Well, here is the. Bro, that is not enough water, Vita. You need a bigger water bottle. That is like the tiniest water I've ever in seen. Those opening five rounds of defense. W7M are into this is from the last like two hours, bro. Five, five, it's essentially break point. Who can now go on and secure map point? Most likely this type of tactical timeout is all about a single round, the upcoming. W7M is calling a tactical timeout. So I wouldn't be surprised. That means, yo, guys, they're gonna go this side. Listen, W7M just called a tactical timeout on 5-5. That means whatever they're about to do next round is gonna be fucking crazy. They have a strat cooked up. Teams do it all the time. It's called saving strats. They have their strat book. They're gonna bring out some underground shit that they that they've never done before. Some underground shit they've never exactly. done. Exactly, that's the goal. Infinite overtime. You don't have to worry. They're gonna bring out some crazy out shit. In OT. They're gonna bring out some crazy so shit. This round. All of their focus, all of their energy, all of their brain power going into this. Yeah, no, no, no. This five, they're, they're gonna five, glazing, five, glazing. Guys, middle. that's literally the reality of the best of okay. five grand final, and so far this epic finale living up. <laughs> w7 n is gonna they're gonna well bring out a crazy strat. So far, Nick, it is living up to that very expectation. I have to agree. Both teams showing very high level understanding strategically of the game, but also individually. The plays that are being made, the reading, we see KC always finding a double or 3k when they look uh -huh. behind. We see Soul shutting down every single injury match the ball, and they're just fighting back and forth across the entire map. Bye -bye. From the sites. Away from the Montank, guys. Didn't yeah. work, and it didn't really work all that much for FaZe either. So honestly, I think they've made the right choice. Bravo brought into play, so we'll see if KZ on these clutch drones can have an impact. Default camera dealt with, bottom house stairs. Other pieces of util though, still Joining standing house, with the three mines. Unfortunately though, the first clutch is taken down by FaZe. And these rounds are pivotal, why? Because you've just called a tactical timeout. Statistically, and we have the data, you do have a higher chance yes. of winning a round off the back of a tactical timeout. So whatever was said for W7M, this really does kind of feel like a almost last chance. You lose this round, FaZe have then got map point. It becomes so much more difficult, so much more pressure. The issue is, and Gus said it, when you win your three full no bumps at rotation, it's perfect for defense, right? You'll go through it feeling good, feeling confident. JV down below, finding a lot of intel here, shutting some of it down. Nate uncooked has to land on that shell. What a name. If it does, takes down the brutal no, camera. Back. So again, intel being denied. Face, they need this intel. So good Minute 55. From W7M. It's a Someone needs to make a play on W7M right now. Around this breach, and it's cyber to contest. Oh, he's peeking. Uh, How aggressive will he get? Nade has the perfect read, but will reposition. Bolt now in hand. But it's also just perceived pressure, right? It kind of slows naturally down. W7. Oh my God! There's the swing. You've got to be ready. That's kind of the issue, and that's what Cyber's really doing. It's not so much about finding a kill. As Still nobody died. W7M on their toes. That is it. Every second matters right now. And smokes have been utilized to get the breach opened up. Impact on Cyber went out. It was not successful. Wall is open, but it costs so much utility. The one big saving grace, though, hurts is on Bog. JV on the IQ. They can do damage from below and Nate of course you see him he's gonna lead the charge here when we see the fire when we see the smoke that's gonna be attack going minute the on the clock no deaths 5v5 one minute left oh. 
contested by Vinner King, who wins it out. Again on the front foot for FaZe, constantly moving around the map, ready to swing, ready to take that contact, and they get themselves the opening kill. With 50 seconds left into the round, it becomes a little bit more difficult and testing now. For W7M, off the back of that tactical timeout, KZ entering, no way. gets rid of the front map, but it's Guman, and he's just getting lit up as well. Player, no oh way. Boy, hits a headshot. No way. But unfortunately, he's losing team. Oh my god. Oh, what a shot from Nate. 32. So he's in tight. He's in tight. He's in obscuring the vision momentarily, but now dissipates, and they can get the plan. The smoke is out. Souls is low, but he can't find the emplacement. Oh, 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 a double kill. They get rid of themselves. There's the plan from Nade outside of the balcony. He got the plan down. He got the plan down. Wow! Oh my God! This is the that we've seen so much clinical siege has been played but in that moment it just comes down to who can clutch up this is the craziest shit Please i've ever seen map point. The chaos was this is the, the craziest shit i've ever needed. seen keep facing like the blind spot not knowing what's going on exactly Bro. but also great throughout that round for all the way through both bomb sites we got we got a bathroom and bedroom again <laughs> oh. I mean, after that double jump out, who blames exactly. Faze? The confidence is absolutely flowing for these guys at the moment. 6-5, map point for FaZe. You win this round, wow. you're one map away from That is fucking crazy. From taking home the hammer. That is actually there fucking with the swing from Binniking. That's what we've seen from FaZe so successful. Not really even just in Skyscraper, but really the series. And I love the play, the double swing. That is fucking crazy. There was only one win condition there for FaZe. They had to go No, 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 chat. That is actually fucking shoulder. crazy. And boy, did they make it a success. 5-0? Yeah. I mean, the impressive part isn't even... They can't look. <laughs> they can't look. Oh, no. Wait, the fans are this passionate. This is insane. Made. In this map point round, the in fans are this passionate. Could very well beckon. It took. I have no audio. Final round of the opening half of phase to get their one and only map, uh, one and only round, I should say. The W7M now need to emulate that. I know you've already seen it, Nick, but look to the right hand side of screen. The blitz is being. Yeah, can you guys stop saying my audio is glitching? God, you guys are weird as fuck. Trying to extend this all the way. This is it. This shows confidence. If FaZe wins this round, they win map three. We're gonna gamble it all by going on this aggressive chaotic play, and it almost worked last round. I like this adaptation. I think it might even work. But again, the early engagements, the opening kill. What is this psycho doing? Chill. This guy's a psycho. On Cyber again in lounge. He'll play a key and pivotal role in tonight's breach. The clutch drones, perhaps now a little bit more effective for W7M. Good response to the maestro. These evil eyes can now feed information to the attack. That's huge. A great start. But mind you, they're not gonna send it straight to the bombs that just did. They still wanna set up and gain a bit of map. No, 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 no. I run out here, it's punished for the air jab, but nothing happens from that. Able to survive. KZ now to push forward, and it's W7M on the attack. They finally get a hit, and the is deep. Is it the side? Pulls out a pistol. No. KDS in response. Able to rip off his head. 4v4. Back to a 4v4. Four four. Suddenly, it's all even and tied up. 90 seconds left. Oh my god. JB. JB got a kill. The smoke goes yeah, down. Skewers the vision. No fucking. Oh my. Coming through. Faze standing strong. Faze might lose this round. This might go OT. This might. Where's Hurt? They lose the lead pop. It's only down. It's up to Hurt. It's, oh, it's up to Hurt. It's over, I think. It's up to Hurt. I think it's done. It's up. Faze! This is insane. For them. This is actually insane. In that final round, they lost the first pick, but they continued to fight seven rounds in a row. Seven. Seven rounds in a row for FaZe. Nick is exactly why in that opening half, even if Bro, like nothing nah, to W. Nah, nah, nah. We Mods are predictions on map four. Wait, what's map four? Does chat know? Anybody in chat know? Map four is so important. Yo, get Jesse on the mic right now. No, no, no. Every other commentator shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. Get Jesse back on the mic. When that game was five to one, this is what Jesse said.
that one round might have been all FaZe needed. He, then he pulled up their stats. He said FaZe has won 80% of all of their skyscraper games. Bro, this is like the... Get Je no, no, I don't want to hear any other commentator. I just want to have Jesse on the mic. Put Jesse on or we not listening. Put Jesse on or we not listening. I don't care. Put Jesse on or we not listening. Jesse was right. Jesse was right. W Jesse in the chat. No, he was right, bro. First of all, Fabian, looks like the defense was quite favored on here. You know, sometimes the three-time world champion can be correct too when it comes to predicting how the gameplay will play out. However, it's not as... I didn't he tweeted me? He tweeted me? <laughs> on God, on God. Both sides, they were actually very smart. They both swapped out the three fail attacks to Monte. That didn't Did he help. actually? I think Vita King mispositioned himself for face a little bit, and he just didn't want to play off at all for W7M. But other dude, than that, dude, he was right. Nah, no, he was right. He was right. <laughs> Yo, I, I fuck with Jesse a lot. I fuck with Jesse. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, chat. Yo, listen. Dude, I don't want to hear any other commentator. I'm gonna be honest. He's the only guy I listen to. Chat. Yo, that is the new R6 analyst. I don't care. There's yo, that is the new R6 analyst. It's got to be Jesse. It was five one. He said that's the only round phase needed. He said don't count these motherfuckers out. Where's Jesse at? Put Jesse on the mic. Put Jesse on the mic right now. You know you might know him as a small player. He's very far from. Do you realize how crazy it is to predict who's gonna win when they're losing five one? Put him in an edit. No, put Jesse in an edit. TikTok editors get to work. He does mostly is he doesn't make mistakes. TikTok editors get to work right now. Defense especially. What I see from him is put him in a edit, bro. Put him in a edit right now. Put him in a edit. Mod him. Fuck it. Give him the channel. I don't care. How he positions himself inside. Bro, that was insane. No, that was actually crazy. For holding, he rarely makes any mistakes in his position. Bro, put Jesse on the mic. And that was making it really difficult for W7M because if you yeah. have these players that continuously move around and continuously pressure you when you're trying to attack the building, it makes it really difficult. And finally, that's insane. Hey, no, that's insane. Clutch, please take it away. There is the one attacking round one inside of the map was obviously FaZe Clan. They got it done 7 5. And it's just a 2v2. And I think Handy is the guy that has stepped Glazer. In. <laughs> Especially in those clutch moments. That's what you want in a grand final. That's ultimately. Chad, I have to, bro. He made a, a spot on prediction. Now, to add on to Fabian's point earlier, where he said about the defender sided, we talked in the pre match about how. Chad, I'm telling you, bro, half of comp is just about what maps you're good on. And, like, bro, half of comp is knowing, is knowing what maps you're good on. And knowing what maps you're bad on. I swear to God, that's half of it. He did that, and that's what won the round. You know, I've fallen so much. So every time I laugh, it's a fake laugh. Cool, ban everybody. Every time I. Why do I even have to say this? On God, that was a real laugh. Perfectly. But just okay, border, bro. Border could go either way. Border could go either way. Vita King stepped up massively. I think, especially on the defending side. I just love watching them play because they are all so good players. They might not be able to back up. So Chad, every time I, every time I laugh, it's a fake laugh. So well fake the laugh number 15 for today. Hi guys, you're banned. Yeah. Bro, can we get Jesse on the mic, please? It's my one request. If we'd have gone through overtime, we might have been playing till next <laughs> My one request is that Jesse's on the mic right now. So, in a way, I'm kind of glad we got it done 7 5 there, because unlimited OT, with the way these two teams were defending on that map, it'd have been a long time. It would be a happy day if we get one. Send it over to Jesse, please. Send it over to Jesse. Send it over to Jesse right now. Send it over to him. Getting to a point where you're just trading bullets one after you. Glazing with a fake laugh. Perfect map. The perfect situation. Did FaZe just win that round? Just got back. Yes. But that was. FaZe was losing five to zero and won the fucking map. Grayson, think of the five gifted. Kind of expected any big surprises before we close this map out, Fabian. No, as I said, I think the map played out kind of like expected. That was actually ridiculous. With the Ying ban, it's very, very hard to be able to pick apart these entry points. And that's what we saw. They maybe got into the first room or into the first hallway, but very rarely did there be an effective attack where we got with manpower advantage to the next step. And that's kind of what you need sometimes. You need a manpower advantage because the onion that I call every layer of the defense. It's so impenetrable with all skyscrapers. Thank you, Shrek. Bro, this is cr this is gonna go map five, I think, dude. <laughs> Get out, Fair enough. Swamp. dude. Fair I think enough. this is gonna go map five. It's like when you don't have that yin, you can't go for these fast explosive takes that we've been seeing so much in the. Chat, am I crazy? Really standing out because we talked about it in the pre-game or the pre. I think this is gonna go map five. You know, five. is really nice. It can be a really big win factor, but if you have these explosive takes, it can be a way bigger win factor. 
Like, I don't know, man. I just, in a map like this, where there's, there's so equally matched, right? These two teams, the strategy, the map, everything. It's just about moments where players step up. Yeah. Andy got it in that map, and it's just been incredible. Well, 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 there's over 370,000 of you that are watching this, plus the 10K here, and also a wonderful bunch of people. 370,000? Wait, and it, all the predictions. wait Let's actually? They, did. they love this game just as much as you do. Hey How do you check? Unfortunately, this year, not all of the days were able to make it to Sao Paulo. However, we are still watching the games here in Montreal with you. Thank I'm gonna filter my category. Wait, there's 370,000 people watching. Are you guys fucking serious? Bye, Brazil. Hi, everyone. My name is Renal, and here's my prediction for category again W7M. I would say. Where's category at, chat? Where's category? Browse. Oh my god. W7M is gonna win. W7M will win. Gosanek. I think it's gonna be W. What the actual fuck? Is plan versus Burgess Pro. 300? Yo, yo, yo. I think Face Clan will win two Holy zero. fucking Faze shit. Win first demo. I think Face is gonna win two zero. Yo, I really what? I want to see a great Brazilian vibe, so. Bro, that's actually face. insane. That's actually insane, dude. No, 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 that's actually insane. I was right. Face won the game, but congrats to both teams. Yes, I was right Bro. again. It was tough. It was really, really tough. But Light I mode? to do it. GG. Easy. I will be rooting for them in the final. Let's go Brazil! Alright chat, FaZe is winning 2-1. to one. Please be Jess. Yeah, of course, 10 minutes. 10, mi 10 minutes. 10 minutes? What am I going to do for 10 minutes? TTS Q&A? TTS Q&A chat? What are we thinking? Vise, you down? Haven't done DTS today. Chat, TTS Q&A, what are we thinking? Let me turn this on. TTS Q&A chat, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? 10 minutes, bro? I get the TTS on. Have us do 200 bit minimum. Bitch, I'm high as fuck. 200 bit minimum. 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 All right, get TTS on. I'm not doing clips right now. Oh my God, wait, what? What the fuck? Hi guys, what is the Okay. Uh hi guys, what the fuck was that, bro? Okay. Alright. Shorts cheered 200 bits. Why are you so fat also and stream five hours is too long for a part-timer? So, okay. So when I stream for less than five hours, it's a problem. When I stream for more than five hours, it's a problem. So is streaming the pro should I just Should I just quit? What do you want? What the fuck do you want? Yes. Yup. Nice, bro. So, okay, so if I stream for over five hours, guys, come on, man. It's TTS Q&A, guys. We got eight minutes of this shit. TTS Q&A, let's get it going, bro. Also, Bet your channel points right now on FaZe or W7M. You got literally 10 minutes to lock in your bet. Sweaty boy, Brad, cheer 200 bits. Love you, Jungo BTW, when is Kai? Was he about to ask, when is Kai versus Queso? Brother, man, that was over a month ago, dude. That was like 43 days ago. That was literally like 43 days ago. Jinxie birth Shroud. This Sunday. 8.30 p.m. EST. No. Jinxie birth Shroud. This Sunday. 8 p.m. EST. Chad, am I winning? And be honest. Chad, do you guys think I could beat Shroud? And be honest. Be honest, too. No. Hell no. Menace for Envy's Edge here 200 bits. Jinx, can you run frag and not support today and carry everyone down? Yes. Today I'm not playing support. Today will be the first, because I'm not, because, okay. Because I'm playing against Stompin' and because Stompin' dropped me, this is a personal game. I'm going to play, for the first time ever, frag. 
either Lou or Skor can play support because I'm not doing it. This one's personal. This one's personal. This one's personal. XST Force, I cheered 200 bits. If you could change one thing you did in life, what would it be? I wish I worked harder uh, in soccer when I was like really good at soccer because chat's going to say cat, but um, I was really good when I was young, but then I like stopped grinding. Ungrateful. Nice. Cap. Okay. Good at eating. All right. John Tavio's cheered 200 bits. Do a twerk stream. I'm not doing a twerk stream, dude. Dude, I'm not doing a twerk stream. Let me let me DM Jesse on Twitter right now. I just gotta tell him he's the go to this shit. <laughs> nah, that was actually sick. That was actually sick. That was actually sick. Calling a five one comeback is like actually crazy. W, w analyst five hundred bits. John Cook, can I get a twenty piece and a large fry? I don't even have the McDonald's headset anymore, dude. I don't even have the McDonald's headset anymore. It's literally, bro, I don't even have the McDonald's headset anymore, bro. Jesus Murphy, man. These are literally like HyperXs. Wipe your mouth? Why zero Mama cheered 200 bits? How many rounds did you go with Brecky? All right. Chat, can we like two? <sighs> so weird, bro. Chat, can we... Uh... Like, chat, any questions? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, meaningful, good questions. You know what I'm saying? Any, um, like, you know, any, any the thing. The Reel cheered 200 bits. Junko, what is your salary at McDonald's? One more McDonald's comment and I'm turning off TTS. I'm not even wearing the McDonald's headset anymore. These are hyper -access. I'm not even wearing the McDonald's headset anymore. One more McDonald's TTS. And we're wrapping up this. We're wrapping up the fucking TTS. One more. One more, bro. I'm telling you, one more. Fair fucking Jay, Dory on the porch here, two hundred bits. Mail is win fandom. Did you just say mail is win fan? Okay. Dude, fan mail is at eight p.m. EST when I'm back home. So tomorrow. You guys are such cornballs, bro. Dude, I can't, bro. Chat, what are the odds I stream tomorrow and be honest? Because I have to fly back. I might be tired, bro. Chat, what are the odds I sleep, uh, stream tomorrow and be honest? Zero percent. It's slip cheer okay. 200 bits. You hear she got banned on Twitch? Yeah, I, I was told Ricky got banned on Twitch like 10,000 times. Hi, guys. What did he say? Text me. How much text me? What, what did he say? Did he say like some crazy shit? Dude, because I like, I wasn't even, I didn't even, I like closed out of Twitch when I ended my stream. What did, have I text me what he said? Hi, man, baby. Let's cheat and cheered 200 bits. What was your fave part about Queso coming over? Favorite part about Queso coming over is that like when you meet him, he's literally the exact same person off stream as he is on stream. That was my favorite part about meeting Queso. He is literally the exact same person off stream as he is off on stream. He's just a normal fucking dude. Wait, have I sent it? That got him a 30 day ban? There are not cheered 200 Bro, what? Watch clips. Five hours, by the way. 
Stop reminding me that it's... Guys, I'm not like some part-time streamer that just waits to end stream. Dude, no, I'm not, bro. I'm not some part-time fucking streamer, dude. Three one and eight cheered two hundred bits. Clapping cheeks yet, fat so. Okay. Like seriously, dude. Bro, every time we do a Q and A, it's just Jinxie, you're fat, or people are ordering nuggets. That's literally it, bro. If there's no in between. There's no if ands or buts. There's no gray area. It's literally I either get called fat or people order nuggets. That's it, bro. Also, chat. You guys actually think Shroud is gonna beat me on Sunday? Like, like, let's be real for a second, dude. Cool. Shroud has better aim than me. I don't give Bitch a. Tuna J cheered two hundred bits. Hey, Jaluka, love your brother. Are we gonna get sketch on the podcast? Chat. Should we get Should we get sketch an episode on the on the Jinxie podcast? He is coming over soon. We could. I think we do. I think we do get sketch on the podcast. Sketch, baby. I think we do get sketch on the podcast. Okay, it's starting in 30 seconds. We've got time for like one more TTS. Shroud is not beating me, bro. No, Shroud is not beating me. Parag 1 GM on the Scorch here, 200 bits. What's your go to pub sub or the Jolgo? Ooh, buffalo chicken tender sub, marinara sauce. Um, marinara sauce. No, my bad. Sorry. Buffalo chicken tender sub with the buffalo sauce. Uh, Parmesan or provolone, but you got to melt it and toast the bread. And I think that's it. Just chicken and cheese, bro. So good. Dude, I can, now I want to eat a pop sub so bad. Bus okay, we're back. All right, TTS off, TTS off. We're back. Why are you on the West Coast? We're, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're fucking back. Let's go. Where's Jesse at, man? Three is done. That is Face Clan with the advantage. What can we do on our third map border? That's the next piece of conversation. But first, where's Jesse at? What has gone down between the two brothers? Handy versus Nade. Jackers, please. Yes, yeah, so this is the big one that you all want to know about. It's not the grand final. It's not the. There's no way his gamer there. tag is Handy. It's <laughs> getting the better of bro. the other brother in direct <laughs> This is across the first three maps. They've been in bro, seven bro, bro. Handy has been winning them out. Oh, hey, can we talk about his gamer tag? You in this game, right? <laughs> Absolutely. You his gamer with tag is handy, bro. Game, Come on. Right? Big hug, brotherly bug, brotherly hug, a bit of trash talk. That's you know not what? a There's fake a laugh. In Yo. the server, love that is the realest laugh I I put aside. And now on to map number four. Border. Anybody with an advantage here, numbers wise, and well, I mean, if we talk about face on this map, it's not been a great map for them historically. The last time they played it was picked against them by two, G2, but they actually won that map. Now for W7M, they played this map yesterday, and that match had everything. The full-on OT against Winnersboro, the comeback, the crowd buff, it's definitely a map that they'll feel way more confident on. Yeah, it's definitely a map they're going to feel comfortable on, and it's very different of a yeah, map. Yeah, it's now I don't even want to laugh, bro. I don't want to laugh at you. You guys just say it's fake every time. Your favorite side. Yeah. Even if the defense it has more win rate on it. I still don't think that that is what is going to happen. Bro, can we let Jesse uh, get his two cents in? Game. I want to know what Jesse Those thinks is going to happen on board. Aggressive board. individual plays, which W7M have a slight edge on. So I, th I think the map fits them a lot better. Comfortability, as we say, and going to be a lot higher. It's going to be a really good game, though. The curious thing for me is how W7M are going to back up going up against Vatas Pro on this map yesterday. Yeah. Uh, kind of slow, more, much more methodical team. And then going back against FaZe today, they are obviously going to be faster, a little bit more aggression and in the face, which is what W7M is used to. Laugh. No audio. Bro, for, what? For the yesterday. And I think... One of the big things is the Yo, chat. realistic. Best thing. clip of the day. The, the, the big Best clip of the day was Vita King's 1v2 clutch where he did this. That was the best clip of the day. He 1v2'd and did the salute. That was the chat. Can we all agree that was clip of the day? That was best clip of the day. Because we only have the first room to defend. Do we agree? Do we agree? Site. And that's pretty much every single bomb site in the yeah. entire map. So we're going to see so much contesting from the That was best clip of the day. As as no. Close to the wall, no. The wall, okay. The windows, the doors. Didn't ask. 
right inside of it. Coffee, you're so weird, You would weird, hope bro. that the Berserkers <laughs> are doing so effect, though, because this is their last dance with their org, something we haven't really what talked about didn't ask? too much here, but, you know, they're facing a potential map match point against them, map point against them, rather, so they really want to make sure they push it all the way to that final act so they can enjoy this last dance for as long as they possibly can. Absolutely, and actually, since we're talking about playstyle on Bank, and you like, or sorry, on Border, you likened it to Bank. Wait, the final map the is Nighthaven Labs on if board, it goes there? Forever, what can we expect? Oh, I mean, well, it's Cyber we're gonna he's become synonymous with the book in terms of the operator he's absolutely loving it i think you know the the way that both teams will play it is they will utilize both the horizontal aspect and the vertical aspect together at once when they're attacking it but obviously that creates gaps in where people are and refresh situations so it's all about reading them when you're inside the map there is one thing i want to put my finger at right now and that's the pressure that Evolution Summon M is going to feel in this map because we're heading into will they be able to start their dynasty for real or will they fall short? And at this Fake point laugh. in time, All right. you need individual performances as border. That's going to be very hard because now the pressure is going to come to them. They might miss shots. They never. Shit, I'm not getting first round. And it's so so important that they don't. And get off your phone. Get, get off your phone. Yo yo chat. I never get on. I never. I chat. I never get on my phone when I'm streaming. Whenever, whenever my mom texts me, I'm going to respond. Bro. Have to. Things we've seen so far in this tournament is those plays with Capital and the Absolutely. bullet holes. We've seen that before in Cease to be to force fake. The all right, position okay. behind that banana desk. Cat, I would really want to see that kind of creative pre, pre Lou getting paid to sell. It's not going to work. You know, Lou would do coffee. You know, he would. Three attacks. Lou would sell for like $50 cash out. Miserably, both teams decided to go for a monkey pick to three. Can we unlock our opponents by forcing them out with pressure from Monte? Border is not that map at all. You can't really do it. We did see it from W7M, but I don't think that Monte is great on this map. Will we get an extra map or not? Our game is ready. Whoa. Yes, every team's won that map. Yo, Jinxie, will you date my mom? She's single. Please. I am not gonna fuck your mom, bro. I, I swear to God, that is not the first time someone has asked me to date their mom. Dude, I'm not gonna date your mom. What is wrong with you? Yeah, all year long, it has been the story of W7M. Two majors have been won, and two hurdles have been collapsed, unfortunately, for FaZe in both of those yeah. majors. That final hurdle, like what? once again, ever present in front of them this time around. Can they get over it? Seven rounds in a row to close out that previous map. They look indomitable at the moment but border is w indomitable w even a word chat please fact check that please fact check that is brewing is indomitable even a word there's no way that's a word there's no way that's a map for aggression w7m they are that team i still think they have an itch are we going to map five that's not a word i think we are give it to me i would love nothing more than to go all five maps phase though would love nothing more than to claim the hammer for themselves dude yeah and then whoever wins gets to lift the hammer it's actually dope as fuck bro this shit happens once a year bro it's sick well is this last dance about all right chad map four I'm gonna, while they're banning off, I'm gonna grab a Gatorade. Now on the bridge, or I think a water actually. Of succumbing. Talks Map four chat. Legacies <laughs> forged and created here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, only to be denied by the team that has been in their shadow all year long. Semi-final after semi-final, loss after loss for FaZe Clan, but now find themselves one map away from the ultimate glory. One map away. One team feeling the hammer getting so much closer, and one team feeling like it's slipping away. We spoke earlier about target bands. We didn't see a whole lot of them so far, but now things, right, as this was a five are getting a bit spicy. All the right, first right. Twitch ban from W7M, the first glass ban from FaZe. Let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go. FaZe versus W7M. Like most of the maps. Typically, you can play your normal pace. FaZe game too big. It is? Speed. On most maps, you can then slow things down. No, it's not. Very nice. Phase versus W7M. Map four. 
faster, if anything else. That's where the class If FaZe wins, you know it's over. Class if W7M wins, it goes to the final map on Night Haven Labs. Three million dollars on the line. Over 300,000 live viewers. It is indeed showtime. ...information that she is typically allowed to feed on a map like Border with vertical play... It is indeed showtime. ...supreme. So the it is indeed showtime. Let's jump in to round number one. Well, Let's go. FaZe Clan, job done. They've won their own... Love this castle play here. Love this castle play. Love this castle. opportunity to do the same here on Border and send us to a decisive fifth and final yeah, map of Night Haven three. Labs. They must win this map of Border. If they are seconds, to begin a dynasty, they need to now fight from the brink of elimination. The biggest task this for it. this year's biggest team, and dare I say, one of the biggest teams this is for it. a very, very long time. This kind of dominance is <coughs> rare to see and rare to come by. Base, start on defense. I swear, bro, the first round is so important. The first round is so important. Unfortunately, missed keep a barrier by Cyber, but don't be similar them. We see their lineup. It has aggression, it has soft destruction, but still also JV on the Nomad wanting to lim limitate, or limit rather, how much aggression face can apply. Chat, map 577 match point. That's all I gotta say. That would be, that would be nutty. That would be nutty. So often it's a challenge here on border, but Philippe Pox is already probing down Bert, Bro, I think border could go either way. Flushes out handy, and that's at least a small win for the attack. Now remember as well for W7M, they're a very fast-paced team when it comes to end. Oh shit, oh border. shit. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought that for a second. Clip that. Clip that. That's the same result. Still, the peaks do continue to come through. Oh, he didn't get the kill. Okay, I'm tweaking. Oh shit. W7M starting off hot. W7M starting off hot. Oh shit! Trying to take this very early contact fight again. Cyber top middle lost his fight as well. W7M over here. Mess around on border. So for the one versus three, does almost get the kill onto her. But more wow. Rally, Was that a fucking 4K from Keys? Was that a 4K? And the round streak put to rest. Oh, 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 oh. Phenomenal. Was that a fucking 4K? How do they get in the map? How do they apply pressure? How do they get that entry? Oh my god. An almost immediate response compounds into a round win. That's actually ridiculous. I mean, it's been said already on this broadcast. W7M certainly have got more fans in this arena. Yeah. Bro, that's actually now, fucking the ridiculous. Are probably wanting to see them complete the Bro. from this position down He starts off with a 4K? We want more scenes. Who did y'all bet on? Five. We want to create history. Yo, map five, seven, seven, match point would be like the ideal scenario. For like me just watching. There's a big break we had there between Skyscraper and now here in Porter. You're thinking, okay, maybe teams will gotta get back into it. Warm back up. No, 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 no. Off the rip. Less than 60 seconds in. Wow. Three kills. Four kills for keys. Holy shit. You know that this is exactly how the series ended in Max Over Time. With Dude, there are fans praying. The this is how passionate this is. They have what it takes. This is so passionate. Every single attack amount if they want to. Wow. You teased me, lads. I was gonna save this fun <laughs> fact for a little bit later. Uh, this is but so with the passionate. Of the side of maps, it has been a long wait for all five maps to be played at a six invitational grand final. The last time it happened, the infamous event of 2018. We all know how that one ended. Perhaps there's another coming. Wait, I just realized it can't go 7 7. There's unlimited overtime. I just realized that. There's unlimited overtime, Chad. Oh my god. Shutting down FaZe's structure. What they care about, that's been taken away from them. Yo, you guys have been saying no audio for the last hour. It wasn't funny an hour ago. So just over two minutes on the clock then, and Herds will continue. He's march forward, always looking dangerous, but it's elsewhere. Oh. Vidiking, detention, he's will contest, oh. and it's detention where he Keys will is die. Cooking. It's the pistol uh, chat, Keys is 5-0 right now. Drone work good from Herds. Keys has the keys. Keys is 5-0 right now. Over towards Armory. KDS wanting to get aggressive over towards that desk position and locked in on the back side of... Audio might not be on. Maybe no audio. What do you mean, maybe? You either hear it or not. Okay, he's 6-0. Oh. 
Okay, this guy's 6 and 0. Okay, this guy's 6 and 0. Uh, chat? Damage onto Nate confirmed. Over a minute remaining in the three versus three. Such a good right is there. He knows he can get there. Let's go on. Can't get flashed up. And Casey, he's inside now. Oh, God. Se seven and up. He's seven and up. Happened. Should never have happened. He's seven and up. Happen. And these pivotal moments can be so decisive. What? Does he see an A-Pop get the kill? The plan will go down. He's going for the eighth. He's going for the eighth kill right now. And that's KZ down the danger man. Handy will be forced to drop. His brother on the other side, coupled with Billy Box, this will look Candela time. Brother versus brother. Maze versus Handy. These guys are actual twin brothers, like actually. Down the corridor, the first shots. Wow. And then the Keys has gotten seven of their ten kills in the last two rounds. Yo, that's actually fucking ridiculous. What kind of team performance? Seven of their last ten. When they're on a map that they're familiar with, seven of their last ten. Thrive on. When they first came to tier one space, they revolutionized how every single team they played Chalet. <laughs> Yo, FaZe called a timeout. Oh shit, they're scrambling. They're scrambling. Chad, I don't know. Chad, I don't know. Chad, I don't know. 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 What do you think about that? Is it too early? No, I am the biggest fanboy of early timeouts. Get ahead of the problem. Yeah, sure. Attack our favorite. We're expecting the They pulled a sky rehost. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. Just like leave the game. Yeah. You should allow them. And also. Like to go smoke weed in the garage for 20 minutes, bro. Scared of losing that hammer, right? Because you're one map away. Yeah, I mean, you say it's like a side, but it's yo. I don't want it. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but bro. Just leans itself to be a little bit more favorable for the attackers. It would just be 10 times more entertaining if it went map five. Like, I don't even care who wins. It would just be more entertaining if it went five five map seven seven rounds. Nighthaven Labs. 7 7 finals, map 5. Final I would nut on my pants. If we get there. For now, though, our focus Bro, is our 6 would peak at like 400k viewers. There is easily. so much hope in their hearts that W7M can go the distance and force us to that fifth and final map. <laughs> there has been five maps played in an SI since 2018, but the default nature of those open. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I don't know. Five maps played logistically since 2018. This would be history made. When WCM played VP on this exact game, High Vibes, really, dude? Overtime, 8 7 in favor of WCM. Alright, High Vibes. I'm not saying that should be the expectations here, but it means that both defense and attack are equally positioned at least when WCM are involved. It comes down to execution. Dude, the audience is singing Carnival. Listen. It's been so damn dangerous so I can't hear anything. Go, go, go. Yo. I can't even the other one who hears that, bro. Hop in, JV. Yup. See up, JV. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that Azami strat. Wait, that is a disgusting Azami strat. Big thing you're thinking if you can shut down Casey's confidence. Bro, that is actually a dis. Right now, he is in a world championship Casey form. He's breaking records in terms of kills. Seven kills in two rounds. He is feeling himself. He's going to go for every engagement possible. Oh, Nitro over the top. Doesn't land. Meanwhile, JV92, all those summons really effective. Creates lines of sight. Able to do it with the castle barricades. Opening up opportunities for the attack. I will say though, they haven't really got a lot of map control right now. Still around that balcony business. Only just like ah! way in to break. I think we'll make it. Oh, you, trade. But a trade immediately from Vidiking. Able to bring it back. And then KDS though loses out to KZ. Oh, 
speed. They make entry. They've got security control. Suddenly, corridor control. Three left on site for FaZe and Bitterkin very low. They cut off the bomb side because they got breakable control. Now there's him. You gotta pick a side. Archive. Oh, oh shit. They oh they my they god. Oh my. Dude, they just got. No way, FaZe bring. Yo, 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 yo. Nate now. A one versus three. He has clutch potential. It is doable. Two players low for FaZe, but this would be a one very v three. Nah, it's over. If Nate is able to pull off the impossible. One v three. It's over. Seconds, one close right, tucked in, prone. Does he clear it, Nate? We're in copper. Did he just flash himself? No We're in copper. Position known from Nate goes pro. The vault over. It's Wait. clean. That was Wait. Very low HP. Sol Wait. And Sol is Vidaking. Still time. Wait. Kit in hand as well. It's something. The Goo Mine stepped off momentarily, dislodges his position. Two impacts from Bitter King. And look who's still alive on the other side. It's his brother, Handy. Nay. Oh! Oh! No, shuts down his brother! Oh! The Coming fuck just this, happened? Losing Skyscraper the way they did, do they feel the pressure? Are they gonna be more slow? Alright, well that spot's called Nade now. Nade. We're calling that Nade spot, that desk. That We're calling that Nade spot. The entire time. Shift sometimes as well. Going wow. forward, isolating kills, and again, the perfect read on every engagement. Look at the passion of these oh. fans. 10,000 of them strong in this that is arena. Insane. 10,000 of them, it feels like now changing. Yo, that is it. Bro, the stadium is fucking packed. And as we look down at that stage, you can see the Bro, they sold out 10k tickets. That's ridiculous, dude. It feels like it's just slowly gravitating back towards W7M. But we've already seen momentum swing so far in this series. Think back to Skyscraper, 5 nothing star, W7M. Yes, it was defensive sided. But you can make the argument that here on border, attack is prevalent. So Faith will still have opportunity and chances, but it needs to begin now. The longer this continues, it's not going to be the same as Skyscraper. Four or five attacking rounds here could be lethal. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not playing bad in these rounds, not at all. I mean, they won the last one, technically speaking, but then they didn't. They're holding that same thing, but Hurts looking to advance. Candela's flying in, but we see the silhouettes. FaZe, they've left the area. They don't want to take this fight. Yinging upstairs. I was near. You have to be very confident. Oh my god. It's KZ now. Dueling with Fitter King. Throw your game, bro. Fitter King exposing his elbow. Keys to hold down. Look at this gunfight. Keys is the best. No, Keys is the best. Keys is the best. He is 10 and 2, bro. He's 10. He's 10 and 2. Keys is the king. Keys is the best. Chat, it looks like we're going to map 5. <laughs> Chat. Dude, oh, Keys has 10 Keys kills in four rounds. But this He's averaging 2.5 kills a round. From the aggression, the bro, confidence, the bro, coordination, bro, bro. they go in, the throw, clutches, and Dallas, everything. Look at the shot. Look at the shot. Look at the, the, the second guy. Look at the second shot. Take damage? Oh! <laughs> They're everywhere. Double up. Drop down. Double up. Not a single 1v1 here. This feels like their map. The way they are controlling the pacing, the way they are moving around, four I've to seen it zero, and yeah, not much that Faze can do right now. Oh, Chad, I see that. There you go. Because you know what? At the end of the day. 
He is literally single-handedly bringing this team to map five. It's still yet though a question as to which of He is single-handedly bringing it back to bringing his team to map, so. map five. He is single-handedly bringing his team to map five. Grand finals for Brazil. He is 10 and two right now, bro. Every single time. What better way to ensure Bro, just watch Keys for the rest of the game. He's hot right now. Just watch Keys for the rest of the game. He's hot right now. They played yesterday. They did in a grueling best of three. Went and went all the way. And obviously now still have enough reserves left in the team. Bro, just spectate Keys. He's fucking 10 and 2. The best one and the biggest one all the way. Three more rounds required to send us to a fifth map. They were knocked out in round one. Of the upper bracket. This would be a remarkable. Oh my god, oh my god, what is this guy doing? What? Felipe Pots will fall. He just made the, the fucking play. The are just trying to keep their head up. Felipe Pots again. They, they have to back themselves in now, Faith, on the defense. You cannot shy away. You fall back on a map like Border. You give them map control, and that's something you do not He's dead. Well. He's dead. He walked under the zombie. Trade Good trade, though. Good trade, though. Still, just a one player advantage for Faze. You walk straight to the keep out. Chad, he walked the under the Azami. That's he's so pro But again, the trade is there from Faze. Cyber might be dead, but he's been so good at denying those early engagements on defense so far. It's a worth a trade off, though. Fellabox hurts during the grave. That's your flaws and ace. They don't have all that much strong utility to win this round for their team. Right now, what a drone. What a drone spot. That's Somebody clip that. KZ, 10 and 2, and also the clutch. God himself in Nade, 5 and 1. JV there for support. Still over 90 seconds left. KDS holding a very pivotal position over towards security. He could get overwhelmed. The numbers, the W7 momentarily could be in their favor, but overall, it is still with Oh my God. Top through the window. Flash goes out. KDS feeling the pressure, the pinch. Despite the fact there's still so much time for White. But no shots to come through successfully only from Handy. And again, we continue this trade game. Down to okay, Fa okay, FaZe got this round. 3v1. 3v1. There's no way they choke another 3v1, right? No way. Nade should not be able to stop this cross. You lose this round. You are not. There's no way he wins this. Nade. With belief in his heart, he spots one on the shoulder peak. That's the one. Swing handy. Okay. Face is back. Face is back. Face is back. Cheeky, cheeky, bro. Okay, face is back. Face is back. What a cheeky moment. What face is back. Yep. Is needed it okay. That they did. They come Four to one. Super, really Chat, me personally, I want to see this go to Night Haven Labs on map five. Me personally. But that's just me, though. I want to see this go to map 5, chat. I don't care, bro. I want to see this go to map 5. I don't care. I don't care. Hours for a little bit longer. He finds Philippox early, and he gets traded inside our security as well. And that put his team in the favorable position. My face cam's not glitching. Get off your phone. Okay, I got you, chat. Scoreboard, which has looked dire for quite some time. Their fans now will rise from their seats to cheer their team forward onto a second defensive round. We look back at the replay package, and you can see there from FaZe, formidable, not backing down without a fight. Striking similarity. Dude, I don't know. Here, slowly maybe forming. The 3v1 they round choked round earlier round is going to come back to bite them. Scraper, 5 nothing start, W7M, and then a very crucial... Fake phone? What? Five-hour mark. That for FaZe, that becomes a very crucial round. Ten, they double down, find a second, and suddenly... Chat, yeah, yeah kid, dude, dude. Massive round coming up for W7. <laughs> oh my god. A massive decision here by Faze. This is gonna go map five. This is like actually scripted. This might be scripted, bro. This might actually be scripted. This is going to go map five. Bro, if it goes 7-7... Seven, seven, he missed the impact trick. Wow. He missed the impact trick. It actually has the best attacking win rate. Cyber though gets the opening kill on the JV92. Takes out one of the hard breaches that W7M have brought to the round. Yo, is he trapped down there? Clearly understanding what they need to do in this round. What a first pick. Again, Cyber, world-class player, right? Always putting up that fight, never backing down. And again, W7M slowing things down. Lost one half breacher, still got another hurt though. Recarregando. KZ is probing. He's fallen off that heater just a touch from the start, but still 10 kills. 
in five rounds, not to be understated, a mighty effort. To be fair, now he's playing Flores and Brava, right? Yeah. If he's intriguing, give him entry Reloading. operators, make him shine, because right now, you're slowing yourself down by making him the guy on drones. I don't get that. Now they're gonna fight from behind without that entry power. Yeah. Four versus five. Oh shit! Five, and it's no way! Cyber! Wait, he's still going. Go on, Cyber. Go on. Oh, Alright, you overheated. You overheated. You overheated. You did. <laughs> he just team killed with three million dollars on the line. Chalk it. Chalk it. Chalk the turning. He just team killed with three million dollars on the line. In this great Terry mistake. Dude, he just... up to phase to nah, he just TK with three million dollars. Sorry, on the line. apologize. That was not intentional. Going for the pre-fire. That is fucking crazy. There, but unfortunately, that is fucking Box insane. Is Billy Box, shotgun in hand, making a rotate. Hurts. There's a player in security. He has no idea. KDS just has to hold this angle. And good rain. Good. That's good rain. But that's good rain. But the dream is. Phase might be back. Hold on. Hold on, chat. They're not going to fade into the night. FaZe might be back. I don't know, bro. Team killing is crazy. Team killing is insane. Super clean defensively there, particularly on entry from FaZe. They aggress, they mixed it up. Let's go and have a listen to Jesse and his thoughts here on the first half of Border. Oh my god, he's, he's muted. Oh. For the Blackbeard mains in chat, because oh. we are watching Border right now, and in fact, we're watching Cyber play Border. He's been heating up the last couple of rounds, and his favorite operator on this map happens to be the Blackbeard. He's picked it 50% of the rounds that he's played on Border through the Six Invitational. He loves to play it around the security window. To Wait, is he gonna play it? That top spot. He'll play it front door sometimes. He really enjoys this operator. So, if you're one of the 12 Blackbeard mains in chat, pay attention to the second half. Although Cyber's been doing better, I expect that we have him to close this out and to push it to a map. At five, but there's at least something if you're looking for some neat new operators. He's so well spoken and confident and cool. I can't. Bro. He's so well spoken and confident and cool. I absolutely believe it. He's here for a reason. He's so cool, Chad. He's so cool. He's so cool. I think this is going five. Thank you very much, Jesse. We'll see you. Let's see if he picks Blackbeard. Let's see if Jesse was right. Three rounds away for W7M. Didn't pick Blackbeard this round. And final map, which would be Night Haven. He has aura. I know, coffee. I know. He has aura. He has aura. He does. He does. Can break down this W7M defense. Chat, he has aura. He has aura. He has aura. He does. He does. He does. He does. He does. W Jesse's in the chat. We take a breath. A little bit. Okay. Four two. Run out of steam too early if it goes to a fifth map. All right. King Jesse said to be on the lookout for Blackbeard. He said, he said, be on the lookout for Blackbeard. They have played 27 maps for Oasis Grand Finals compared to FaZe on 19. An eight map difference between them speaks to the energy required and spent by one team. Yet they're still here fighting round number four, trying to get there to that fifth map to have an even best of one for the hammer. The entire crowd is lit up. You guys can't see it at home. Maybe you can actually through the player cams as the wonderful 10,000 strong crowd shows their appreciation for this epic finale to this very epic tournament w7m are on the defense more than capable here on border armory and archives a very strong site can they find a way to maybe put a dent into this ever present momentum that phase is slowly building what is FaZe's plan here? On the defensive side, Whoa, what is this C4? Whoa! He plays the bug, he has to be the initiator for a lot of these opening tools and pushes. Open soft walls, do vertical play, but the gun skill, of course, that's where he really matches w one one-to-one. Importantly for FaZe, this setup hasn't been disrupted a lot by W7M. You think back to the last two rounds, with FaZe aggress, they get the opening pick, the attack fell apart. So he's, in tight. he's in sight, he's in sight, he's in sight, he's in sight! He's dead! He's dead! Nade again! It's like it's written in the stars! Stops that little push that Handy was trying to create in towards archives and it keeps that position held strong. Now for the side of the Cyber gotta kill. Cyber though, gets the kill on the KZ. Oh shit. This is going map five. Chad, this is going map five. In their favor. KDS top waiting. Tries to fight a long angle. 
And Hurd still has a hold in security, so he should be good here to shut this down. Hurt. This is gonna go map five. To try and stop the last two players. Bad rain. Yeah, this is going map five, boys. 1v3, he's so dead, bro. He's so dead. He's so dead. He brings himself back up. What? 20 seconds though. And not much health. Ten souls pull off another miraculous clutch in this map. Well, there's no time. There's no time. Ten seconds left. He picks up the kit. They're both holding sight. They have the angles. No way in which he should be able to win this. Not from this position. W7M defying the fifth round. They will get it. Wow. 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 And this crowd is getting exactly what they want. This is actually gonna go to map fucking five. You guys realize how crazy that is? Look mighty close this is round, actually gonna go to map five. This is not good enough. This is actually gonna go to map. Dude, listen. I'm just gonna be directly the honest. Let's go map five, seven, seven overtime match point one v one. I may or may not grab my motion and grab my pants. Seven, seven match point overtime. And don't forget, Baze, they took that time out very early on. Wait, I keep forgetting. This is unlimited overtime. There's no such thing as seven, seven match points. You have to win by two. I keep forgetting. Moment this is something they only do on the invitation every year. W7M it's better. unlimited fucking the overtime. It's very important to remember that. Just two if this goes away. to map five, it is unlimited overtime. You have to win by two. You It'll keep going for some limited time. It is absolutely insane. <laughs> as the fools continue their rage bro, towards is... round number Dude, eight. Dude, what are the odds it goes map five, Can bro? Phase bro. find a response? We'll wait and see. There was a zero initially teased on the I mean, if FaZe comes back and wins this, bro, that's the greatest comeback of all time. I do not see that I do not see that happening. Not even the fucking slightest chance. How many fans would a team like WCM actually have in Brazil? There's such a new organization, a new name to this And a brother versus brother 1v1? Yes, Handy and, uh... Liquid. Handy and Nade, that'd be sick. I still can't believe his gamer tag is Handy. What's it gonna be like? Face up some them. Who do you think has more fans doing for them? It's the new boys. WCM, they have been trendsetting so many different ways for two years straight. And the fans have been loving it. Wow. It's the local team. The team that also what a Flores. So far over the last wow, their Flores is doing really good work right now. The their Flores is doing really good work right now. That hammer to fill out that trophy cabinet, which is stocked with two major trophies. Back to back major trophies. They're looking for the third. They're looking now for two more rounds to send us to Nighthaven Labs. Handy again. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Will it work out? Oh, no. He gets by. Momentarily. No. He died. That's it. Chalk it. Chalk it. Chalk it. We're going map five. We're going to the we're going to the finale. We're going to the fucking finale. Chalk it. Chalk it. Chalk it. We're going map five. W7M read into it, yeah. they respond, and they hit their shots. Bro, so really oh my god. If Handy had done that play and gotten that kill, WCM, they'll respond by fighting back. That'll lead oh, to the this is crazy, bro. Phase. Because Handy dies, the entire push has been destroyed. You need to flip it now, pick out a new avenue, a new pathway, because the plan is done for. Who's gonna stand up for phase? Down three rounds. Who can make their moment known? Minute and 15 seconds. Time so far has been a real influence on oh. border. Teams not really able to get oh. plans. Vidiking, massive kill yeah, onto JV, on. but Nader Wait, responds. Bernardo, Bernardo, right next to you. Bernardo, why would you stop spectating? Yo, these spectators are so ass. Bro. Now down. Three versus three with 60 3v3. seconds left. Bro, show the angles right. Around, formulate before their eyes. Really solid work, and now through workshop for Vidiking. The fuser in hand. There's 45, 45 fucking seconds, seconds, bro. Inside of workshop, souls alongside, oh. two nades in the pocket. Can these two combine and unlock the objective? 3v3. Still have got vert control. Something to consider for long portion of this round. How did that not kill him? With 30 seconds, How did that not? It's a very critical kill. W7M now advantageous. Vidiking through lobby. Oh. Back and forth they go. He finds the kill. What a that shot. What a shot, Vida. And now on site itself, it's nade. Barry, Barry. This is no support player. He is the clutch king of the moment. Cyber with a pistol. <laughs> Yo, this is going to the pro. And the finale is map five. Find themselves oh my god. The way from sending a 
us to the fifth the finale and final map. map. Bro. There was a Dude, I don't think I can handle a map five. Bro, map five overtime with the unlimited overtime. Chat, it's all a man wants. It's all a man wants, bro. Unlimited overtime, map five. Unlimited overtime. Watch that back, please. Nade barely moved the entire round. Wow. Yet they found three wow, wow, kills wow, around wow, him. Wow, wow, wow. The hatch play, both in archives and the bathroom, with Handy being that pillar in the middle of his team, working Dude, around together. Handy got first Handy hit, being bro. shut down two rounds in a row, the exact same spot. What is unlimited overtime? Basically, you have to win by two. Match. So it'll be it'll start at six six, but let's say you're up seven six, and then it goes seven seven. Whoever wins the next round doesn't win. You need to win by two rounds. You have to win by two rounds. That is how double or the unlimited overtime works. It's a win by two. It's a win by two. Nighthaven Labs. It's gonna be Nighthaven Labs, bro, for the decider. But what could be fucking insane? One of the most epic conclusions that we've seen in such a long time. I would love to run the strats and shit. You know, bro, it almost seems scripted how perfect this is. Or if Tommy they take this map, it almost seems scripted how perfect this is. More maps against phase essentially today. I got it. Last two wow. and a half slash three years combined. Wow. This is them putting up a performance Loading against a back. team that usually takes them down. It was said on the main stage at the start of the day. Yes, phase is strong locally. Six two. But it's the grand stage that W7M shine, and they are shining ever bright here. With a full round lead, now on the verge of creating and cementing history, that fifth map is beckoning. But Faze are not counted out. How are Faze going to get into the map? You didn't walk Last in time here. Top East was occupied. This time KDS will fill that space. Contested over what's nine. Bad rain. It's KZ on oh. Solus, and he gets caught off guard. Side has found himself. Bob okay, middle. FaZe got first pick. FaZe got the first Side pick. Opened up FaZe got the first pick. And a very sneaky push from Cyber because they obviously had to run past the site itself to go up towards top metal stairs. Something that W7M would not have been anticipating. That's an off pace play. He's not supposed to be there in that moment. KZ, of course, thinks it's clear. Handy, stop walking in this door, bro. You've died every time you've walked through this door. What is wrong with this guy? He's literally died every time he's walked through this door. You got to kill your ones that you needed. Slow things down for Bro, it's a 5v4 and their top Stop frag is dead. Reach open those hard this round might go to phase. Their top frag is dead and it's a 5v4. Oh! How Massive. is his aim that good with that gun? Break. And starting to How break is his defense as well. Shots back though from Nate. He's been so clutch. Can he continue yep, to do so here? Yeah, they lost. Oh, the closing so. stages of this fourth map. So yep. Lowe wanted to go for the drop. Couldn't it's going to go 6-3. It's going to go 6-3. For JV92. Player close left. Unless JV and just like pulls some shit out of his ass. Going for the plan. Through the window. Does get the peak. JV92. Oh! Now in the one versus one with red ping information. But he's so low on HP. Vidikin can sit outside and play the post. He's got time, but not a lot of it. On the outside, Vidikin low. Davey can't win the clutch. No, Vidikin wins out defensively. Round. Sound in the post I would have sucked his dick. Outside right of the, the building. Low I would have found the Brazil. He holds that man strong. Right strong right now. Buffets. I would have took him and facial right into my face. And that point is held off. Momentarily, facial, you can like tell how details. much both teams and both players in the one one they want if that moment. It's not about diffusing that, that would have been the craziest thing I've it's ever seen in my seven years of Rainbow Six Siege. This is gonna go map five, dude. To them, Chat. That you have what it takes, map five goes to every overtime. single gunfight imaginable, even, yeah, yeah. believing that you are or will I, be. Like, I don't even finish. deserve this, bro. If map five it's goes over Arch nemesis. Wow. Throughout this map so far, the overpeak there punished by JV92. Damn, that triple the trade insane. from Handy not landing enough damage, but Vidikin, I can't believe Vita wide one like this. That's outside, crazy. Had three flashbangs available as well. Played it very, very well. So I can't believe Vita. Points, though, I can't believe Vita swung it. In like the back that. of the mine, it's a very, very torturously long journey that they still need to overcome. I actually can't believe that. More map points. Oh boy, I wish Foley starting to see this. Chat, I don't know, bro. He's four, bro, he's like 25! Chat, I don't know, that would have been fucking insane. 
it really did not play out the way that anybody expected. Bro, this is gonna go map five, dude. Map points for W7. Dude, this is gonna go map five. Bit of King now on the Montang, as you pointed out, Nick. But it's really strong at being able to get positions like top east stairs. <gasps> He's almost dead. The window of top waiting and take it very low, but didn't lose his life. Well, Bitter King does also need to be careful of these Buck's on one HP. As he does push forward. This has been the issue, though. Buck is on one HP. He's very safe because of extended shield. Whoever is behind him takes a lot of damage. Skyscraper, the third map, sorry. That's what happened there as well. Bitter King is not establishing enough presence to allow the people behind him to succeed. Buck is literally one health right now. They need to kill this buff. They need to kill this buff. They need to kill this buff. Must play around it correctly. Buck is He's one HP, boys. Range. We saw that the thing that's healing him, though. Face of the opposition, exactly. at least not yet. Scala get in there, toe to toe, basically melee confrontation. You know, basically pressure, hip fire, or melee from the monster shield. That's that angle's crazy. Thomas and M, the holding security, but hurts. You got nine That is a disgustingly that's tight angle. To try and fight back. So, just over 90 seconds, and a lot of emphasis clearly on this one tank in allowing the push forward to get some control. Four phase. Oh. Herds under an immense amount of pressure. Blocked. He's on one HP. Somebody help us, army. Somebody help us, army, before it's too late. Someone help us, army, right now. He's on one HP and getting pinched. He's getting sandwiched in his one HP. KZ, trying to get into an angle. Almost found the back foot of that Montang in Bidiki. Now down towards Top East on the other side of this corridor. The swings are coming through. Souls clean into security. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's playing from Oh my god. FaZe is bringing this back. FaZe is bringing this back. FaZe have been able to overcome another map point here. I didn't think that was possible. I thought they got blundered, but no. That's up to Nate in the 1v4. Nate. 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 That becomes the biggest factor in all. Oh, it's clutch almost for a moment. The guard break is strong. Good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! From the Azami! I was looking at the overhead. Chill, 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 chill. He got flamed chill, chill, chill. out from that position. Okay, Didn't have anywhere else to go. Hops Let's out the window. Able to flank from behind if outside. Phase gets a Pure chaos over towards security. But it's phase to ultimately who win out. And a timeout has been now utilized by W7M. Starting to maybe think that a momentum time. circuit breaker is required. Two rounds in a row for FaZe Clan. They want to that would be the so biggest I'm in performance of all time. To close this map out. Yeah, that's exactly it. You don't want to risk anything here. Although I would love an overtime on my hands. Dude. I want that five, Nick. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, right. All the way. But if you double seven M, again, we gotta talk about the Dude, hypothetically, un oh my god, yo, this is actually said they want. Here. We want this the lower bracket intense. magic. And while that sounds like such a Dude, cool like... statement, and then actually you're doing it right here live in the arena, it also five, means it takes a massive toll on your life. There's unlimited so the more rounds you play through, Bro, I mean, the, the score can end up being like 12 to 10. You, you never know with unlimited OT. I'm starting to feel that Three million dollars on the line. You cannot imagine. What these players would be going Three through. Three million There's dollars on the line. Stage. Ten thousand strong chanting for and against. Them. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. But it's phase that have been able to offset. <laughs> <laughs> that drop shot was nasty. That drop shot was, nasty. For doing just that. That that shot was actually nasty. When you understand how far behind it seemed and how difficult of a task that they had found themselves Bro, in. Bro, Chad. Oh my God. Six four. In a row, and so phase started to fight back. Once, you do it again, and it's OT. And that's the thing. It's been so close, even in, like, throughout the entire series, you're always thinking one player... Dude, even if, okay, bro, if FaZe gets this game to 6-6, six, six, this game, too, will be unlimited overtime. It's unlimited overtime. They do this I mean, once a year, only on Grand Finals. see right now, but I saw it before we went to the player camps. Very even from both sides. No player is falling behind. I think it was FaZe, eight kills on top, six kills on bottom, very, very close to each other. Well, adaptation is the name of the game. Odds of you getting a kill in this lobby? Oh, I'd have like probably three or four. Heading into this grand final, and adaptation they must have. 
if they're to win the next two rounds, push this Six, four. into overtime if they want to close it out here on border. They're going to remember as well, Tech Paul's is That is intense, bro. Okay. That's a really big factor here. But Yo, these they, guys are all nervous as fuck. Tactical timeout from W7M, they were able to FaZe still has a safety blanket. If they lose this game, it's 2-2. Kind of W7M cannot afford to lose this game. If they lose this game, they are out of the tournament. I also think the extended break, again, probably is that circuit breaker of momentum that phase was slowly building that is exactly it. and it comes down to which team has the bigger brain right now because you can utilize this as you said sit for yourself and think okay what are the issues what could the solution bro be? i love Anything bro i love the fans and how involved the fans are bro i swear these fans are bro i've seen like 10 different people crying tonight like these are some passionate ass fans bro some passionate ass fans two rounds perhaps it's in pretty stable siege things that we can expect of course explosive aggression big surprises and big clutches but both teams respecting the style of siege saying we're not going to go too crazy sticky but the 10 gifted sticky sticky number 10 gifted jumping up and down are we ready are we ready come on let's get it going what the fuck's the hold up the What's the hold up, bro? Of this, this is killing FaZe's momentum. The best we have ever seen in Rainbow Six. Yeah, and honestly, coming into this, this is killing FaZe's momentum, bro. We had two Brazilian teams. There were some questions. How was the support going? This is to fucking be up FaZe's really momentum, dude. Hero slash bro, these fans the are lit. Outlaid. But in that, there is still massive support for W7M. There is still a large contingency of support for FaZe. <laughs> The crowd is obviously divisive. Oh my god, this is insane. Come on, bro, start the game. So much energy yeah. as we head into another map point round for W7M. Six four. Back, Remember, W7M, this is a must-win game. If W7M loses this game, they are out of the tournament. If FaZe loses this game, we go to the final map, the grand finale on map five, Night Haven Labs. The stage is set six to four. W7M needs to win a round. They need to win just one round. What's your way in? And the answer right now, Gus, they're hovering the bunty again. It worked last round, but it is. Delivery, thank you for the five gifted. Is he spawn peak? No, you're not. Don't you dare. Don't you dare spawn peak. The for well. three million dollars? So What's wrong with you? Is available. Nobody's there. those clutch drones onto the mute jammers, for instance. And in terms of individuals, I feel like Souls has maybe gone a little bit unnoticed. A couple of really good entry kills yeah. from him so far in this game on that Finca, not just providing those adrenal surges, but also able to get some really good headshot kills on the entries into safe positions like security, which are not always easy to enter into. He's been big. Arguably, all of these players have had a moment or two or three in this grand final. No one is lagging behind. Dude. That's the thing. You have played, like, Throw a fucking drone, Souls. Throw a drone. A good game. Put him on something else. He's playing finger, right? Getting those opening kills and doing it consistently. So, Vidiking, Monty, it's been the main target focus, right? But look at this. Vidiking is mostly alone. Bit of a bait and switch here. Expecting, okay, where Monty goes, that's the main focus point. That's not the case. We're going to try to bait know. them by moving Monty in the wrong position, so to speak. Ace in play as well. So, we'll see those additional lines of sight established. The reason why they're KD's reset it's chat was because they rehooked to the lobby. Is from that mezzanine position just makes it a little bit more challenging also puts the focus back on herds we've highlighted him playing the azami those key barriers inside of security are pivotal in holding Minute 45 the map. he holds that for all the fucking marbles slow and steady from behind that montane but kds sort of w7m needs to win this round his way over towards east they need to win this round phase is starting to get a lot of momentum pressure here that they can play behind bit this is where, though, you need to be perfect. No mistakes, because they will get punished for both teams. So a big change here. They're going to go block vertically in combat. Nice, EMP. They're going to ace the long angle. angle. That's really good. That's very good. That makes sight much harder to hold when you ace that wall like that. To office as they go, but Mirab is in their way. Vision there for W7M. Nitro cells are also there for W7M2, in fact, through Philippe Pops and JV92. Bouncing control still established, trying to deny this office push. Those mirror windows are going to be key in Keys. locking down this office position. Keys! Keys! Three kills! Keys is the greatest. Keys is the greatest. No. 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 No, 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 Best clip of 2024. Some of the best aim I've ever seen in my entire life. We're going to map five. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to map five. I hate it. The viewing record was held before now in 2018.
We'll go into map five. History is being made tonight. Legacy. We're going to map five. Ladies and fucking gentlemen, we're going to map five. Best of the year. Wait, best of the year. Chad, we're going to map five. Alright, I'm taking a piss. We're going to map five. Wow. Wow. Okay, we are going all the way. And for now, to the desk. Thank you very much, gentlemen. What a map number four we have had. And this is going all the way. 10,000 fans have surrounded us here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and we cannot wait for that fifth one to begin. Hello, welcome back to the Analyst Desk. I'm Milos with me, our, our fresh Fabian and and We're going to lock things in for our map. We've got a lot to cover before we get into map number five. Let us be very clear. Nade was a hell of a player in this game. Might have been that one clutch that we saw from him, what pushed W7M into map number five. We see the scoreline here, 7 4 of free stick W7M. Would Nate have not had that clutch? It would have been so very close to a potential first overtime in the series. So we're seeing the clutch here. I called it winnable when we were watching this in the talent room, and eventually it was winnable for him. But that is the main thing that we were expecting coming into this map. We needed those individual players on the side of W7M to step up and to immediately carry these rounds. Away. Yeah, we needed that, and if we look at the overall map in itself, I think w 7 Amp's attack, they just kind of bulldozed straight over face. They, they, there was nothing stopping them. The individual performance, I mean, even if we go back to the defense super quickly, like that last clutch, who hits those shots? Absolutely. There's one player in the world that does, and well, he stepped up for it. But overall, it's just, yeah, they bulldozed them. And then I think that the reaction face had for well, we see the replay here, that was fast. Well, it's just three shots that he's gonna hit, and it's just incredible. Headshot after headshot, like, I mean, look at that. This is what I was talking about earlier on in. W7M oh, wow. in the very first map were not stringing those multi-kills together. This is what KZ is synonymous for. This is W7M's main win condition. And when you need that, that steps up in map four. That takes us all the way through uh, to map five. I mean, he doesn't even see the guys no. he kills. He no. just shoots. Fires, bang, bang, bang. And that, especially with the first kill, there is nothing you can do against that. That must be super demotivating for a face, but if that momentum for W7M continues on the fifth map, it might look great for them. Yeah, and if I keep building on the yeah. point I was making before, W7M's attack, they both yeah. them. One moment, then, I'm wiping my ass. One moment. Do not ever drink two cups of coffee in four hours because I have the worst coffee shits imaginable. Oh my god, is diary in through my pants? No, I have no audio. On these two door frames using utility. You take a look at Nate right now, he's on smoke on an Azami right. barrier with gas grenades to burn more time, and then you have Azami and Wamai to burn even more time dragon and statue. Now we take a look at FaZe, they're struggling, they're down 0-3, so they bring the Monty to help them gain that control. And they will eventually gain that control, but they will lose the hard reach DAs in that process, and that's a really big blow because then KZ understands that, and in defense he adapts, he reinforces the wall because they have no hard reach, making the site even stronger. Now we're just a few seconds away from the end of round and let's take a look at just how strong the setup from W7M is. Philippox all the way from Karaoke has a line of sight on the hallway. JV can react to that with a line of sight on his own on Geisha. And Vita King, he doesn't know it, is able to walk into a crossfire. Now he gets injured but the job is not finished. You still have three attackers to remove and JV is in such strong a position here in Geisha because he can deny absolutely everyone of this position with a line of sight here on the rotation onto karaoke window with a line of sight on the hallway with a line of sight on the solo wall on geisha what he needs to do right now is play that position perfectly he throws the gadget here the c4 to burn time isolates the pick on the karaoke window and then uses the reinforcement to isolate the pick on the buck rushing him and finally get the last pick on the last player incredible gun skill but most importantly, from anyone at home right now I've that's playing in strong position, you want so to isolate this 1v1s. And that's you. what he did right. Well, W7M is up anyways. two maps. FaZe is up two maps. The final map that, that will decide who's the world champion is coming very soon. Let's talk about it on the desk.
Thank you very much, Alpha Ma, and we are ready for map number five. Let's they just drop it like it is. Nighthaven, W7M, they won the map. Are they prepped for it? Have they saved it for the right time? Can they do it today? That is a big question, but that is what makes me most excited about this final map as well, because it was the only map that W7M did not play up until this tournament, brought it out, out against G2. Now, the main question is, was that a fluke? Did they win it? Or have they prepped it in such a way that it is championship winning material? I don't think it was a fluke, especially not against the G2. However, it could be a fluke long term. Because if it is a map that they're used to banning a lot, they might not have the strategical depth to go even further now against FaZe. It could be that uh, W7M just don't have more theory on it. So what FaZe saw yesterday is what they will see today, and therefore they know every single counter, wow. every single strat. And that's where we have to see it. W7M is a good enough team to have that depth. Question is, do they? But that's the main question. Was this all that we've seen from W7M, or have they prepped it to that depth? They have these different strategies that they haven't even shown before. Yeah. I think W7M have got big depth in strategy. It's, it's, it, it's the same across every single map. I expect Nighthaven to be no different at all. The one big thing for me, though, is it's the final map of a best of five. Oh, yeah. It, it's a best of one for the World Championship, right? The pressure's on the line here. And when that happens, a lot of things go out the window, right? It's just about the big moments in the game. Who's going to be the person to step up? Who's going to be the one that's going to make that play to drag their team to a world championship? Remember the Handy and Nade brother off that we're having here in this game. It's a big piece of story. It's never happened before, but also it has never happened before that Brazil has lifted a trophy on home soil. Never in esports has it ever happened. And we get to do it here in Rainbow Six. Final question before we go. Who takes it? Just give me the signs. <laughs> I think W7, I'll take the W. <laughs> I'm not the gang members, I don't do the signs. However, I think FaZe will take it. W7M. There you go. You got it. Now I have to be impartial. I guess that that is how it goes. Fresh, Fabian, and Anne, thank you very much. Let us take a quick break. When we come back, we'll hype it up. We'll give you the entire arena here for you to enjoy and take it all in for a final map, number five. There's diary on my chair right now, but we got six minutes. Six minutes until the most important game of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege ever is about to commence. I wash my hands Map five, three million dollars on the line. Started off, started off with a lot of teams, but then there was two. FaZe and W7M, both Brazilian juggernauts of teams. Two of the best teams in the world. And they find themselves on Night Haven fucking labs. Night Haven fucking labs. Let's get it, let's go. Night Haven labs for all the marbles. Night Haven labs for all the fucking marbles. Uh, chat sheets, yes, for five minutes. We started five minutes. TTS for five minutes. Have eyes you down, I'm down. Chat TTS for five minutes. How is FaZe Brazilian, not NA? Um, FaZe has, for R6 at least, as long as I can remember, FaZe has always been a Brazilian team for R6. Rant do. Jinx C cheered one bits. This is a test bit alert. Oh, we got TTS for five minutes. Next time this call goes cheered 200 bits. Junko, please teach me how to edge. I'm not going to teach you how to edge. Chat, I'm going to... You know how life goes, bro. If there hasn't been a single overtime game, I guarantee you, map five is going to be overtime. Map five. Remember, before you bet your channel points, chat, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know who's going to win. I, I don't even know. Both of these teams are fucking disgusting. I'm going to say this right here, right now. I, in my opinion, Ben Dawson 21 cheered. X 1500. Go get your girl off snap. The best, pl listen, the best player I've seen so far, hands down, is Keys. Keys is fucking disgusting. Keys is absolutely fucking disgusting. Keys is the best player I have seen. CHRS tips cheered 200 bits. Hey Jinx, see, I'm a big fan. Love the streams. Love all your content, bro. Keep it's... it up, man. P.S. Can I get mod? 
Oh, I'll be good if I can. Dude, dude, you're not getting mod. It's KZ, not Keys. Well, I'm gonna call him Keys because I'm jinxy and I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna call him Keys. Keys is the best player in this tournament. I don't give a fuck. Be 14 here, 200 bits. Hey Fatty, can I get a Big Mac with no mayo and extra cheese and some nuggets and a Sprite? Thanks, Fatso. Well, TTS is going great. Fat Mitchell three minutes, Chad, three minutes, three minutes into the last map. Fan mail. We're watching the R6 Invitational right now, which happens once a year. And you just asked me for fan mail? We're on the last map. This is it. The last map. Jevro cheered 200 bits. Junkie, I got in a car accident. Help me. So instead of calling, I don't know, an ambulance, you called me. What am I gonna do? I hope that guy's like, I hope that guy's not being serious. What am I gonna do? Why not call an ambulance, bro? Ungrateful. What? Blitz 69 share 200 bits. Jinx, so you are going against Stompin for the first round. How do you feel about that? No comment. It's my son. Stop it's my son. Two minutes, chat. Two minutes, 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 two minutes. Shut that and cheered 200 bits. Junko, it been more than two hours. Did you forget to end stream? I'm not a two hour streamer, dude. I'm a long term, I'm a full time streamer, bro. You guys might say I'm a part time, I'm a full time streamer, dude. Fifth success cheered 200 bits. Shut the hell up, man. I'm a pro Chinese guy. Wait, was that Fat R6? Nice, space station. Yep. Hey, chat. Back to what I was saying. This game's gonna... I'm never wrong. I do want to clear out... And Zava cheered uh, 500 bits. Show headset to end. Turn off TTS, guys. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Jungle girl, lick my pee pee. Yep, that's it. Turn it off. Nope, that's it. Turn. I must turn it off. Nope. Get TTS off right now. Get TTS off right now. Right now. Get it off. Just get it off. Get it off, bro. Don't listen, high vibes. Don't listen, high vibes. Bro, this chat is so weird. 40 seconds. 40 fucking seconds. You got the Grand Canyon on your head. Bro, it looks like Queso sat on my head. This isn't even funny, bro. Um, this is not even funny, bro. Like, dude, this is actually bad. Oh my God, we're starting. Who cares? Fuck it, I'm a gamer. Ah! I'm a gamer, come on. Yes, we're going, we're going, we're going. Go, go, go. Boa noite, Brasil! This is it. This is it, this is the last game. Mal, give me the five gifted. Welcome back to the Rainbow Six Siege Invitational 2024, a record-breaking event. And we are getting the grand final that you could only dream of, Leo. É isso. Estamos aqui. Nossa, desde muito cedo. Horas e horas de transmissão. E eu tô cheio de energia porque a festa está maravilhosa. Estamos a um mapa dessa marreta ser levantada. Ou por W7M ou por Facebook. I want to hold it so bad. 
Just one map separates. I want to hold it so bad. Clan, potentially W7M from Not his penis, this the hammer. hammer. God damn it. In the air, not his penis, the hammer, fans. guys. The hammer. But before we get rowdy, Wait, not his hammer. Oh, my God. Rowdy, the sledgehammer. Let's just make a little bit of magic here in this amazing arena. Can we bring the lights down for a moment? Oh, shit. They're doing like an intro for the last game? This is lit. I want these amazing Brazilian fans to light this arena up for us. Wow. And create a beautiful scene in the Ginásio do Ibirapuela here in Sao Paulo. This is sick as fuck. 8 Wait, horas, 33 fuck. minutos, hora de Brasília. Guarde esse momento, Ginásio do Ibirapuera. Guarde esse momento, Brasil. Vamos fazer uma festa bonita, porque esta festa vai ficar na história dos esportes. Vocês são lindos. Estão nos propiciando um momento maravilhoso. Daqui 5, 10 anos, essa imagem vai girar o mundo. Vamos curtir. Vocês são o motivo de nós estarmos aqui hoje. This is a moment that nobody in this arena will ever forget. All 9,000 of you have made this event the most special R6 esports event of all time. Oh, no, and out. we love you for it. Tiamo Brasil. Can you listen? We're yo, singing. Can we get a we dub Brazil. Brazil in the chat? Proud of it. Yo, 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 yo. Let's bring the lights back up. W Brazil in the chat. Bro, listen. Let's switch I have never seen an audience like get this noisy. ever on an R6 Let's event. get noisy, shall we? I've never think? seen an audience oh, I think it's time ever. for some noise. Ever. Eu acho que agora ever. é hora de fazer barulho. Audience is like actually carrying like half of the show. Agora vamos chacoalhar o ginásio do Ibirapuera. Who will raise the hammer? Oh, Quem shit. vai levantar o martelo? We gotta watch the post-game interviews, too. Do you set the heavy? This is it. This is it, bro. Ou será que a Faze Club vai desbancar? Oh, there's some booing. There's some booing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. W set Jimmy. Let's go again. Vamos lá. Eu quero ouvir a galera. There's some booing, bro. There's some booing. There's some booing. Oh, w shit. Let's get them singing. Again? Let's go. Let's As go. we get into the final map, we got 30 seconds. Let's get them singing. Vamos lá. Antes de começar, vamos todo mundo junto. Afinal de contas, somos brasileiros. Então eu quero de novo. Eu... Sou brasileiro, com muito orgulho. This is so wholesome. The time has come. Our final map away. Vulcan, the, the 10 gifted. Of W7M. Let's find out. This is it. This is it, bro. Night Haven Labs, bro. Night Haven. Chat. Lock in, lock in. Who are y'all rocking with W7 so MFAs? Lock it in right The stage is set. The 10,000 Brazilians on their feet. They rise as one. This is it, bro. No, no, no. This, this is it. There's not another game after this. This is it. Conclusion. FaZe Clan. W7 M. Both desire the hammer. Only one can grasp it. And I don't know if there is historically a better map to do this on. Nighthaven Lab has been WCM's permanent ban ever since introduced to Tier 1 play of Siege. Grim, hiding it Monty, Super Rao. They brought it out against G2 what else they on banned? the main stage. They won 7 to 1 in that matchup. And now, not with banks against the wall, even 2 2 here, anyone's map, they have to play it and they have to win it if they want the hammer. Now we can talk about the band in just a moment. Of course, Rainbow Six, very much a team game, but an opportunity now to highlight one huge individual performance at this event. Herds has smashed Benja's record of most kills at a six invitational. How many? Still one map to go. How He's many? 327. 
We'll see how high he can climb. KZ is one. 327? 327 kills? But we'll track that a little bit later. It's Her not often. Her has 327 kills with a map left. Map five of the SI Grand We have to get herds in 1v1s. Now we have to get herds in some 1v1s. 327 kills in one weekend. For this epic war that has concluded Bro. very shortly between these Bro. two teams. FaZe and W7M, Bro. what a performance. What a final dance that we have had. Three million dollars on the line. Map five, Nighthaven Labs, FaZe versus W7M, Brazil versus Brazil in Brazil. Almost nobody this is it, man. This is it. This is it. With the crowd that we have going all the way to map five, with no one being the clear favor of who's gonna take I'm it. I'm calling it now. This is going In to unlimited minute. overtime. In I'm calling minute. it now. And none of these guys have before. What a moment it will be, whoever the victor ends up being. Fingers crossed. Three million dollars for the winner. Fifth and final map. All right, let's get on the way. Opening round. W7M on the attack to begin, FaZe on the defense. Nate looking to open up main breach. In towards IT they can go. KZ on the IQ can get some very handy information. So far though, so good. For W7M to get this main breach opened up. Good pace here. Of course, two bro ban for W7M means that they cannot stall out here on the defense side of phase. If wall wants to get opened up, it most likely will. Default camps actually not being shot there from the attack inside, but it won't matter. Bellafox jumps back outside. Work the garage here, yeah? Keeping phase guessing as the Work the garage here. Cyber down below. Lurking on the solace. Planting on potential if he's able to roam around and can give a read to the other defenders on the side of phase as to where those drones are coming from. Elsewhere, Philippox getting to work. So a big focus down below oh. from the attack, and Hertz gets caught in a frost. Oh, oh. And also punished as well quickly by Souls. All right, we are not getting him in 1v1s. At the middle Hertz, did you just hit a frost map with three M's on the line? Cyber catches Philippox, caught napping, looking above into the heavens. He just three. hit a frost map with three million dollars on the dot. The start they would have been hoping for. Face gonna play tighter together. Don't expose yourself. Set up those crossfires. Hold the angles together and force the two v one. Very good. Right. Let's get the knock on the salt finished off. Oh, oh, oh my god. A couple of kills. Makes it a three versus two. Casey's still defeated. very low. Needs to make his way through that doorway. In his lost JV92. He's down. Out for the count. And a one versus three. Now back wow. gets shot down quickly. Um. He just hit a fucking frost map, guys. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, he just hit a fucking frost map. W7M with a focus down below. The announcer was so like, he has the all-time kill well. record. Unfortunately got and then two minutes later, he has. Philippox as well, trying to get to work on Buck. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, I don't know, that's not good. Prior. So phenomenal work there from FaZe. W7M off That's to actually not good. Start on attack. Usually for W7M, we see them excel on maps that, of course, they know really well. We don't know how much they've played Nighthaven Lab in scrims or in practice off the camera, but in Tier 1 play, only a single time. So there comes a point here where they are forced in this map in the decider. They are quote-unquote comfortable playing it, but of course, it's not their main priority. So, one I think it's beautiful, but there's a one -oh that they did our world champion war if they oh, by winning this so map if they could do it. And I know at this point in the grand final, statistics probably don't mean a whole lot, but when it does come to this map of Nighthaven Labs, 49% attacker win rate. Oh. And so it is essentially 50-50. It's the only map that's even remotely close to that. Damn. Okay. Yeah, this well, is going to this is going to unlimited right? overtime. You so think of the prize gift. You just said this game is going to go to overtime, right? <laughs> Those might be the words that were uttered, but in a different phrase. One nothing to phase. W7M, now the onus is on you to respond. We go to basement. Reloading. Take an assembly here for the second round. Yep, so those mute jammers being out from handy to stop the wall of advancement. So Felipox, of course, go on the Thatcher for those EMPs. But that's not the main goal. You can't just open up a wall and go straight towards the bomb side. You gotta go for that room clear. It's why the IQ is there. Scan for cameras, scan for gadgets. Valkyries in play. They got two C4s below. They need to be careful on the attack. Just chill here, just chill here. Primary four. All FaZe has to do is just chill the fuck the defense out. Of FaZe they have control of literally to everything right down. now. It's KZ to play entry. Oh, oh he, he falls off. Maybe sends something he didn't like. Andy still holds that doorway. Oh, what? Oh, no. oh, 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 another team kill. 
They're trying First to time in this map. And W7M are down to play early. It's her, it's gone. We're in copper. Disaster struck. I We're mean, in who copper. said you can't get nade kills anymore? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's in the wrong player. Man. Can he make up for it though? Nade. He does. He wasn't the one We're that got that team cage, but he's able to make up for KZ's mistake. Just over 90 seconds left, and at least it's now even again. For W7M's attack, it's slow, but slowly making their way through the map. And positions of which Baze have got the What am I watching right now? That can be cleared. Uh, there's a player in long test. Yeah, Cyber. He's holding with his angle. If he is there, maybe he's come back up the staircase. He might know something's up. I mean, surely he hasn't been droned, right? No logic bombs no, no. available from JB92 oh, to ring out and maybe oh, get shit. They're about to fight. They're about to fight right now. Do they both melt? Do they he both melt? He has no idea. Now he has no idea. Now makes his mark. Oh! He got phones too. He hacked as well. That's huge. Hacking is huge. So a lot of information now available to the attack as W7M bring it to a 3v3. Souls with a massive kill at that very moment. At least keeps it even again with only now 40 seconds remaining w7m looking to now make their way towards site cyber's giving away his life and he's giving away information can w7m capitalize upon it 30 seconds all three players for phase certainly on site now no one up above no real vert play either really in this round it's all horizontal no time they have no time they don't have any time but the kid in here, no he's still got barbed wire. 15 seconds, guys. Time seconds is so urgent now for W7M. Handy. At this point, phase, they can start to swing if they want. We're into red time, and the barbed wire will stop. That's kicked down. Handy, though, is also down. They need the kills. Gas paper for now. It won't be enough. KC needs to go massive here. One second at a time. W7M, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this right here, right now. Pull your head out of your fucking ass. There's $3 million on the line. This is the last map, the grand fucking finale. Herds walked into a frost mat on round one, and then on round two, KZ grenaded Herds. Can you guys lock the fuck in? You've got 27 seconds. You got no breaching charges. You gotta punch the barricade nine well. times. It gives so much intel that there's a player in there. You know it's well. who's one because you can count the punches every well. single one. One, two, three, all the way to nine. It's so predictable. It's readable. The face to shut it down. Look at that. Oh, oh, through the drone hole. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, as well, Cyber caught on that flank. Obviously, yeah, exactly. guys, then gives away the tablet. It gets hacked. And that information, I think, really did aid Faze is up too well. temporarily, but unfortunately, with time bleeding, they could have up too well. upon it. So far, this series, this grand final, Faze is up has too well. been about swings and momentum. Yeah. So far, a great start for FaZe, but we know at some point W7M will make a comeback. We know that they will be able to have a bit of momentum themselves, so it's very important for FaZe, I guess, to extend this lead. They cannot allow W7M to get back into this early on. 2 nothing start. More importantly, no tactical timeout has been taken. We've seen that quite a lot in this grand final. Two rounds, three rounds in, where a lot of these tactical timeouts have been taken early by the team losing early. No, you're right. And the thing for me is that, and this is like easy to say, right? There's not much merit, but like we haven't seen the key players of him to like fire up right now. KC 1 and 2, Hurt 0 2. These are your typical entry players on the attacking side. If they're not getting anything done, that usually is the reason why things are not going well for them. Well, the Ying has made it through the ban phase. So we'll see if W7M and KZ specifically is able to get value from that execute operator. Herds as well with Jackal, and he's found information down below. Herds is getting aggressive. Oh! oh his own item, no! Herds is dead time. again! Four and one, what a start for KDS. Belipok, shoulder peak. Oh! Ooh. Headshot from Belipok, needed that in the right Ooh. side. But Cyber wins that battle for the quick trade. No. Despite the fact that he got that kill onto KDS, Cyber was close. Now top blue for KZ. A little double stack through the draw, uh, doorway, but a drone. At least in the middle. You gotta help him. Now the wall from KZ, which oh. Is oh, KZ. Oh, this guy's disgusting. This guy's actually disgusting. Haven, but now an opportunity. And JB can pound on that set opportunity. Down to just Cyber and a one on three. Three to go for the revive. Oh. Alex to go for the nitro. I don't oh. think he's gonna pull this one. If he does it. Two to one. Ah, okay. Speak up, Chad, this is going overtime. This is going overtime. Trust me. 
Yes, the Ying is in place. Is that so Sledge? Over the ben phase. It's going over time. 100%. That's not the key story. It's the gun. In 100 the fucking hands. percent. Someone this like is Hertz, going OT. Someone like KC. This is going OT. The match, any attack around. And now oh, in yeah. particular, this is going that 2K OT. really opened things up quickly for them. Bro, it literally seems scripted, bro. It actually seems well scripted. Truly. Continue to erupt. Good rain. Look at the game. Had some reason That's good rain. That's good rain. Final on almost every single map. So no surprise. Chat. Hertz has gotten first pick three rounds in a row. Here in this one, Brazil is making its presence known in this stage that is now heard worldwide. But how amazing this crowd has been. This. Grand final has matched it. Left before insertion. Dude, Hertz has gotten first pick three rounds in a row. He's actually kind of tossing right Five now. Seconds remaining. That's all I can he see. He can still turn it around. He can still it's turn it around. It's phenomenal. It's, uh, Attackers are moving. Everyone in Rainbow Six Siege right now is living the dream. Six this is what we want for the game. The game that we love. I mean, with many years we've been going. We are watching history be created before our very eyes. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. This is the kind of series that will be watched back time and time again he's, he's not wrong oh, he's around four wrong. then let's see if w7m can double down or can phase play spoils top floor we go maverick in play for hardbridge the thing is w7m they've been out the monty and so far just vidicky is playing it but it means neither side on attack can bring it out if they want that comfortability but of course, shield play is not what you want right now. It's hard breach. Maverick and the commission being played in case of a bandit trick. It's gonna guarantee this one to be opened up, but it is not the quickest gadget. It'll take what? some time. Impact was out, does what? a bit of damage with JV. Why? I think he's Why throw that spot. impact? Ooh. And that could be difficult to figure out here because the feet holes, they're there. For Leapox to play cover. JV92, can he open up Got the it. wall? He will. So some good work there from the map. IT opened up, breach available now, and into the map goes Herds. Jackal, Inox again, and the red ping to follow off of. Has struggled a little bit. 0 and 3. But you cannot keep a champion down for very long. KZ's come to the table. JV92. So has Nade. Now it's up to Herds to start to make his presence known inside of Nighthaven Labs. 90 seconds left. Cyber wants to get aggressive at main breach. Obviously has a lot of information here on the souls. By the way, there's not many drones remaining. Two, in fact, are still up, and that's no. all. Now one. Ooh. Oh, that's a big four. Oh. It's a four versus four now. Handy to lock down. Grenade, the grenade, 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 grenade. As well, throw move. Got the grenade. ADS doubles down, gets rid of Nade. JV can't find the response. The flash goes out. Maybe expecting more pressure from Phase. Kit momentarily down. Oh my God. There goes KDS. He oh falls. my God. In a map that is proving to be quite 50-50, these rounds are being quite 50-50. Three versus three with, well, 50 seconds to go. They've been so close, they rotate here from WCM. They think, okay, we got the flank kills inside our garage. Now rotate around inside the connector. Get our Q, get the scanner up. But the issue is, Handy has a shotgun the right by the breach the that could stop the entire push. They don't have the intel. They don't have any drones. Can they play off of each other? W7M. The double swings to use the numbers to overload certain positions here inside a server. Handy up close, shotgun in hand. Doesn't go for the initial Aww. swing, just wants to try and time this perfectly. Souls gets one, two now remain for W7M, and yes, up close. That shotgun is so, so deadly. KZ in a 1v3. With little time remaining, the shoulder peak is nice from the right hand side. He cannot get these shots to land because at that point, FaZe don't even need a peak. FaZe is winning. FaZe is dominating. FaZe is dominating right now. Phase is dominating. And that's the kind is of that grid lock? What? Can sometimes How many people are cosplaying? Sometimes you can give away free picks. Now, not the case that time around. Phase's play style so far in this round is the reason around. why they're so good in that. The Dude. discipline to know when to just stay alive. Oh my God. Handy didn't swing unnecessarily. He was waiting for the right moment. His teammate covered his back. They knew the Wait, was that grid lock or Valkyrie? In one another. Who was she dressed and now as? Now on the final map. I thought it was Obviously, good luck telling The phase cams, signs of frustration. Yeah, we can talk about how it's like 50-50 in these rounds. Ella? With attacks or defenses, but when you want that hammer. Nomad? It's been your story for a whole year. Bro, British, that was good luck these rounds are so, so close. One gunfight could change the outcome. It's the most frustrating feeling in the world. I mean, you, you win two majors. The expectation is to then follow up with 
the hammer. Dude, from Chad, this that was, Chad, that was Gridlock's helmet, right? now, right? FaZe are far closer than W7M to being able to wield that hammer, one, standing yeah. right behind them on the Three main one. stage. Yes. 3-1 lead for FaZe. Two rounds to go in the first half. Good of this fifth and final map. It's a grandstand finish, but right now FaZe are leading the race. Bro, W7M needs to start like getting some player here. right now. One of the biggest things to deal with right Phase now is suppressing in, your emotions because you're you're one second away from crying from this point. I was when I was in there, see, because this is what you want so badly. The stress in their oh minds, my. every decision they make can alter the outcome of the round. Suppress emotions, play like a robot, and put on your best performance possible. And I like the fact that you bring up overthinking every moment because it's been small moments, small mistakes that have made this game what it is. Driver's been a big name in this entire series. Always looking for a kill, always roaming around the map. He's had a quiet start so far, but it's on the mouth. He's getting active. Tommy Simim, you're playing very far back in the attacking lineup so far. Need to get hurt involved. It's so paramount, I think, now. for W7M. Owen 4 playing the Finca needs to be good on the entry. He's one of their best players when it comes to the player ratings. Sure is. Oh. Another player! Please oh. be bold. Surely not. It just feels like it's starting. Oh. No, he finds his way. Doubles oh. down. Triples down. One more. One more for Handy. Why not? Well. Handy. 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 Give me a Handy right now. Give me a Handy right now. This guy is disgusting. Handy is disgusting. Handy is disgusting. Handy is disgusting. You gotta call a separate timeout. You have Handy to pull the brakes here. No, Handy is the players. They have to just to feel crying. for a second Handy's here. Actually. Talk to each other. Like a brotherhood. Guys, we're not out of it yet. We're down one four. There it is. Sure enough. W7M, they have just called their tactical timeout. But this is where magical Bro. moments are made. You yes. down four one in the final map of arguably now one of the greatest grand finals we have ever seen in this game. Chat. But W7M talk about cementing it's a legacy to, fucking one. to start a dynasty. It needs Dude, to I don't know, bro. This, I don't know if it's going to OT. I don't know, this I don't know. final round of the opening half arguably needs to go their way. There is only one Phase issue is so here locked by in. being Phase the, the so unbeatable for a full year. You have not dealt with loss. You have not been behind in the fifth map. You have not Phase suffered so the consequences of not being good enough in the grand finals because WCM have always been good enough this entire last year. Now they're down one four. Can they mentally be there for each other and take it one round at a time? Bro thinks he's gonna edit it. Not again. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to miss out on the hammer like last oh. time. Oh. Again, we said 49% oh. tackle win rate here on not oh. able laps. So it's almost paramount. If w that was such a clip. to find their way back, this next round is a must win. Bro, Their journey that was such started a that was such a clip. 365 days ago, essentially. Give or take a few days. But back at Six Invitational 2023, it was G2. That won 3-1 over W7M, shattering them. And how they responded was so paramount. They won back-to-back -back majors to make the statement that they should be regarded as the best team that we have in the game right now. But that dynasty does not begin unless they lift that hammer. Down 4-1, FaZe are looking to now create their own legacy. To now Sides their swap own after this history. round, by the way. Sides do swap. I feel swap. like everyone's played so well in this series that we've never been like, oh, this, like, this guy is just not showing up. You said it, Senox, so last round to her, to 0-5 right now. First time in the best of five. We go all five minutes before someone is really not hitting their shots, and it happens to be one of the most important players for WCMM's attacking side. I think this goes back to Skyscraper. W7 can get the 4-2 half by a little bit of way, a little bit of leeway when the Cypher comes around. I think they'll be okay. So we'll kick off then. Top floor, main bridge being worked by the ace. That's a combo. Pretty easy to deal with that. The King though, close by. Solus is so good here. Solus is so good here. He's gonna do it. He can relay that information to the rest He's gonna do it. Does he look to a He's gonna do it. Look for the jump out. Oh yeah, but he preps it, ready for it. Something that could obviously come to fruition here for FaZe to maybe catch W7 off guard. And there's the opening kill for Handy on a KZ. And JB no. no. Nitrocell. It really is down to Hertz now to get involved. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. 
Wait! Can he make this his moment? Flipper! To salvage Flipper! For w Flipper! But it felt like maybe all hope would be lost in this sixth round. No! From a distance! Flipper! Hurt can just not get involved! Flipper needs the ace! Only way if he went to the aces. Minute and a half. Flipper oh my god! Three, two to go! This is where moments are born. This is where legends are made right here. Stairs! In this battle of war of attrition. Two to go. Can he create two one versus ones with 60 seconds to do so? They're flanking. And then Philippox does not have a read. Philippox. I think he might now, though. Keep he pushing. senses that it's clear. Keep pushing, and you might be able to win this one for W7. And it feels so pivotal, so vital. The battle of Dwarf Blue can't be won, though, Simon. It's a five to one lead for FaZe Clan. Two rounds away wow. from history. Wow. Two rounds away from it this being over. This moment right now is when time is standing still for W7M. Two this rounds away from it being over. And look at the crowd. Two rounds away from it being completely are, over. To be fortunate enough, to be good enough to play here today. You might be two rounds away from this being over and you being the loser. Two rounds away from it being over. Win or lose. The biggest, most important thing to take away from this is to live in the moment. Chat, yeah, okay. This Think about it like this, bro. So imagine you're one of these players, bro, and you just hear this fucking crowd. It can either make you or break you, bro. Literally. Inside of this arena for Brazil, cheering on a Brazilian team. <laughs> so rare. What is he for? What the is he for? Have looked so dominant on Nighthaven Labs. They've clearly been the better side thus far. Yeah, I gotta say, heartbreak. There's Back been some one. individual rounds here, the side of face where Handy single-handedly wins around for his team. Souls does the same thing. Chad, who believes in W7M? If you believe in W7M, type me in the chat right now. If you believe in the comeback. I want it so bad. I think the question mark, very simple. If Hertz wakes up on defense, I think there's a chance. If he does not, I do not see a world where they make a comeback. It's not just down to Hertz. Of course. Because obviously, he is the focus here. He's so strong, so talented. But as a collective unit, as a team, they go to war together. The W7M right now, they need that togetherness at the very final moments. Their last dance, maybe not shaping up the way they would have liked. Phase. Wait, Hertz is 0 and 6? And arguably, you win this round. Oh, it Hertz is 0 and 6? It does. It's like that. Phase oh, in the no. final, the coffin at that point. One mistake and it's over. Phase opens up the first wall. Nate is there with the counter. Bandit trick successful on the Nice. Charge, the charge, rather. That's huge. A That's a huge bandit trick. But no real good interpoint. No vertical play from Phase. W7M I mean, could bring this back. Low pressure in that position, making it difficult for the bandit. Not that time around. So it is a win in the column for the defenses. W7M, I mean, trying to mount an insurmountable comeback. Certainly yeah. doable, certainly doable. And if they can just start to get a couple of rounds, we've already seen in this grand final those comebacks like you mentioned, Pengu. So 90 seconds left, five versus five. These early contact fights though, in the dire stage is so important. W7M need to start finding these opening kills so they don't get overloaded on site. But how close the players are playing? Once oh my! Starts, oh, no! No! W7M, come on! Fight back! He can throw out those candelas, allowing entry for Cyber. Philippox can't win his battle. It just has that feeling that it's no. all falling apart. But W7M, once again, that this final hurdle no. for FaZe might just finally be overcome. It's over for W7M. It's, it's not over. happening, is it? But it is happening for FaZe! It's over. It's over. One round away from cementing themselves as one I think it's over. champions. Take a look at player camps. Dude. In one camp, big smiles in the face of Face Clan because they're doing the unthinkable. What many people wouldn't even consider possible just a few days ago. And WCM, they have their head. The head rather, in their hands, <laughs> frustrated, struggling like I am right now, they're down. Mick, our first map of this grand final was 7-1 to phase. Yeah. There is every chance that despite 
a valiant effort from W7M. It may Dude. end up in a similar fashion. Up 6-1. Surely, now, Dude. at this moment, with five opportunities, FaZe will finally taste the ultimate glory that they've been so close to. Back-to-back -back major one. wins for W7M, but it was back-to-back semi-final losses for FaZe. Forever in that shadow. But now look Don't call it a comeback. Everybody spam W7M to forge the comeback right now. Just fucking spam it. Break your keyboard. Don't call it a comeback right now. Right now, W7M, right now. I don't know. Comeback I mean, season. One round at a time. No, fuck it. Go type W7M. Type one round at a time. One round at a time. One round at a time. Inch by inch. Inch by fucking inch. Inch by inch. On the flip side, W7M, they're playing one very isolated, One round at a time, but one round at a time, team. We've seen One round at a time, these though. Characters, these players, that Don't say, call it a comeback. Not there. We Don't need call it a comeback. Go together, but now you got to fix it in the middle inch of the finals. Inch by inch. An extension up above once more for W7M. And that means that Herds is going to be under so W7M, much W7M. One this is your comeback. Seven Rounds, and this, this is your comeback, W7M. Of his career. I know how difficult this is for W7M, but they cannot go into their shells, no. despite the circumstances that they find themselves in. These kind of angles is what could get them back into this game. Aggressive, holding key position. You fall back to side because here. you're fearful of what could happen. Got to win the one here. Lose. Yeah, you had to play to win. Seek the opportunities. Not be afraid. You don't get. You don't let back down. Yes, yes, yes. They're back. They're back. That's a good start. They're back. No, they're Come. back. Don't Bezo, call it a comeback. Cheval released, of course, with five inch by inch. Match, match final points. Inch so by inch. Wanting to push in towards Rafters. He lost his life. Another key position still held firmly by no. number seven. Evan Handy again onto Hurd. Shuts him down. Three versus three. Handy's is all over. A good position, nevertheless. With 90 seconds left in this round, phase no. feels like they're just moments JV's away from not. Glory. In fact, with JV down no. and now confirmed, Got me him. have the advantage. No. These are this close. To capturing the hammer, can they convert it from here? They've done all the hard work. Nade and KZ, the only two players standing Souls. in their way. So yes! KZ keeps hope alive. Keep the dreams alive, KZ. Inch by inch, KZ. Inch by inch. In a two -on -two. Imagine your face. Every single blink, you see the hammer behind your eyes. You see the moment that you'll lift that trophy. You had the three v two. Now it's slowly crumbling away, but it's a tie two v two. But the health bar is even. The crowd getting behind W seven M. They want more action. They do not want this to end. Information for hand. Inch by inch. Nine and three. Thirty seconds left. Is this where FaZe claim their crown? No. W7M, this is all you. This is you. And Handy, side by side, brother in arms. And now the drop from Handy, expecting one to be behind the tank, but not to be. And now he questions where they very well may be on the site itself. Vidiking as well. Yes! Oh, there he is. It's my inch! It's my inch! Inch by inch. They're not done yet. Kill that they get is important to them, right? Get that confidence going, start feeling it again in the circle. Come on. It's been so many rounds in a row won by FaZe. The confidence course is so Inch hard. by inch. It's gotta start it somewhere and that round to start. It, it's look, 6 2. We're not at that point. It's really difficult to mention the C word. Just come back, of course. <laughs> but that is exactly what is required. And a great start case here towards the man. Again, showing aggress aggression on those entries. They have this was such a huge kill. That kill, kill was so huge. Back on site because you're so fearful. It, they didn't. That really kill was so huge, chat. This is why I'm so impressed by KC. Even when this is a scenario, when you're down one and six, he's opening up doors. He's seeking engagements. In that it's my inch. It's my inch. The comeback of the century right now. W7M. 
He they're gonna no tell fear. your grandchildren He's about fighting. this comeback in 40 He's years. So many You're gonna tell your grandchildren fighting. about this comeback in 40 years. Inch by fucking inch. One round at a time. Focus on what's in front of you, not what's behind you. The past is the past, but the future is yours. It was six to one, and now it's six to two. Anything can change in the blink of an eye. Just keep fucking working. One foot in front of the other. Guys, they have to be perfect. One round at a time. They have to be. By inch. Rightly so. I think if you want to be the best team in Siege and lift that hammer, you need to play near perfect. So let's jump into it then. Round Just nobody die. Nobody die on the other side of the Please, nobody die. And heard you can't die. Heard you can't die. Again, in an important position to try and play for a bit of time over towards Long Desk, but he makes his way back now towards Electrical. He can lock that down and use Goo Mines to fortify his position. You know, I, love, I love the fact that Souls right now is being activated to its fullest. He's on the Ying, handy on support, he's gonna open the walls, and Souls the player who had his side of his career playing Ivana, playing Thurma, playing Ace, now it's an SI Grand Finals, he's playing the Ying. He might be the entry it's to finish the job right now. EMP goes out, Cell makes a Thurma charge to deny any sort of bandit tricking, but we know there is no bandit. Double EMP denies the kind claw, breach is successful. Yeah, claw doesn't land, so some really good work there from FaZe. And that's now a position that the defense must watch. They must Nobody's died yet. Nobody's died yet. 5v5. And not allow anybody in a powerful position to cut that cross into the objective. Entry should be strong for FaZe. They've got four Candelas. Inch by inch, w 7 Something inch to keep an eye on as we continue forward by the end of this round. There's no inch order by inch. in play. So that Yang is inch. extremely powerful. If FaZe lose souls, suddenly W7M look in a much better position. The lead box down below, and we have a lurk. A potential 1v1. Flippo, no. Flippo, you had it. Flippo, Flippo. And the timing could not be Flippo. there for present. The swing comes through, and the opening kill goes the way of Cyber. The way of FaZe. And those Candelas now to be thrown out. Looking to dislodge that mirror window position. It's Nade holding it currently. He's been the clutch master. It's my inch! It's my inch! But JV92, he's the one to step up. Still a Nitro Cell available for Nade. We know how good he's been in the clutch in this grand final. Candela thrown. One more available in the back pocket for Souls. 40 seconds remaining in the round. Handy. Close. Try it's my inch! Off of that. It's my inch! The flash. Souls was starting to get involved. But it is phase! And bring it back to a three on three. No! Inside no! Well. No! 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 They're gonna bring it back! They're going to bring this back! I'm saying it now! They're going to bring this back! And that round going right down to the wire. You think No! I'll suck a dick right now. Thank you. There's not many safe places to sit, especially with that Azami bag. Each by That's why we saw inch. such aggressive trading from both teams. Is that the spark now for W7M? Is that belief now coming back a little bit? I'll tell you what, one more round and suddenly FaZe might just start to feel like it could be slipping away to start to feel like can they actually control this momentum that W7M has developed as the game has gone on. Despite being 6-1 now, now to 6-3. You see there, the player came to those men, like this, the sigh of relief, their bodies, their lungs filled with air going, oh, we're still in it. One more round to go, and then again, and again, and a third, and then you're in inch more time. By inch by inch, by the way, we could be here for inch a while. Inch by inch. But the issue really comes out the fact that you inch can't by inch. Inch. every single time. One small miss Don't call it step, a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Resisted, and then it's done for. This grand final been epic. It's been extraordinary, but arguably we're three rounds away from the greatest grand final I think we've ever seen, and that is not an easy statement to make. Come on, it is not. Tertiary site. It's now being teased by W7M. This is the test around the tertiary site. Yep. This is big. 
This is where most teams on defense, they go to die. And the issue is, you don't have a good attack at half, which WM did not. You don't have that parish in terms of round count. You need to be, two minutes, as two minutes. saying, flawless on its base. Two minutes. They've been playing the same style so far in attack. They play Slugging five back. versus five. They want to get the bombs that execute out clean. They want to get the vertical play. They have to ram in the bug. They don't want to just throw bodies at the problem. They want to problem solve every step of the way. Yeah. Classic from Cyber. Pretty early map control, can get to work with the skeleton key. You think about those and the boogie auto breaches from the ram. That's going to expose a lot of the site. And then it's up to W7M. What did they do in response? Did they fuck it down and try to hold the objective or did they re aggress up above? Fully box on blue. Yeah, they slashed out and cams came off. And now again, phase is working that in, but nothing happens from that. They're stalling out a little bit here. Minute 30, just hold on. Just hold on. Minute 30, hold on. What should I Benma, don't break. Hey, everybody, Ben, but don't break. This play proactively. Let's not lose anybody to free. Always have a pair and do a look together. Look Keep in mind, back. they'll be relying on drones for the flank watch. No dedicated hard flank watch for this attack. Two drones is all that remains, though. So it's not a lot. Not a lot of information. And an OP kill from Nate. Yeah! You saw that they had in the back pocket. It gets rid of Vidikin. Now the push from side. Yeah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Two! Two before! No fucking way this is happening! Am I in a dream right now? Am I on ecstasy? What's going on? What's happening? That's what you need! That small opening, that double kill, the C4 from below. The 4v2, the do not die. Seconds and now phase, they gotta scramble together. And the worst thing is, they don't have any active drones, two alive, but nothing that they can utilize right now. They got two, two very important candelas, but there's a warden on the board in Nade. He is very pivotal for W7M. All they need to do is hold angles on sites. Couple of shots over the ward, Garrett's handed, that's clean. What a way to start, shuts down herds. At this point now, W7M, you do not need to peek. Don't break, seconds, spend. You can bend. You can bend, but you can't break. Entry has been made. Yes. The leap box gets on the flank. One more. Souls though now tries to respond. Can't find the headshot. Doesn't even get the down. The leap box stays alive. At least enough to deny in terms of time. Of which is four seconds. Hide. 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 Six. You can bend, but you cannot break. You must not break! You can bend, but you must not break! As if history might go against them if they cannot turn this around. You have to start saying the term thought armor. Then we gotta go to the greatest comeback of all time. The greatest comeback of all time. We are watching history live! single time they've been finding these small windows of opportunity you can bend full advantage but you can't break to kill to stop phase from advancing on their plan look at these shots this guy's the best player casey is the best player at this point oh my word i don't want to see this go the distance it deserves to go the distance yeah six four six four w7m are doing it and that belief now oh, is certainly no. back, not just for the team, but the crowd as well, as two, they continue to support their more. favorite team. Chat, just two, two more. Talking about the mental switch two more. Now. Just two more. Okay. Just two more and we get unlimited over time. Two more. Keep seeing that trophy every time they blink. But now phase, I think it's wake up time. The dream, you realize, not, you know, wake up to reality here. You haven't won just yet. You still got to get this final round done. It's one thing. To win a six invitational grand final. Another from this. Yeah! I thought he was dead. Vamos, 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 vamos! But that might define the outcome of the round. Cyber, the injury is down. Better to play Bok is down as well. Sure, they got the round on Souls, but again, FaZe, they have a plan. It needs five players. They do not have five players in this round. No. I tell you what, the script writer for this match is a very sick individual. Give him a, give him a raise. Oh, give him the trophy. That's all I say. He deserves it. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing is though, Casey's very low. Like you said, one HP. So very susceptible to any form of damage. So yes, it's five versus four, but he is also very vulnerable. Still, it's a gun up. It's an extra player alive in the server for W7M. Now, phase the entry is a little bit more difficult. 
Mind you, the roam is still active. Just because they got the kill, they've not fallen back just yet. They're still in the staircases, still with Solus upright, of course, looking for those drones, shutting down the intel game. Kill. 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 Yeah! No, and no, no, out of nowhere. Maybe that plot armor's got no. a hole in it after all. No, 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 script. Unfortunate there for her. Shut no, down. now it's Nate no. and Philippox to hold on for W7M as FaZe try to formulate one hell of a response in this round. I could not imagine the adrenaline coursing through the veins of these players. What a performance they've given us. Stand as one to congratulate what's been a tremendous grand final, but only Attack one winner. Fifty seconds left. Nade and Philippox. Shoulder to shoulder, they move on the defense to hold these key positions as FaZe look to open up the floorboard for one final time, potentially. There's a bit of a mix-up there for WCM. Half wanted to stick around for the roam, the other half wanted to run down. They split up in the middle, and they paid, they suffered. Now they're down a man, but they still got it. 30 seconds, no. bombs out at their disposal. They can still win this round. No. Surely it doesn't come down to the brothers. Nade and Handy. 20 yeah, seconds. There's one for Philly Pops on the Very well may come down to the twins themselves to settle this final. 15 seconds in the drop from Souls, playing behind Handy, who still needs to get the kid onto the floor. And so yeah! Handy the way hey, hey, to red time. Look back at that round then. Philippops and Nade back to back insane shots. Left handy on an island. Five seconds, no time. And who else but Nade to win that one out? The crowd, the loudest it has ever been. I didn't know they could get any louder, but they have. Guys, it has been an absolute privilege. We are oh so fortunate for this bloody game! You can bend, you can bend, but you must not break! The grandest of all finals! Come on, W7M! Match and grand final point for FaZe. It's their last one remaining. That final hurdle, once again, is in front of them. Will they trip and fall? Or will they overcome? That obstacle in W7M. They cannot take us this far and then not give us what whoa. everybody whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone who's watching, whoa, whoa, whoa. everyone in the arena, we all want the 6 6. We want to go to our summer fifth map. We want to fight it out for long. It's not done yet. Oh. It's a wasted nitrosel, little information, but boy, at this point, I couldn't even be surprised if he can't hear a darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Forget Salkus, I mean, that's just not <laughs> thing in this series. Yeah, he can't hear shit. Probably None of these players can hear, bro, I'm gonna be Souls. honest. There's no way they can hear Will with this, with this crowd. Be able to turn the tide. There is a cap down on I the board. I, say, I don't want to curse it, because it would be insane. But think, there's always that possibility. I think it's genius. You play the mental games as operators. You know, FaZe, they're on attack. Two minutes. Don't swift, try Two like minutes. Cipher, be aggressive, right? Two if you minutes. don't see a captain trap, if you don't drone it out, you might just die to a gadget entering the hallway. So then. Handy, 11 kills. You've been phenomenal. 
in this map. Exothermic for the main wall, followed up by an EMP. It won't be disrupted oh, by the KZ. defense. KZ lurking, Nitro Cell ready and waiting. It's the last one they've got. A couple of impacts as well. Drones, five remain. Four phase, again, slow is their approach. Typically been so good for them in the past, but right now, this comeback from W7M is so strong. That plot armor is so thick. Minute 30. The fairy tale. 90 seconds. Stands. Will it get the conclusion? Probably one of the slowest rounds we've faced so far. The pressure didn't get into them, but of course their coach might have said, guys, they will aggress into you. Hold those angles. Expect the swings to come around. They don't have the ying. They don't have any easier to break this apart. Well, Hades pushed forward. Advanced position. Exothermic. Oh, okay, I think he oh! it. I think run, he, I don't know if that gets opened up. Hard to see from I this position. So. I think he's denied it. Believe Unlimited overtime begins. You must win by two. You must win by two. The first ever unlimited overtime. The best game ever played of Rainbow Six. This this will go down as the greatest game ever played. The greatest game ever played. If I would join you on this, and I said, how crazy can it get? It's just the grand finals, right? Oh no, it's SI grand overtime. finals. This is the craziest You have happens. to win by two. The best you cannot win by one. And we are witnessing an infinite amount of time that could last five minutes or 50. We truly do not know. And it's W7M completely in the driver's seat right now. From 6 1 down, W7M have been able to hold strong. What fortitude! What resilience! Surely now. This is insane. This Give is us insane. one final twist of this tail. This is insane. This is better than the Super Bowl. No, you can prepare this is insane. almost every scenario when you've played a couple on of the finals, overtime. You know what it's like mentally, Wait. but Wait. one thing you cannot I mean, practice for is infinite overtime. It pretty much only happens Getting once a year at SI. Very few games even go there to begin with, and many who does, they end better Don't season. ever doubt me. Quickly, this is such new territory. Dude, the stream is like lagging, bro. Clear. Final map of the grand final. No, not right now. Don't you do this? I almost feel Don't like I'm in a this. dream. This cannot be real. Absolutely incredible. Unlimited overtime. The Unlimited overtime. W7M. Unlimited overtime. Still on the search for the treble. Let's see how the hell this one's gonna play out. You know. W7 to get the, uh, the defensive round to keep things the same. I think that kind of favors them. Infinite OT, you gotta win two rounds, so to speak, in a row. So if W7 win here on defense, they still gotta win the next attack to follow up to actually get it. Nitrous no! JV, it that was a waste. Handy repels away. Gets out of that dangerous position. Oh. Triple stack. Entry denial. Devices. Attack but the entry now. Now comes through for FaZe. They have struggled immensely on the attack. Both teams have. How fitting that it comes down to this. Oh, in for Bro, the don't do this now. Don't. In for the trick. The bandit juggle lands. Herds has been quiet here on the fifth map of this series. But that's a key play. I need to refresh, bro. I need to refresh. With that utility, has a nitro as well. I have to refresh. I have to refresh. Good work, 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 work. It's not that deadly. This is even more impactful. The Nitro Cell from KZ, though, misses the mark. Still one available for Herds. The no. swing, it's a little no, bit iffy. No. No. no, 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 it's still the advantage of W7M. No! It's just a close contact, that swing. Back. And suddenly a three versus three. With 40 seconds remaining, phase of struggle on the attack. But could they finally break through and break the heart to W7M to begin overtime? W7M. W7M needs to be careful. FaZe could isolate them in these positions. I mean, look at Nade. He's stuck prone. If he's thrown down eight. by FaZe, it will seconds. flip the round in their favor. Keep in mind, Solus also in play. Put holes to deal he with can them. He shot out. Flash Somebody poke into my plan. Awesome to be full white, handy no. across. A no. Successful feet no. showing behind the desk. No. And that's a nice kill. Handy up by himself. The one versus two. Shot from handy. Through the soft wall. 
Oh, Impulse stays alive. Oh, oh, one versus one. Go. Behind the bomb chassis. And he's got himself the diffuser. The pistol's out. Oh. Ah! They just earned themselves three million dollars. But now, with a lot of smiles and faces. One more round. The greatest the comeback of all time. They know they got this. There's no way. The they greatest comeback attack. of all time. Now, mind you, if they win this one upcoming more. round, they have played perfect siege, down one to six, all the way to eight six. Wow. But attacking, as we've one seen so far, more looks round. so difficult. One every step more of the way. Round. I've never seen anything like this. Watch it and soak it all in. From 6 1 down, W7A on the I've back. I've never had this many views, I'm not just so creating my history, but the getting it done this thing. This is lagging. This my Twitch is, is lagging. how legends Bro, my Twitch are created. Is breaking, like, literally breaking. The majors were dominant. If you have that blue player next to your name, you can sub like for free with Twitch with Prime. You will not get another pound for the remainder of the month. And now all of a sudden, BP humbles them a bit in the lower bracket. FaZe makes it look easy in some of these maps in the best of five. If you have that blue player, you can sub for free with Twitch Prime. It's the most clutch. The most free sub, free sub with Twitch Prime. It's a certain kind of WCMN that wakes up in the this server and says, you know what? One more round. Not today. Whoa, okay. Let's relax. You're trailing. You are six, seven He's down it. in the SI He's Grand Final. You're going for a run out. Won't find much, but just something to note. FaZe, they'll continue to aggress. They will not back down. I mean, I gotta respect the effort. I wouldn't have the balls do that myself. That's a damn shot. <laughs> Sitting at bombs and say, guys, when they One more round, W7M. Not roaming. And you guys, not you guys did it. You guys did it. No one, no one else but you. The fire and the smoke. Heartbreak, Selma, Thatcher, Thurman. Open up the basement walls right now. But they cannot brute the force. The bomb side most One likely here. It's a big roaming presence. If they have good good intel, they could, of course, go for a side rush. But it's a big risk. It's a big stack, a breach. We may not see W7M contest up above. They're going direct. It could well be. Nade has that diffuser in hand. Capital close by. Nade has gotten a drone deep in towards site. Maybe they'll make the call to hit it early. Is this the moment? Nade with the entry. Now looking to open up the castle barricade. Still a lot of time. Mind you on the clock. You can see it at the top of your screen. No! KZ will go no, down no, 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 no. And will stay down. No! Cyber. A very important kill for FaZe and gives them a momentary advantage. It's a very important kill. It shuts down the primary floor, presses above, hatch above, hill box is soft. Now defenders can close that net. This the kill should mean to them they cannot proceed with the current plan. Oh. JV! Vamos! Angle! More. Oh! More to come, no! No! Andy! 14 and 9 and clearly the ever-present star for FaZe in this grand final. Nade on the other side. Wanting to be the an annoying oh. brother, and Handy will fall through the hatch. Three versus three. And it's the smokes that are stalling out this push. So W7M have to wait for their moment. It's all yeah, Bubbles! Bubbles! No, three versus one. Is this the moment where we get crowned a new champion, a new dynasty to be created?
a new dawn that has arisen, not just for this team, but arguably. I, I'm about to cheers on my team. This game that we love. Vamos. Bravo Six Siege, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Six Thank you. Thank you so much. Phenomenal finals. It was a pleasure. I mean, oh, you couldn't have scripted it any better. Nobody someone's could have created this script without being called crazy. That was just impossible to predict. We never saw this coming. The G2 Penta Era Pengu that you were a part of, forever labeled the greatest of all time. Well, now there's a competitor moving forward. Keep your eyes on what this it. team can do. And the best part is, this is just the beginning yeah. for W7M and what's to come. Three in a row. Back in Copenhagen. All the brothers came out together. A promise was made and delivered in Atlanta. A brother in arm. W brother, W brother. And two sides to the teams. tail. And commiserations to Faze. But oh, they were the best dancing partner any, anyone could have. W in this brother. last dance, the they played their part. Bro, this is like emotional, bro. There is no better honor as a player Shout to out. have Definitely a final be watching you feel the next more feels winning, year. not because you're the because better team, shit. but because you're up against the best of the best in the I finals. Watch party like ever. It ends that in hugs, it ends in tears, but it ends with a dynasty that now begins for W7M. The only thing forward ahead of them is being the best of all time. That's the best thing I've ever seen, bro. That's better than, like, any movie I've ever seen. Simply! Nice, my Twitch is just breaking. Hold on. That's better than, like, any movie I've ever seen. Oh, my Xbox just... I'm not even kidding. My Xbox just broke. Chat. W fucking... W fucking... Stream. Holy shit. Chat, what a fucking stream. What a fucking stream. I need to watch the I need to watch the end. Hold on. I need to get a post-game interview. I need to get a post-game interview right now. I need to. And now it is your time. What you have accomplished here is unbelievable. The trophy is yours. Por favor, pode levantar a marreta da W7M. Your six invitational 2024 champions. saying like believe in ourselves guys we can do it we can do it we can do it and then we did like round by round we, we started believing more in ourselves 
and uh, we did it. Agora em português, como? Estavam tomando um 6x1. Estava difícil, era praticamente impossível. Como é que rolou essa virada? E que momento histórico? The Last Dance. E vocês terminam com dois títulos internacionais de Major e o Six Invitational. Quando tava 6x2 pros os caras, não parei de falar. Não, não vão parar de acreditar, guys. Não vão parar de acreditar. E round a round, a gente foi ganhando essa confiança de volta, ganhando confiança de volta. Os caras foram perdendo ela. E a gente voltou pro jogo e conseguiu fazer esse... Que eu não tenho noção do que a gente acabou de fazer. E é isso. Obrigado a todo mundo aí que tava na torcida, velho. História foi feita aqui no ginásio do Ibirapuera. History. We've witnessed right here two back-to-back -back majors into the three-peat at what has been their last dance. No more W7M. This roster surely isn't going anywhere. No, no, our roster is going to keep together, but W7M is the organization that did all, all of this for us. Like, we, we won the three tournaments in the year with them, and now we'll be, they will be forever in our hearts. I'll tell you what else will be forever in your hearts. I know this for sure. This amazing crowd of 9,000 Brazilian supporters who were louder than ever in those final rounds to help you get it over the line. What do you want to say to them first in Portuguese? Cara, todo momento ali a gente perdendo, a gente não para, a gente toda hora tava escutando, a torcida continuava apoiando a gente. W fucking stream. Chad, if you want the JC drama, no ads. Expedition Mark sub. If you have that blue crowd, you can sub for free with Twitch Prime. I love you, motherfuckers. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is the greatest FPS of all time.